my bathtub with peanut butter. Lots and lots of peanut butter. Let's do this. Let's have some fun. This is the peanut butter dye. <laughs> oh my god, look at this. It looks like a snake. This is the peanut butter roll over. Here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, dude, look at this! This is crazy! <laughs> Whoa! It's so thick. It's so hard to move in here. Oh my! Mm, mm, it's so crazy! I'm a peanut butter boy, chipping in the bathtub. I'm a peanut butter boy. <laughs> Sponsoring this video. Woo <laughs> Hello, welcome to another video. So something really cool happened earlier. Elmer's Glue sent me a mystery box. The what if mystery box. <laughs> I guess let's open it and see what's up. All right, here we go. We gotta be careful because it's almost Halloween and anything can happen here. Here we go. It's making noises. Whoa. There's a prompt here. What if you could put a spell on slime? Oh my gosh. I wonder what that means. Where is this coming from? Oh, oh, spooky. So inside of the box, ooh, we have these. Warlock hands. Ooh, we have a snake. Ooh, we have a crow. Ooh, we have a cauldron filled with Elmer's glue. We have some glitter glue. We have some glow-in-the-dark glue. We have some magical liquid. We have some roaches, rats, spiders, scorpions, 
critters. We have tiny potion bottles filled with sequins and some spell books. We have some glow in the dark balls. Whoa. Some mist maker. Ooh. Gooey eyeballs. Ooh. Last but not least, we have these warlock gloves. Whoa. Okay, check these out. Whoa, look at these warlock hands. Crazy, huh? Now the challenge is, what if you can put a spell on slime? Well, let me show you how to do that real quick. So there are a couple ways to do this, okay? First things first, it's really simple. We're gonna take this orange glitter glue, right? So this is what it looks like in the cauldron. Really nice, really beautiful. Now for the special ingredient, the magical liquid. No, we're just gonna put a little by little in there. Ooh, look at that. And then from there, it's gonna be slime. So from here, what you wanna do is you wanna mix it around just a little bit until you get that good consistency. The slime is done. Now, we have these misters I'm gonna put in the cauldron and guess what they do? <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> so this slime, I call it the ICU soup because we're gonna grab some eyes, okay? We're gonna dangle it all around here. Look at that. Oh, whoa. Submerge the eyeball into the slime. Pull it out the cauldron and we have ICU soup. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that! <laughs> Dangling round like the Halloween down. I see you in the mouth. That doesn't make sense. No, seriously though, check this out. Check out the slime. Check how far it can stretch. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that stretch. Look at that str- Oh! It's still going! Whoa! Dang, okay, all right. Whatever spell we did to this slime, it's so cool. Look at that, ooh. Listen to this, everybody, listen to this. Mm. Oh. Mm, you hear that now? That's nice. That was ICU soup, all right? Let me cast another spell and make you another slime, shall we? Next up, we're gonna use some black glitter glue, all right? We got this black glitter glue, then I'll pour it in the cauldron. Check this out. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Let's go. Now we gotta pour some magical liquid. Ooh. Now we gotta take the little potion bottle and pour the sequins in the cauldron. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna pour another one just in case. <laughs> now I must cast a spell. Ready? <gasps> Whoa, check this out, everybody. What? 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 What is this? Oh, <laughs> look how nice and intense and so pretty this one is. This is the potion slime. Look at that. Check it out, dude. Now we have these glow in the dark balls. Ooh. I'm gonna cast one more spell before we get to the grand finale. Actually, let me just do the spell. So stay till the end of the video to watch the ultimate spell of all time. But for now, I'm gonna make the critter spell. We're gonna need some glitter glue, all right? Some magic liquid. Whoa. 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 And now we get to pick our critters. I'm gonna take a rat, take a scorpion, some spiders, some, some cockroaches, some, some ants, and one bat. Now, say the magic words. Vuvuzela! <laughs> what is this? Oh, look at that. 
What? You can see critters on one side and other critters on the other side. So as far, as long as you can stretch it, these critters will stretch as far as possible. That is a good spell. Oh yeah, look at that. You can see the scorpion on this side and then some spiders. And, oh, look at that. Oh man, doesn't it look like a giant web? A giant slime web? Wow. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Special thanks to Elmer's Glue for this mystery box. What if you can cast a spell to make slime? I just did. But now, for the ultimate spell of all time. All right, let me just clear everything real quick. Shushu, fofa, shishi, mama, wawa, awango e! Wow! Wow! Yes! Check this out. So we have here a giant cauldron. <laughs> and I'm gonna use my ultimate spell to create the ultimate slime. <laughs> what do we need? We need lots of glue. Here's how we're gonna make it. We're gonna need some glue and some magical liquid. Actually, we're gonna need a lot of glue and a lot of magical liquid. <laughs> These warlock hands are nice. Pour the glue into the giant cauldron just like that, and then grab your orange food coloring and put it in the glue like that. Mix it up till it gets orange like this. Wow. Grab your magical liquid, pour, 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 and then you mix, 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 and then you cast a spell. All right, everyone, it's been about 12 hours. We let the slime like activate a little bit. Here is the final ultimate slime, all right? But before that, we're not done yet. I gotta cast the ultimate spell, so move back. Here we go. This is the ultimate spell. Everyone say it with me. <laughs> Whoa! All right, so it's now ready. Come here, let's take a look. Look how, ooh, look at that. Ooh, we let it dry just a little bit, so the top part is a little bit rough, which is good, it's good for ASMR. It's microphone, come here real quick, come here. Yes, yes. What's up, why are you so far over there? Listen to this. All right, now let's take a big grab and let me show you how stretchy this slime is, okay? All right, let's just grab a piece like this. Oh, look how nice this slime, oh! Oh, oh this is, oh, look at that. Wow, look how, oh my glob. Just take a big, oh, oh, look at that slime, yo. Oh, wow, wow, that is mesmerizing. We're just gonna add some snakes in here. Whoa, glow in the dark balls here, oh! We're gonna add one crow. Come on, get in there. Oh, you have some bats, some potions, some spell books. We're gonna put it here as well, ooh! Some more critters, some roaches. Now, since we have everything mixed into the ultimate slime, we're gonna mix it up just a little bit. Oh, look at this! Wow, that was that was really a cool. That was really good. Here we. Whoa! Whoa! Look at that! Oh! Oh! We're just gonna let it seep through. Oh! Look at that! Let's see how far it'll stretch, okay? I'm gonna take a big gloop right here, and then just, we're just gonna let it stretch as far as we can. Oh, look at that. It's still stretching. Oh my gosh, it's like a snake. It's like a snake. Oh, oh, oh. All right, so it stretched from here all the way down there. Now we're just making art. Don't do this at home because this is just fake grass, everybody. I'm about to perform the greatest magic trick known to the slime world. I call this running on slime. You ready? I'm 
gonna run, and hopefully I will be able to run through it. Three, two, one. Whoa! Wait! And I'm fine! Wow! That was so sick! All right, I'm gonna do that again, all right? Here we go. Three, two, one. Whoa! Whoa! Look at that! All I got is slime in my shoes, but that's it! How you doing? You like my house? Welcome to my house, come on! Come on, let's go! Oh, no, just kidding! Just kidding, come on, come on, come on! No! Okay, come on, come on. Oh, oh no, no, no! That's my window! Look at my hand! Wow! I can just like turn it. Hey! Hey! <laughs> you ever dance with slime? Check this out. Hey! 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 Let's see how strong this ultimate spell slime is, okay? I'm gonna give it a little slap with my warlock hands here. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa! This is so cool! Whoa! Look at it! Whoa! Whoa! Jeez, you can see all the critters and like all the potions. All right, that's all we have for today's video. Big shout outs to Elmer's Glue for sponsoring this video. If you want to make the best slime, Elmer's Glue is the way to go. Grab some glue, grab some magical liquid, and bam! Check it out. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, thanks for watching. Stay goosey. Three, two, one. What's up, YouTube? Today, I'm gonna fill up my Lego hot tub with cheese balls. Ow. Cheese balls. Cheese balls. I don't know what you're thinking. Wow, is this? Why are you wasting all these cheese balls? Well, these cheese balls are expired. We've had these for two years. Wow. First of all, have you seen the one video where I did this already in the bathtub? Yes! This is the, the same cheese balls. But still, stale cheese balls are still really good. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna pour it right in here and uh, we'll see what happens, all right? Look at all these cheese balls on the floor though. This is how much we're gonna pour in here. And uh, we're just gonna get right into it. Woo! All right, everybody, I'm just gonna sit here and uh, let the cheese balls go through it. Wow! Wow! Look at all these cheese balls from head to toe, kind of. But I still have some more cheese balls. Let me just um, finish it off right there, yeah. And then one more right here. Yes! If you ever have the chance in your life, fill something with cheese balls and just get in it. Like, you know, life's too short. Be cheesy. Get it. <laughs> By the way, comment down below how many cheese balls do you think is in this Lego hot tub? Yes, we counted it. Make sure to stay till the end for the final answer. See if you're right. I'll give you a hint. It's more than 20,000. This is my uh, Lego tub filled with cheese balls. Really nice. And, uh, Hey, okay, before we start doing anything, um, while I'm steering here, sitting down, let's have some cool little cinematics. <laughs> All right, family. Um, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't want to get out because if I get out, it's gonna be really hard to get in. But let's just get out. All right, here we go. Ugh. Oh, look how, look at all these cheese-like bits right here. Oh my gosh, I'm cheesy. Welcome to the giant Lego hot tub filled with cheese balls. So first things first, I feel like cannonballing in there is probably the best thing to do right now. Let's hop in this Lego hot tub filled with cheese balls. Head first, scuba gear please. Thank you. First things first, gotta make sure we're good and safe. Ready, three, two, one, go. Ah! 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 
I won! That was so fun! What the heck? That was so cool! All right, all right, one second. I gotta be a little bit careful because cheese balls, when you step on it or squish it, you see, how, you see how big this volume is? A simple squish, it turns really tiny. So if I crush it too much, right, we're not gonna have any cheese balls left to see. Oh. All right, everybody. This is called the giant Lego hot tub cheese ball cannonball. Three, two, one. <laughs> Why is this so fun? Oh my gosh. I feel like a, this is, this is like my dream come true. If you know me, cheese balls are one of my favorite things in the world today. So this is awesome. Whew. Have you ever seen a volcano explode? Neither have I. I've only seen it on TV. But have you ever seen a cheese volcano explode? Here we go. It's gonna go like this. This is called the cheese ball explosion. Three, two, one. Volcano explosion! We're gonna do a lot of cleanup later, but in the meantime, let's have fun with this. I call this the cheese ball belly flop. Cheese ball belly flop. <laughs> it's not even a belly flop. That kind of hurt. Have you ever seen a washing machine before? This is called the cheese ball washing machine. <laughs> Look how cheesy I am. This is so fun. What is wrong with me? In a world where people, there are cheese balls. I will explore it. Cheese balls. Balls. The cheese I explore. This is the balls of the cheese. Let's explore. Coming to a theater near you, February 30th. We have found a new planet called the Cheese World. Rumors have it, they say if you jump into this cheese, you get sucked into another dimension. Let's see if they're correct. Here we go. Cheese World! Oh. oh my gosh, sorry guys. I got sucked into another dimension. I don't know how how'd I get here. Why are all these cheeses here? I call this the side cheese flip. Here we go. Hoi, 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 hoi. Woo -hoo! Woo! 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 Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. I keep eating these balls. I call this the penguin dive. <laughs> I call this the cheese ball kick. Cheese ball kick! <sighs> hey, uh, Oogie. What do you think about this, uh, this Lego hot tub filled with cheese balls? Yeah? You want some cheese balls? You like, do you even like cheese balls? He likes cheese balls. All right, Oogie. Okay, Oogie. You're gonna be the first dog in the whole entire universe to get in a hot tub filled with cheese balls. Ready? Go. Do you like it? <laughs> I can't tell. You want more? Here. Okay, yeah. So Oogie really likes cheese ball, I guess. Okay, all right, no more. You're gonna, it's not good for your health, I think. All right. How you feeling? All right, we're done. All right, Oogie. 
I'll, I'll catch you later, okay? All right, so I guess Oogie loves cheese balls. That's pretty cool. But you know what's more exciting than cheese balls? Putting cheese balls in this t-shirt gun and then shooting it. All right, let's fill this up with... There you go. Three, two, one. That's all we got. Yeah, sorry everybody. There's not enough uh, CO2 here. That's all I got. We can try one more day. Yep, that's all I got. Sorry. Aw, oh, man. All right, here we go. The ultimate cheese ball cannon. Three, two, one. Cut! Three, two, one. What's up, family? It's your boy, Guava Juice. And we got something really cool for y'all. You know what it is. I'm Elsa. My movie's coming out. And then we just built this super cool Lego house tub. So this is my hot tub made out of Lego. And what we're gonna do here, since I'm the ice queen, all right, believe it or not, check out my new movie, Frozen 4, coming out soon in the theaters near you. I'll be back, because we're gonna fill this with something really cool. All right, so what I did, I went to the wood and made some ice, because I do that, because I'm Elsa. So really quick, we're just gonna take a whole bunch of ice and then fill this Lego hot tub with the ice. Can I survive it? Yeah, of course. I'm Elsa. What's wrong? What's wrong with you, everybody? All right. This is gonna suck by the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, ice. Oh, so long. Ah! Karate. All right. Check it out, this is my ice bath, hot tub with the Legos. We're almost done here, okay? Let me just make some more ice here. Yeah. Okay, we got some ice! <laughs> All right, if you ever need some more ice, contact my number at 1-800-ELSA'S-GOT-ICE. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, one big thrust, and we're good. Ah. Ah. Okay, there's one big block of ice here. You know what they say, headbutt it! Ouch! Let's give this video a big thumbs up! Make sure to slap that like button. I'll give you five seconds. Slap that like button. Hey, let's give this video the four likes. I'll give you 30 seconds. <laughs> kidding. So I guess we gotta, ah, ah. I'm the ice princess. I'm the ice queen. I can deal with this. See, it's not bad. Woo. <laughs> it's so cold. Why did I agree to do this? Woo. All right, damn it. Ah. I had to put my cute little boots on, so let's just hope it'll work. All right, wish me luck, everyone. I'm gonna go underneath the ice where I belong. Oh, look at me. I'm the last airbender. Oh, you found me in the ice. <laughs> ah, okay, just gonna scooch my butt here. Oof. Oh, okay. I can understand why athletes take an ice bath. I, I really don't understand why they take an ice bath. I, I, I can't move. I, I can't move. This is so cold. <laughs> Oh, maybe if I head first dive in it, I'll be okay. Oh, oh yeah. This is, I don't even know what's happening. All right. Oh, yeah. I guess I can just sit on top of it. Hey, how does um, our Lego hot tub look? Does it look really cool? Um, let us know in the comments down below. But in the meantime, let me use my powers to make it snow. I look cool. cool. Wow! It's snowing! come from? Hmm. Do you want me to make it snow in your house? Great! Alright, I'm just gonna cannonball right in here. Alright, let me just make sure I get out of here safely. Here we go, we're gonna just dive right in. Ready? Three, two, one. Ow! Ow! Ah! <laughs> Alright everyone, so if you have never taken a bath in the ice before, it's not the greatest Hey man, what are you doing? Ice, duh. Like I was saying before I was really interrupted, if you've never taken a bath in ice before, it's not the greatest. The thing is, there is something just as worse than taking an ice bath. It's called ice bath with water. Yes, that is right. If you add water in here, it makes it even colder. Let me explain. Since I'm in my backyard, all right, obviously it's a backyard. Grass, grass. All right, so let me take this hose and uh, let's start watering these um, plants. I was gonna say plants. Sure, go ahead. 
Alright, now things are about to get a little bit serious here, okay? Once this starts filling up with water, things are about to get a little bit complicated. Woo! Ah! Okay. Oh my gosh, that's cold! Ay, oh, 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 ah! See, even the water is cold! We have filled it uh, with some water here. We gotta be a little bit careful. Not really, we're gonna die right now! Oh! Ow! Oh! Ow! Oh! 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 oh, that kind of hurt. Oh my gosh, that really hurt. Oh man. Oh! Ah! 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 Oh my gosh! I'm not even like exaggerating or anything. It's like to the point where it feels like pins and needles just like stabbing your foot. Oh! Ow! Ow! Here we go! Diving right in! <laughs> no, I don't want to do it! Okay, give me a second. My name is Elsa Williams. I am going to cannonball inside of this giant Lego hot tub. Are you ready? Here we go! Three, two, one! I know it might not seem like it because you're watching this video, but if you actually do it, it's really bad. Imagine taking a dive in the Atlantic Ocean, except everything is a glacier. That's what the Titanic felt like. All right, everybody, my name is Elsa. I'm the greatest Disney princess of all time. I have here my supreme scuba gear. Where did I get it? I have no idea. I found it. Let's see how long I can hold my breath with this scuba gear. Woo, woo, woo. Here we go. Uh, three, two, uh, one. I can't even stand there for like two seconds without me like hurting. <sighs> it's so bad. Okay, let's start small. Cause you know how it, they say when you wanna like dive into a really cold beach or whatever, you wanna start off small. So we're gonna start off with the feet, okay? Once my feet get used to it, then we move down. Oh! <laughs> die! 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 I can't even do the feet. All right, let's start off with our hands. We're gonna start off with the pinky finger. When the pinky finger is used to the coldness, we're gonna move on to two fingers, three, and then four, five, and then the hand. Okay, the hands are doing a lot better than the... Oh. You know, you know what they say, you gotta start off little by little. So, let's start off with my butt. Okay, we're gonna start off with my butt. And slowly work my way. Okay, and then slowly, Oh, oh my, yeah. Where's my wig? Where's, someone touch me my wig. Okay, we're done. No, 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 no. Oh. oh my gosh, I can't feel my butt. Oh my god. Oh. All right, everybody. I am Elsa. The greatest princess of all time! And I am worth a belly flop! <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm just kidding. That's gonna hurt. Really? Why not? I'm no. I've been to many urgent cares this year already, so... We're just gonna cannonball right into our first round! Hey, by the way, here, before I do this, here, uh, take a good look at this right here. It looks pretty cool, actually. Does looking at this make you very, very cold or freezing at some kind of point in your life? Well, it makes me very nervous. I am Elsa, the greatest Disney princess of your imagination. Here I will cannonball and die. Here we go. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Inner princess. Three, two. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so scared. All right, I'm just gonna lay back. Ah! Yo, help, 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 help. help. Oh, he saved me life. Oh, 
<laughs> I'm Elsa. I'm gonna use the power of a match to make this warmer. <laughs> Come on, help me out, match. Okay, let's get. Make sure this is warm. Actually, you know what'll make it warm if I light the entire thing? You know what they say, please don't do this at home ever. Never ever do this at home. This is just for my purposes because I would love it. There you go. Come on, help me out. There you go. There you, yes, yes, help me out. Okay, hopefully this Lego hot tub filled with ice is a little bit warmer now. Say, if you don't enjoy the warmer, enjoy the colder. Ah, snowing! Woo! Woo! Hopefully, this is good enough for me to. Mm. Mm. Okay, not bad. Ah! <laughs> oh. Man, yo, chill out with that, dude. Yo, calm down. You know what they say, if a plant is in an ice, that means the degree is a little warmer. <laughs> I'm going crazy. <laughs> you know what they say, plants in the water is called a swamp. Good. Oh, I'm going crazy. I don't know how to do this video, everybody. This is the hardest thing ever. All right, all right, I'm just gonna just go right in. Okay, all right, everybody, if you made it this far of me blabbering and yabbering, this is the ultimate finale here, okay? I'm actually gonna go in and uh, submerge myself completely, and hopefully I stay alive. Here we go, ready? Three, two, one. What are you doing over there? <laughs> what is up YouTube? I'm here with my buddy Jay, Whoa. Prehistoric Cats TV. <laughs> I'm going to be in hot tub with alligators today. You ready to help me out? I'm ready. All right, here we go. I brought some of my favorite ones. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, this, this water is freezing. <laughs> oh, what do we have, Jay? We got, with this one right, <laughs> this right here is Davey. Hey, Davey. Come here, I love you. You wanna swim with me today? There's one. Look at him. All right, Jay, who's, who's this one right here? Oh, this one's actually one of my newer ones. Oh. Hey. And he doesn't have a name. No name. No, he's a rescue gator. California's in there against the law and somebody had to give him up and oh. here he is. Comment down below, what should this gator's name be? Yeah, look, and let me show you something about him. He has a little mark on the end of his nose right there. So he's got a little scar, so I always know who he is, just like I know who Davey is. And I got, I brought, I brought a famous one, TikTok. Ooh. <laughs> These are gators, by the way, in representation to all the crocodiles out there. And we're crocs. So it just makes sense. Oh, oh, is that TikTok? This is TikTok. Oh, jeez. Come here. And if TikTok. anybody knows anything about TikTok, Ooh. he got Nate. He, he got his name stolen from a Disney show. Oh, really? <laughs> TikTok is the one who ate the clock. Oh. Captain you... Hook. Are you on TikTok? And, and he, got, he got his hand too. <laughs> you know the app TikTok? <laughs> no. Oh. Gotta... This one is Davey, right? That's correct. All right. That's... Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. Nope, this is Davey. Oh. Hey, Heavy Davey. Tree, trick me. Hey, Davey, how's it going? You know, just a typical day, an average day. I got some alligators here. <laughs> Check how beautiful this one is. Wow, hey Davey, how's it going? How was your day? They're so calm. They are. These, right? are, these ones are used to doing cool stuff and, and they can get a 1,500 pounds. Wow. Before the day started, I thought I was gonna be more scared than I was, but it's not scary at all. It's just more like, it's fun. I right? wonder, would, they, would you guys swim with alligators? I will. Here, I'm gonna swim right now. I'll see you later. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, hold Watch on. Out. Careful. Watch out. Careful. Is there no diving 
Time zone. <laughs> Careful, Gators. Here we go. I want to smell the <laughs> Three, two, one. <gasps> Is that what uh, alligators sound like? <laughs> when they're eating something. Oh! <laughs> Look at this one at the bottom. You're just so, chilling. So what are we gonna name this guy? You, let's see. He's a fast swimmer. Ooh. Oh! Helps. I think guy girl, guy. Right? I can actually figure that out. <laughs> this alligator is a girl. So what's her name? Fast. She's pretty cool. Look at her. She's got, like I said, she's got all kinds of fun little characteristics. Ooh. She's she's a little bit wild. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. She's so cute. Oh, go swim. This is so awesome. Like, she hangs out with Davy all the time. Come on. Oh. Come on. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, they're like little dogs. Right? You're so cute. Oh, sit. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, I have a GoPro here. I'm just gonna go underwater, and I uh, just want to get you guys like a point of view of what I see and what the uh, the alligators see. You guys ready? You ready? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just whipped me in my eyeball with his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going in. What's up? What's up? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? You doing okay? You wanna go underwater with me? Okay, let's go. Hey guys, you want to see something really cool? Watch this eye. He, watch what it does. Ready? Got a goggle on. See that? Whoa. He throws a set of goggles on. Watch now. You ready? Goggles Whoa. off. <laughs> Built-in right. goggles. You want to see something cool? <laughs> you see this eye? Check it out. <gasps> goggles. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I can't breathe. <laughs> we're gonna do a little bit of a prank here, all right? We're gonna put the cover on on the hot tub, and then we're gonna say, hey, there's something in the hot tub. Trust me, it'll work. It sounds weird, but it's gonna work. All right, guys, I'm gonna take a nap. Jay, you should get a I'm gonna go to lunch. <laughs> you should get uh, our first victim. <laughs> right. well, I'm gonna go find somebody and bring them over and tell right. them it's crazy things in this hot tub. You gotta look at it. <laughs> All right, good luck. I'll be here. <laughs> good night. Hmm. Wonder why Roy wanted me to clean the hot tub. Ugh. Ah! What? You, like what? Ah, you got alligators? What is that? It's an American alligator. Filipino alligator. Can you close it, please? I'm, I'm trying to take a nap here. All right. See you later, alligator. Ah! <laughs> Whoa! Oh! Ah! Ah! Oh! One of them farted! One of them farted! It smells like <laughs> Oh, who farted? Oh! It smells so bad. Who farted? <laughs> hey, what are you guys doing over there? Are you guys huddling as a team? What are you guys conversating about over there, huh? Uh-huh, yeah? Oh, yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. I just love some water. Yeah. Alright guys, let's make sure to give this video a big thumbs up! Because alligators are amazing.
What are you doing? What are you doing over there? <laughs> Thanks for watching today's alligator hot tub video. Shout outs to Jay. Hey, hey. Check him out. Prius <laughs> Toy Pets TV. I'll leave everything in the description box down below. Alright, stay juicy. <laughs> what is up, YouTube? Today I am going to be in a hot tub with giant snakes. Specifically, reticulated pythons. All right, so I have my buddy Jay over there. Are you ready? I am ready. What do you have in that container? Oh, this is my rainbow snake. You'll see what I'm talking about. She is big and she is beautiful. Look at the black on it. Whoa. Whoa, she's bringing her container with her. She likes the water, by the way. She, wait, what? She wa likes the water. She's a constrictor. Oh. So is this, is this safe? Am I, am I gonna be safe? I'm in the corner. <laughs> no, nobody's ever died in the making of any of my YouTube videos. Okay, so that's good, right? That's a good thing. <laughs> hey, it's a good odds. Oh my god! <laughs> what? Look, it extends all. What? Are you? Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Oh, yo, this is kind of freaky. You're a nice python, right? She's checking it out. Look at that. She's going underwater, checking it all out. You're a good py a good python, right? I can go like this and I'll be okay. Yep. Please don't, please don't bite me. Please. Oh, this isn't bad. <laughs> Yo! She wants a set of goggles. <laughs> okay, you can have it. You can have all the goggles in the world. Just, just don't attack me. You're good. I mean, oh. Look at that, she's going underwater. Imagine swimming and then you just see this like out of the, oh. All right, cool. There's another one! You better be ready! There's another Whew. Oh, dear. I figured if you have black, you gotta have white. Which is your favorite one? Now everybody's gotta go. We'll run a little, have a little <laughs> fun, right? <laughs> Did I tell you snakes can sense fear? No. <laughs> they, can, they really can, but these snakes are so mellow, they don't care. Oh, really? Okay, come here. Look at this, oh, look at this one. Oh no, oh, you're wrapping on me like a belt. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, don't poop. This one has to poop. Oh, don't poop, poop. please don't poop on me. All right, so far, so good. Um, Nothing too crazy. What's your favorite? I don't know. Oh, I like those. <laughs> They're both really pretty. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, is that, oh. What is that? Oh, 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 what is that? Oh. <laughs> it's just crazy how um, how big these pythons are. For real, like, wow, they're so, oh, this is so heavy. You're so heavy. Oh man, you gotta be kidding me. These aren't big ones. These are little ones. What? Where are you going, girl? She heard the big ones coming. You ready for the big snake? These are the little ones. These are the babies. I'm not kidding. Yeah. What? These are the little ones. All right, bring it over for the big the one. Big one? I guess so. I mean, okay, I'm ready. Let's get her back in and I'll go get the big one. That ain't a snake. <laughs> this a snake. <laughs> oh. So this is a this is a bigger reticulated python. What if I told you this is not the biggest reticulated python? There's more? <laughs> wait, are you serious? <laughs> this <laughs> is the, <this laughs> the biggest one I brought today. <laughs> <laughs> look at it go, look at it go, look at it go, look at it go. It's still going. Are you serious? Come here. It's still going. Are you good? What? Girl. Oh my <laughs> gosh. I guess I'm hopping in here. What's up? What's up? How you doing? How you doing? You chilling? I like your skin. I like your skin. You have a nice skin. Whoa, <laughs> this one's so heavy. Oh, you're so cute. Come here. Is it okay? Is it safe? Yep. 
Should be. Come here. <laughs> oh! <laughs> she hasn't Come been here. anybody all day. I love you so much. Yeah, you're... don't squeeze her right there. Oh. <laughs> okay. She could get nervous, wondering why is that guy grabbing a hold of me? Okay. Snakes, so snakes like to be treated with respect like you're doing, so just like. Oh, we farted. Oh! <laughs> Snake didn't want to be in there. Oh, this is yeah. the bad area. All right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, they're floaters. Ah. Woo! All right, welcome back, everybody. All right, so we had to drain out all the poo poo water, but we still have a hot tub. We still got some giant pythons in here. Here we go. This is so much scary. Oh. <laughs> Am I good to sit? Yep. How far? Uh, all the way down. Ah! Oh, don't. <laughs> Is this one okay? This one's looking at me. This weird. one's looking funny. Uh oh, really? Yeah. Here. Oh! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> What we just saw is a snake had something over the top of it, made him a little, made her a little nervous, and so she just thought she moving things out away yeah. kind of make him like, well, what's that? You know what I mean? Oh no way! Yeah, so she just doesn't quite knew, didn't quite know what was going on. So she's safe. Oh yeah. Oh, she's, so I'm gonna. No man, I think. I'll, I'll handle this one for a minute. All right, this is fine, right? But we got plenty in there to play with. Oh, she is so strong. Okay, ready? I guess. Okay, yeah, jump in there. <sighs> All right. I'm good. What do you think? No, that one tried <laughs> biting me, huh? That one tried. There, right there. So here's what I want you to do. You see this part right here? Yep. You're going to end up putting that over you. I don't know if this is a good idea. Okay, All right. Sit right there, quick. It's perfect. What's the best way to get the best experience? Sit this? right there. I, I, quick. Oh, my goodness. Oh, <laughs> sit right here. Oh, my gosh. This is the one that's. I don't want to hug. She wants. She feels bad that she, she scared you. She did scare me bad. Here you go. No. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is. Oh. How think, heavy is it? I think I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh my. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. I can't breathe. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is so heavy, though. That's heavy, right? This is extremely heavy. Please don't poop on me. <laughs> okay. It's, it's, you're good. It's okay. I, I forgive you for scaring you earlier. You didn't have to strike me. You okay? Okay, I love you. She's, she's coming back around. Where? Where? <laughs> oh, my gosh. She's right here. No, stop. Don't put that. She was just nervous from something way away. So you have okay. nothing to worry about. Okay, so I'm good. This one's just up here chilling. We got the, look, everybody's just hanging out. Yeah, we're just hanging around, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, chilling with uh, some pythons in the hot tub. It's not bad, you know, as long as we're all happy, right? Just you. <laughs> all right, this is, uh, this is gonna be the ultimate test. Can you go right there? Right here? Yeah. Okay. All right, so I've changed my position here in the hot tub. Um, I'm feeling great, feeling a little bit nervous, but in the end, it's all fun. Oh, hey, what's up? You want to communicate? Oh. You want to communicate? <laughs> you understand that? Wow, the rainbow is just shining over here like crazy. There it is. Yeah, that is it. Oh, Black and white. oh that's heavy. Uh, hello. <laughs> is, that, is that? Oh, this one's staring at me. Help. <laughs> Snakes are funny. They they sense fear, and but the funny part is these ones are so calm they don't care if you're scared. Oh no way. No. They don't okay. They're worried about it. Cool, because I'm not actually scared. Jay, <laughs> I feel great. Right. <laughs> Don't worry, you guys. He's not sit. He's sitting on the hot tub. The snake's right behind him. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, he's got you. Uh, oh, oh, my leg. Oh. <laughs> All right. So uh, if you ever get the opportunity to go in a hot tub with pythons, OJ. Oh my gosh, this is so heavy. 
Ow! I couldn't move. <laughs> I can't even move. Uh, Let me sit up. I can't. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> All right, well, anyways, just want to say thanks for watching. Uh, shout out to Jay. Make sure to check him out. Prehistorics about CV. I'll leave everything in the description down below. I don't know what to do. How do I get out of here now? I can't <laughs> breathe! We're loving the trees! <laughs> We're loving the trees! We're loving the trees! <laughs> this is a hot tub. This is some hot chocolate. Today, hot chocolate, hot tub. We interrupt this video for me to tell you. You can grab this astronaut, Roy, right over here. It comes in this box, the Guava Juice Space Box. Go to guavajuicebox.com if you want one. Ooh, you won't regret it. <laughs> okay, so while we still have this hot tub, it's not broken yet. <laughs> yeah! We're just gonna do our best to try to fill it with whatever we can. Let me know in the comments down below what you want me to fill this hot tub with next. All right, so without further ado, it's just pour some <laughs> gonna be a weird video. Oh my gosh, it's like someone like did a number two in the pool. <laughs> oh my gosh. I pooped my pants and now <laughs> this is what's happening. Okay, that's weird. Okay, we need more chocolate. So here's a uh, chocolate number two. Oh my goodness. There we go. Let me just uh, mix it all up a little bit. Ooh. <laughs> I guess we can add some more, right? Oh yes. Keep in mind, remember the hot tub is hot and then the chocolate is chocolate. So we have hot tub hot chocolate. This is it? Is that what I call it? You can't have hot chocolate without marshmallows. Where did that come from? All right, so we're gonna put some marshmallows in here. Why not? Marshmallows, good. If you want cavities, real quick, eat some marshmallows. Whoa! All right, more please. There you go. All right, last one. Thank you. <laughs> All right, actually, one more. I think we, need, we can do one more chocolates here. Thank you. Oh. Ah. All right, welcome to my hot tub. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. But yeah, so uh, this hot tub, it still works, I think. We put a whole bunch of Orbeez here last time because this is the, the button for the jets and the jets aren't even working. So I think we clogged the jets with a long Orbeez here. That's not good. <laughs> if you want to know how it feels, it feels great. I don't know if chocolate is really good for your skin as far as exfoliation, but it feels good. <laughs> All right, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put this in here. All right, it's time to drink this. Wait, you gotta wait till the end of the video for me to drink this, cause I'm gonna drink this. I'm gonna put that right here, but for now, let's give this video a big thumbs up if you like water. Water is essential for life, for the environment. So we're just gonna try different foods out. So this is some Oreos. If you dip it in here and eat it, mm. what does it taste like? It tastes delicious. Mm. Let's say you have this spoon, for example, right? So let's make sure we mix this all up nicely. Make sure everything is mixed up. Hot chocolate, you don't want no non-mixture of hot chocolate because if you do, and then the hot chocolate is not mixed, then that's not good. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna start getting a little bit messy. I mean, it's already messy already, but you know what I mean. So I'm gonna just pour some syrup here. Blah. Uh, and uh, here we go. I'm just gonna just jump in here and be very violent. This is called the hot chocolate hot tub dive. Three, two, one. You guys ever see a dolphin? Well, if you haven't, this is what they look like. I hope you're ready. This is called the hot chocolate dolphin. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen a whale? Well, if you haven't, this is what they do. <gasps> you ever seen a flying fish? You haven't. <gasps> this is called the Olympic hot chocolate cannonball. Here we go. Three, two, I'm scared. One. Okay, that was weak. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, it's, oh, I'm sorry. I'm making a mess. All right, guys, you ready? Today, we're gonna go after one of the craziest creatures we've ever seen in our lives, all right? We're gonna go down in the chocolate lake. Follow me, we have to stay serious. We're gonna be quiet, all right? Oh, by jeebies. There it is, there it is. Look at it, look at it. Stay back. You wanna keep your distance with these type of creatures? There it is. All right, look at this stay back. Oh my God, it's so crazy. It's yellow, it's so small. 
I can't do it! I can't do it! Hey, but I'm the monster! It's not the monster, I'm the monster! <laughs> Alright, fine, you're the monster. Alright, so let's try this out. So I have a bath bomb. What do you think will happen to the bath bomb? Obviously, it's gonna fizz. Do you think you'll see the fizz? I don't know where I'm trying to get. Let's drop a bath bomb, okay? Three, two, one. Ooh. Okay, I mean, it smells good. It smells like hot chocolate and bath bombs. <laughs> Yo, this smells very good, by the way. So for the next 30 minutes, I'm just going to do non-stop cannonballs and see what happens, all right? Here we go. Cannonball number one. Cannonball number two! Cannonball number three! Let's start swimming. Ready? Alright, let's practice our swimming. Okay, do the backstrokes. Cool! Now we're gonna dive! Okay, dive again. Alright, now cannonball in place. Here we go. Oh, awesome! Here we go. Cannonball number five! Save him, save him, save him! Save him. Oh. <laughs> okay. Cannonball number six! <sighs> Woo! Remember, kids, if you're ever in a hot tub, Please be careful. There's some rules here. Don't do what I do, because that's really not responsible. But just watch me do it. Just be safe. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, this is called the hot chocolate scuba diving. I'll see you later. <gasps> no scuba diving, sir. Okay. Fine. Oh. You guys hear something? Hey, hey, Alright, so safety notes, it's really important to have a lifeguard on duty, right lifeguard? No! That was really loud, by the way. Ow. All right, like I promised in the beginning of the video, I am going to drink this. Thanks for staying tuned. And for those who fast forwarded here, that's cool too. Hey! <laughs> hey! Yo, that was loud, bro. What? Are you good? No, Are you okay? I can't hear. Are you okay? What? You're sunny. What? What? Chocolates. They're selling chocolate. Why are you gonna be so loud, man? Why are you gonna be so loud? pretty good. I thought I would hate it, but this is pretty amazing. Mm. It's just condensed milk with cinnamon. It's insane. I'm just gonna have to just uh, fill this one up <laughs> with the eggnog. I haven't done a bath video in a long time, so I figured, you know, it's the holidays. I might as well do this. Right. Oh, yeah, by the way, let's give this video a big thumbs up if you want great presents for Christmas. If you don't, you're gonna have bad presents for Christmas. You don't want that, so big thumbs up. Okay. If I throw this down as hard as I can, do you think it's gonna explode? Or do you think it's gonna be normal and intact? Let me know. You have an answer? I say it's gonna explode. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh! It didn't do anything! Wow! Honestly, it's pretty good. Eggnog's pretty delicious. It tastes good to me. Do you like eggnog? Let me know in the comments down below. 
All right, this is called the eggnog bathtub trick shot. Three, two, one. Eggnog, nog, 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 eggnog, nog, nog, nog. Look how gross and nasty that is, though. It's like, I'm going to have to swim in that. So we have so much more eggnog to do. All right, this is called the Super Bar Eggnog Trick Shot. Here we go. <laughs> no! <laughs> All right, that did not work the way it planned. I thought, I thought for sure that would have made it, right? Okay, let's get a replay on that. The super far eggnog trick shot. Oh no! No! <laughs> no! Did you know? that eggnog was made accidentally. People drink eggnog to ward off the evil spirits that come through during the holidays. I'm gonna pour half of it in. And a lot of people don't know you can do this with eggnog bottles. You can do it as a flip bottle. Look at that. Yes! Always the easiest attempt ever. All right, let's do another one. Just keep flipping. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's pour out of four. You don't believe me? Why you do that? Why you do that? Huh? Mr. Gaga Juice, do that again. All right, I'll do it again. Except I'm gonna do two at the same time, all right? Two eggnogs, no problem. Check it out. Same time. Oh. Boom! What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Boom! Why you gotta flip like that? Come on! I think it's ready to go. Look at it. <laughs> Yum. Without further ado, let's take a dip in this eggnog filled bathtub. Oh dear, that is cold. I feel like this is gonna be really cold though. Ooh, that's really cold. I, woo. I'm not gonna lie, we put a little bit of water here. Ah, oh, wow. Woo. Well, this is what happens when you fill a bathtub <laughs> with the eggnog. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go in. In the count of Taneke Karakazi. Ah! 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 Ah, it's so cold. Give me like one minute to get accustomed to the temperature. That term is called homeostasis. I learned that in the seventh grade, homeostasis. I know what you're saying, like it's probably not that cold. It's freezing. It's like winter. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? No. Okay, I think I'm good. Oh dear. Okay, I have this contraption that can turn a bathtub into a jacuzzi, okay? With a press of a button, this thing will convert into a jacuzzi. You don't believe me? Check this out. It's pretty dope. <laughs> then you just put your back right into it, and then it'll just massage your back in that specific area, which is cool. Who would have known eggnog would have been a great use to massage your body? <laughs> this is crazy cold. Why is it so cold? Ah! Comment down below, what is your name? I'm gonna just name some names now, okay. Nathan, Nelly, Jude, June, August, May, Summer, Autumn, <laughs> Bob, Boblini, Juan. Did you know, I don't know if you knew this, People use eggnog to moisturize not only the body, but also to massage the scalp, which is pretty great. The good thing about taking a bath is, no matter what's in the tub, you can still play with these weird toys. So I have here Norma. What's up, Norma? Go. She's just doing her thing. This is just Wardo. <laughs> just Wardo, go swim. That's not how you swim, just Wardo. You can swim faster than that! Come on, man! Alrighty, so let me take this time to show you guys some egg hacks, okay? Just take the egg. There's no way you can crack it if you put it in the middle of your palm and squeeze. 
It's like super impossible. You don't believe me? Try it yourself. This is not a prank, by the way. It's not like, oh, Glover, you told me to do this, and then blah. It really does not work. I'm like, here. It's really not cracking. It's really, really hard. You don't believe me? No? You don't? You try it. Try it. Put it in the middle of your palm and squeeze as hard as you can. Go. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It's impossible. It's impossible. <laughs> Give it a try. Let me know in the comments down below if you know anybody, anybody who can crack the egg using the palm. Squeeze it as hard as you can. It will not work. I know what you're thinking. Uh, uh, that's a fake egg. It's not a fake egg. You know why? Because it's real. See? It broke so easily, and then you can crush it. Another egg hack is, same thing, hold it like this. It's impossible to crack it using these two fingers. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was already cracked. <laughs> if you want to fake your friends thinking you're really strong, just crack it a little bit. Show them this method first. Like, hey, do this. No one in the world can crack an egg by squeezing it. And then they squeeze it, they squeeze it. But what they don't know is you have yourself your own egg. When they give you the egg back, okay, crack it just a little bit, tiny crack like this, okay? Make sure it's facing the way where the crack isn't and be like, ah, whatever, I can do that. Check this out. Like that, and then everyone's gonna be like, what? One last trick, um, we know the hand trick, the finger trick, it also works with the mouth, okay? You gotta put it in the right way. You gotta make sure it is Horizontal, okay? And what you wanna do is bite down. You won't be able to. You're gonna break your jaw. It's very, very, very hard, okay? But what you can do, okay? Tell your friends, like, I bet you can't break this with your mouth. And then what they don't know is when you take it back from them, just crack it a little bit like that. And then show them how it's done. <laughs> video is almost over, but my ritual for every bath video is I gotta do a cannonball, so I can't end the video without doing a cannonball, okay? Cannonball! In three, two, one! Okay, alright, that, that wasn't big enough! That wasn't big enough! What you doing, Slav? Come here, my school. Oh, they're so cute. I don't know what to do. Oh, man. I wish I had real puppies to put in my bath. Not just this balloon dog. I do have puppies to put in my bath. Yay! Yay! Come on. Yay! 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 That's right, today I'm gonna fill my bathtub with puppies. Mwah. I'm gonna spend 24 hours with puppies in the bathtub and uh, we're gonna see what happens. Without further ado, let's put these puppies in this bathtub one by one. Let's go. Oh, uh, what's good? Hey, buddy. There's another puppy. Oh my goodness, look at this one. It's what's up? Oh my, oh, you're the loud one. Oh, there's another one. Oh my gosh, there's a third brown one. Oh. Oh, don't, don't be scared. I'm here. I am your friend forever and ever. Oh my goodness, I thought we were done. Oh, look at you. You look like a sloth. You're a slothy looking one, all right? We're gonna be in this bathtub for 24 hours, okay? You feel free to pee, feel free to poop, do whatever you want. We're all gonna eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner together, right? Give me a kiss. Good. Yo, for real, shout out to Pups and Reps for making this happen. Uh, I just hit him up and I asked if I could rent puppies for the day. 
And then they said, yes, I'll go. I'll check them out. Link in the description below. They all probably have names already, but I'm just going to name them. You can name them with me too, so just comment down below. I'll call you Sloth. How are you doing, Sloth? Looks like a Sloth, right? What's up, Hiccup? How are you doing, Hiccup? <laughs> Give me a hug. What do you think this one's name? Comment down below. I, you're... You look like an owl. I would call you owl just because you look so wise. I'm gonna name you Bruce. No, you look more like a Brussel sprout. Are you a Brussel sprout? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna name you Brownie. I'm gonna name you Cookie. And I'm gonna name you Brownie number two. <laughs> what you doing, Sloth? What? Who's growling? Ooh, this one just keeps jumping. So I'll call you Peter Griff. Not Peter Griffin. What's the Spider Man's name again? Peter. Peter Pe Pan? No. What's his name? Peter Peter Parker. What's up, Spidey? Why are you jumping like that? If you're wondering why I'm not moving too much, because I'm in a position where I don't want to move, because if I do, everything's gonna move around me, and then everyone's so comfortable. Look, everyone's just so comfortable around me. So if you want to have some happiness in your life, fill your bathtub with puppies, okay? Make sure everyone's comfortable. Oh, oh, he just sneezed in my face. What's up, egg? <laughs> oh my gosh. What, Sloth? You got you telling me something? I think he's trying to tell. Are you trying? You got. You what? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I, I, I get it. I get it. You, you don't like the microphone. All right, here's another one. What's up? How you do? What's your name? What's that? You're actually what, Marshmallow. You, you DJ and stuff? <laughs> what? Owl, what you want? <gasps> Look at your eyeball, Owl. Come here. Look at the eyeballs. I didn't realize. Eyeballs of owl, look at owl. <laughs> what, what you got there? You got the Sharingan? What do you got? Rasengan? Byakugan? What you got? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so here's what we're gonna do, okay? I'm gonna go set you free, and we're gonna do a little scavenger hunt, okay? What? Owl, what you want? You don't like that idea? Alright, what's the hold up? What you yapping about there, owl? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hoot hoot! Yes, hoot hoot! I get it. Uh, scavenger hunt time? I'm just so surprised. These puppies are just so chill. They're so comfortable. Look at this one. This is like, hey, what's up? Okay, oh, comment down below. Which one of these dogs are your favorite? Put the name of the dog down in the comments down below. But in the meantime, I need to get out. Sorry. Bye. Okay, I'll see you later. Remember what I taught you. Believe in yourself and you will find the dog treats. Okay, you wanna play hide and seek? Okay, I'll count to 10. So there are 10 puppies. I'm gonna release all the puppies in this studio. Let's see if we can find them all, okay? You guys ready for hide and seek? Okay, I'm gonna count to 10, okay? You guys be careful. Ready, one, <laughs> nine, 10. Ready or not? Oh my gosh, everyone's running everywhere. I found one. Nice. Well, I found two. Brownie cookie. Ah, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. <laughs> oh my goodness, just take a look. Take a look at what I'm dealing with right now. I mean, all these puppies are just, look at that. There's a puppy that came out. Of... Oh, there's two puppies that came out of nowhere. I found you all, come on. Yeah. Yes. Come here, Stephanie. Come here, ow, ow. Come on, I got you. Come here, egg. Ugh. I release you, there you go. Five out of five. This isn't hard. I, I, I seriously thought they were just gonna go randomly all around. They have so much space to deal with, and they all choose to be here. You guys are really bad at this game, by the way. This is what I'm talking about earlier. Like, Peter loves to jump. I don't know the real name, but I'm just gonna name Spider Man. Here, come on. Come on, Peter. Up, up, up. Hey. Hey, come on. Up, up. Come on, jump. Come on. You tired? Are you tired? Hey, come here. Hey, come here. Yo, why do you look like a moving mop? Come on, come on. Come on. I got you. I got you. Oh no. I know. They're so sneaky. Wait. Wait. Oh. Come on. Oh. Come here, mop. Yeah, I got you. Got you. I got one. I got one. Hey, hey, don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, okay. I'm so tired. Okay, here you go. Yay, friends. Yay! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. Let's go. Nine. Okay. I think you won. Marshmallow, I think you won. Come here. 
Oh man, Marshmallow Sneaky! Come here, you're Sneaky Dog. You're Sneaky Dog. Come here! Come here, Marshmallow! <laughs> come on, come back! Oh my goodness. What? I think Marshmallow's here somewhere. Boo! Boo! Mm. She's like, I gotta go. I don't wanna go back to my friends. I am my own friend. Hey! I love you! Gosh, why are you so fast? Wait, 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 wait! <laughs> okay, the hunt for a marshmallow is real. So we just gotta pretend like we're not noticing her and then she'll just come straight to my arms. As you can see, she's very occupied over there. Marshmallow, you're so fast, dude. Come on, I was just there, girl. I think this is it. She's over there, pretty much trapped. And then, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta come here. Come, come on. on. I gotcha, I gotcha. Oof. All right, anything, any words to say for the champion of the hide and seek? You wanna go back to your friends? Yeah, yeah, you want her to come back? Okay, okay, come on. You want your friend back? You want your friend back? Okay, go play, go play. Yeah! So there's a theory. Um, usually when dogs hang out in a pack, when they're introduced to a new dog, all the dogs in the pack get wild. <laughs> okay, if you don't believe me, let me grab my dog real quick. I'm just gonna hold him here. Let's see what they react to, okay. So this is Oogie, this is my dog. Follow him on Instagram, Oogie Monster. But anyways, those dogs don't even know what's about to happen. So let's uh, check out this natural instincts of dogs. I'm just gonna walk backwards so they don't, they don't see him too much. Here we go. I'm gonna turn around in three, two, one. Who's that? Who's that? So that is what happens when you introduce a random dog to a group of dogs. It's like introducing a new friend to a new school. Everyone in the school knows each other, so they're just gonna come at ya! But it's okay, be yourself, that's all that matters. Okay, go to your cage. This whole room is this cage, by the way. <laughs> Only for now, because there's crazy dogs right now. But they're so lovely! Alrighty, so I know it hasn't been 24 hours yet. It's only been like two hours, but I I, I don't want to just let them- Look at them! They're so happy! They're so cute! They're doing their own thing! Oh my gosh, that's so cute! So, they're gonna stay in their natural habitats right there, or just chill in the their playpen. I'm gonna chill in my playpen. That's the only thing that works, right? If anyone wants to come in the bathtub, bark! Bark! No one? No? Okay, fine, I'll go to your playpen. This is your bathtub. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm a dog now. Hi, hey, hold on there. See, I'm in their playpen now, huh? I'm just gonna poop right here. Ah, uh, how you, oh, oh, oh dear, there's some, oh. <laughs> okay, who wants to, come on, let's go. Come on, let's go, let's run, let's run. Come on, come on. Anyways, once again, thank you for watching this amazing cute video with all these puppies. Who wants to go to the pet store? Let's go! Nobody? Alright, fine, I'll go by myself then. Jeez. Okay. There's a fish! Look! Look at the bath bomb! Look at the bath bomb! Welcome back, what's up you <laughs> Today I am going to be filling my bathtub with Oreos and some milk. And then I'm gonna be staying inside my bathtub for an entire hour. That's a lot of minutes. 60 minutes to be exact. 3,675 seconds and 18 years. That is crazy math. First things first. Oh, that's a slippery bathtub. <laughs> so welcome, this is the Oreo Milk and Bath Challenge. If you don't know what an Oreo is, uh, let me show you real quick for you guys. An Oreo is consists of two cookies, and inside the two cookies, there is some expired cream. And what people do is they eat it. 
All right, let's get started, shall we? All right, so my question is, should I put the Oreos in first or the milk? Let me know in the comments down below. Which would you rather do? Would you rather dip the Oreos in milk first or dip the milk in Oreos first? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right, so let's just do this. I want to see what happens. How soggy does it get? What does it do to your skin? Does it affect it? Does it make you sick? We're about to find out. Let's do this thing. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, yes. Crunch the Oreos here. Make sure you get all the flavor in the world. This is how people make ice cream, like cookies and cream ice cream. They take a bathtub, grab some Oreos. Since it doesn't have milk, they add milk to it, and then they freeze it in the freezer, and ta-da, you have Oreos ice cream. Let's just get this thing started. Let's put one layer of milk in. Oh, that is cold. Dang. Oh, yeah. Keep doing this thing. Woo! There you go. Um, so what do you guys think will happen? Do you think my skin will be more rejuvenized? Do you think uh, the Oreo will infuse in my skin and I become a chocolate? Did you say chocolate? We're about to find out, shall we? <laughs> Sorry, I tripped. <laughs> oh, yes. Are you glad I'm doing this video? I can't think of any other puns. Sorry, <laughs> that's all I got. Yo, look at the milk. Look at the milk. This is um seriously, if you get like a cookies and cream smoothie, this is kind of like the texture that you get. It's basically making the Oreo eat meat. <laughs> okay, let me tell you this. We spent the past ten minutes putting Oreos and milk in the bathtub, and <laughs> the tub is disgusting. Check it out. Like, I don't know what happened. I really don't know. Like, everything just looks disgusting. I would have thought it would like look cooler, but I really don't know. I really, really don't know. Oh, so if you put Oreos and milk into a bathtub, you would think it would be like this beautiful brownish whitish thing But as you can see here, I don't know. I guess the the cream inside the Oreo evaporated I don't know the term and what's even more like nasty Is what's underneath it. So come here closer closer check this out I'm just gonna take my hand. I'm gonna go like this in the bottom of the bathtub scoop it up for you check this out What is that? <laughs> Got <he. laughs> I'm just kidding here, seriously. Oh. You all ready? I don't think you're ready for this. Here we go. This is <laughs> It looks like mud or something. Oh, this is a fun fact. Did you know uh, movies, instead of using soil, sometimes they would crush a whole bunch of like Oreo and then mush them together to make mud? That way, for example, like military movies or war movies, people would like do their thing and then, like that. <laughs> the actors would like love it because it's just so deliciously good. So since I am here, the countdown starts now. One hour, escape the bathtub. How do we do this, you say? We just sit here and wait. For you guys watching, you're probably like, wow, this guy's disgusting. Uh, boo. But what you don't realize, the beauty of everything is you can do whatever you want. Be whoever you want. Do whatever you want. As long as it's good. As long as it makes everyone happy. Capiche? Just do it! Nah, I'm just kidding. No, no, seriously though. Seriously though. What's gonna happen in one hour? We're about to find- Oh! Ew! Look at the walls of the bathtub! I'm just gonna scrape my hand through like that. Oh, this is so gross. Oh! I feel like when you eat Oreos, this is what Oreos look like in your stomach whenever you digest it. Oh man, this is so good. Let me just wash my face real quick. <gasps> Oogie there, look at Oogie. He's like looking at me like, what are you doing? What are you doing, you crazy guy? Are you my owner? Yes, I am. And I do things like this. I love you, boy. But seriously, you want some chocolate? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. This is a segment called, how long can I hold my breath? <sighs> I seriously gotta find ways to kill time. So this is a good way. <sighs> Whoa! So let's do some experiments here. I have two bath bombs. I want to know what happens when I drop this into milk and Oreos. Are we gonna do um, fizzing? But I want to know if it's like fast or slow or does it even do anything at all. So let's drop one right here. Actually, I'm just gonna go like this and see what happens. Ready? Whoop! Whoa! 
It's not fizzing as like violently. I think because since it's milky, its substance isn't like too prone to like liquids or whatnot. I thought it would be like more violent than it is. I mean, it's making the bathtub look really cool. I, I can tell you that. Look at that. You can make artwork with this. Oh man, that's disappointing. I thought it was gonna be like. <laughs> it's more like. Another cool thing you can do um, while taking a bath with this, you can use this and just, you know, just take advantage of what you are taking a bath in. And just like, I don't know, just moisturize your skin. I don't know if that's good for you. I'm gonna find out at the end of this video. I just wanna see if my body feels a lot better. Uh, currently, I've been in the bathtub for like 20 minutes now. So I have like 40 minutes to kill, but we're just gonna see. Look at the bath bombs. It's fizzing. Ew, look at this. That is so cool though. I'm just gonna just make it nastier. Look at this. Look at that. And then you can just rinse it off like this. Not <laughs> So I was thinking I should start up my own chocolate milk business. So if you guys want some chocolate milk, you know where to get these chocolate milks. <gasps> There's a fish! Look! Look at the bath bomb! Look at the bath bomb! What's happening? It's making loud noises. These bath bombs are so... Ooh. I guess like the reaction is just so... Cr oh, stop. Let's check it. You guys want some milk? <laughs> All right, just kidding. This milk is probably super, super duper gross. Plus, it's like infused with like bath bombs, so. So you know those videos on YouTube where people build like box forts and stuff? Um, they're kind of weird. So let's build one. All right, so we have a box. Ugh. There you go. Hello, welcome to my house. Come through, come in, come on. You're, everyone's welcome here. Um, right here, we have my kitchen. CC, I'm making some scrambled eggs right here. Only egg whites though, because the yellow part is gross. Welcome, this is my bathroom. Oh, don't mind this, I, I forgot to flush. Don't worry about it. Okay, okay, if you come this way, on this side, this is my garage. Check it out. Look at my Lamborghini, check it out. Oh. Okay, come to the other side real quick. I'll show you what I have on the other side of the house. Oh. Oh. This is my backyard. Oh man, sorry, my dog has been using this backyard for a long time. I haven't been cleaning it. Okay, you gotta stop like doing your business here. Okay, one last thing. I have something really, really secret over here. Come here. Okay, so if you check here, this is my garage. Again, if you look closer, look at it, look at it. Oh, it looks cool, eh? Ha! <laughs> Got <he. laughs> All right, thank you for visiting my house. I'll see you later. Oh, what's up? <laughs> I didn't see you back there. I need to install some security system or something. I'll see you later. Oh, well, well, you gotta stop following me. It's getting weird now. I invited you, now you just. So, bye. Hey! What? You, need, you really need to calm down. Hey! <laughs> you need to calm down! I, I'm out! I'm out of here. Be yourself, stay happy. All right guys, it's been about almost an hour, so I'm just gonna just get ready to get out. Look at my, wow, look at this. Everything's looking nice. Um, but the question is, how do I really feel? So I'm just gonna wash up real quick. Check out this bathtub though. This is the effects of one hour in an REO milk bath. If I do a simple swipe. That's gross. All right, so let's go outside and watch. Oh, there's my boat. <laughs> All right. Just warning you guys, I have no idea what to expect after this, but we're about to find out. So let's clean up. Yeah. All right, I'll see you later. I'm gonna get a car wash. One car wash, please. Okay, 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 I'm good, I'm good, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Wow, my skin is great. Oh! Oh! What is up, YouTube? There's one thing I really like in this world, and that one thing is Honey! Look at all that honey! So I'm gonna fill my bathtub with honey today. And I know what you're saying. You're wasting all that honey! There is a decline of honeybees in the world, and I just want you guys to know that you should do as much as you can to help. So I donated a thousand dollars to the Honey Bee Conservancy just to help them find research and just save all these bees. In regards to that, I'm just gonna just dump a whole bunch of honey on me and uh, just tell you a lot about honey, because honey is really good for you, and it's really good for your health and your mind. And let's give this video a big thumbs 
thumbs up because bees are amazing and without bees there are gonna be no flowers no transferring pollen to another plant to another you don't understand how much bees mean to this world so let's save the bees but in the meantime I'm just gonna dump a bunch of honey on me because I've always wanted to do this ever since I could imagine because I love honey you're my honey bee my name used to be Roy Wasabi uh, without further ado, I'm gonna be sticky the whole day. So here we go. I have a whole bunch of honey with me here. Sticking my hand straight into the honey. Whoa! Dude! Oh my gosh, look at my hand! Oh my gosh. My hand looks like it's caramelized. Oh, let's just take a big handful. Look at this, dude. Look at all that honey, man. <sighs> There are a lot of benefits to honey as far as health. It's good for your health because bees, they collect a whole bunch of pollen and bacteria from the pollen. So that way, it's a natural remedy. So whenever you eat it, you're actually eating all the bacteria, which then strengthens your immune system to different kinds of bacteria. Did you know that? Oh my gosh. Honey, my hair is gonna be straight up honeyfied. Honey, let me tell you about honey. I love honey so much, I'm a bathe in it. Did you know a beehive alone can produce 30 to 100 pounds of honey in its lifetime? Ah! Dude, I've never seen so much honey. This goes out to the bees out there. Hopefully my donation does something. Dang, look at the honey all over my hair. I don't know if it's good for my hair. I mean, it probably is. Honey is really good for you. These buckets are extremely heavy. You see like a window of honey just seeping through this bucket right there. Oh man. Woo! Woo! Look at all that honey. Thank you. Oh! One more bucket full. Uh, it's so freaking heavy. Uh, 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 so much honey. Oh! Woo! Oh my goodness. You don't understand. Honey is very, very heavy, dude. Just because the thickness of it. Oh my gosh. If you want your body to feel rejuvenated, all the nice properties of honey is contained in the bathtub. All you gotta do is stick your body in it. And you feel amazing. Oh, oh look at all that honey, baby. Ooh, I'm gonna be sticky all day. If you're wondering how people make Burt's Bees or random honey products, they put it in the bathtub, they stir it up, put it on your lips. Actually, this is a lot better than Burt's Bees. You can get all of the concentrated Burt's Bees like chapstick or through mm, This is great, dude. Oh, I love honey so much. You don't understand. My love for honey is just absolutely amazing. Man, if I were an insect, I would be a honeybee. Look at it. Look at all that honey. Oh man, shout out to Winnie the Pooh. I feel ya, cause you love honey and I can understand why. So this is Winnie the Pooh's dream right now. Bathing and all this lovely honey. Shout out to Beyonce, Queen Bee. I love you so much if you're watching this or if your children are watching me. Tell them I said what's up. And can I have a picture please, Beyonce? Oh my God, Beyonce! <laughs> I'm gonna stick my whole entire face underneath this honey. Here we go, three, two, one. <gasps> Everything's covered. I can't hear anything in my ears because the oh, there's so much honey in my ears. I can't open my eyes because it might hurt. But I feel like a bee. I feel so happy. Man, this is cool though. Like the positive properties and attributes of honey is just amazing. We really gotta see the bees though. Okay, I'm gonna try to open my eyes. Ready? Oh my god! Oh, While I have all this honey with me, I'm going to intake as much as I can because I freaking love it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna wash my face because I can't see. I can see again. My eyes have been closed for the past like two minutes. So I lied the whole video. This is actually Coca-Cola. Concentrated Coca-Cola. It does look like honey though, right? I'm just kidding. It is honey. It looks like Coke though, right? Like from the soda fountain? Before they do all that watery thing. Oh man, there's a little bit of water in there. It's because I wash my face with water. This is called the honey diving board. <laughs> it's flop. It's how to like flop it. Let me tell you this. This is called the honey cannonball. Hope you're ready. Three, two, one. Ow! That kind of hurt my butt. Ah! Did you know honey does not expire if you seal it in the right package? That's how amazing honey is. Yeah. This is called the honey ASMR. Ready? 
Um, let's give this video a big thumbs up for honeybees. And yeah, let's save the bees. Uh, eat more honey because it's good for your health. And uh, let me know down below in the comments uh, what you want me to put in my bathtub next. I'm gonna wash up because I can't see and my eyes are burning because there are a whole bunch of honey in my eyeballs. <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye, Beyonce. Today I am going to be spending 24 hours in my bathtub with 10,000 bath bombs. But these aren't any ordinary bath bombs, okay? These are my bath bombs, the Guava Toys bath bombs. You can grab these at Target. That is right, Target. Oh my gosh, Target! There are four scented bath bombs here, ranging from chocolate pudding, cookie scented, sour melon scented, and grape jelly scented. They're only in these buckets for one month, so grab Grab it while you still can. Tell your mom, tell your dad, tell your older, whatever. Tell them to drive you to Target. Grab one of these, seriously. This is very, 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 very one of a kind. So get it while you still can. But in the meantime, I'm gonna spend 24 hours in this bath bomb. So thumbs up or bad. So without further ado do, we are going to do this. But first, check out this bucket though. This bucket is bright. This bucket is amazing. Go to Target. Oh yeah. All right, we're going in. 24 hours starts now. Oh yeah, you know how it goes. We gotta keep pouring 10,000 of these. <coughs> oh gosh, it's gonna overflow, but we gotta keep going. We gotta keep going. Oh, there it is. I think it's gonna do it. Oh gosh, there's some more. Oh, there it is. No, no, oh gosh. It's not as bad as you think. Oh yeah, it's flooding. I'm pretty sure the downstairs is uh, flooded as well. But if you don't know what happens when you put so many bath bombs in your bathtub, it just overflows, it just bubbleizes, and you can grab this at Target. Oh. Oh, so we're just gonna stay here. Yeah, really, 24 hours. Welcome to this journey. What do you think will happen to my body if I stand here and sit here for 24 hours? Comment down below, let me know what you think. All right guys, so uh, before I continue on with everything, I'm just gonna just shop back everything away. If you're wondering how I clean everything, shop back is what I use. That is how you clean up your bathtub. Oh, I slipped! There you go. All right, everyone, it's been about, wow, exactly 30 minutes. It's uh, about one o'clock in the afternoon right now. We have about 23 hours and 30 minutes to go. So far, everything looks good. Like my feet look fine, everything looks good. It's just a matter of finding what to do for 24 hours. Like, where do I pee, obviously? Where do I poop? I'll try not to poop. How do I entertain myself for 24 hours, you know? I don't know. A good way to do this is to download Netflix and watch a whole bunch of random things. So this will kill about a couple hours. Uh, so I don't know what to watch. I can watch this one. I haven't seen this movie yet. Seriously, comment down below. What do you think will happen to my body? Oh, there's a call. I declined it. <laughs> yes! I'm watching um this Marvel movie, The God of Thunder. Ooh! The Infinity Gauntlet? Oh no, Asgard! No! Killer! Yeah! Woo! Oh yeah! Oh yes! Oh gosh. Yes! That was a good movie! Wow! I don't know what to say. I've never seen that movie before. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow! That was a long movie. It's currently 3.04 in the PM. Killed two hours. Let's check out my body. Oh dude, look at this! Wow! Uh, my leg. You see this part of my leg? It's darker than this part. Oh my gosh! Oh! I'm dying! I don't know what else to do. Alright guys, so I'm gonna watch another movie. Uh, this is uh, Disney's movie Coco Puffs. Why you lie like that? Don't lie like that! Yo. Hello? Oh gosh. <laughs> uh. Yo. You see my phone? Is it down here? Gosh. Oh my goodness, did I fall asleep? A little bit. You didn't grab my phone? Why didn't you grab my phone? Oh gosh, look, it's not even working. Are you serious? Uh, <laughs> oh, no! No! Uh, that's what you get for watching Disney movies. Oh wait, no, I got it! It's on! Yes! It's working! Set 
Seven, 13. I've been here for what? Seven hours? I've been here for seven hours already. How's everything looking? My body is good. Uh, I don't think being in water is good for you. I'm here at the time. But you know what's good for you? This bath bomb bucket at Target. Can I have some food? I'm kind of hungry. Uh, man, I'm getting dehydrated. Oof. Yo. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going a little bit crazy. Sitting in one spot for the longest time just makes you really, really crazy. Like, I've been here for eight hours now. Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh, what happened? Oh, ew. Oh. Welcome to Guava Juice's dinner for the day. Currently nine o'clock and, uh, uh, hello? This is harder than I thought it would be. I'm getting itchy for no reason. Wow. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, welcome to Guava Juice's Dinner for the day. Today we have ourselves flaming hot Cheetos, some cosmic brownies, and some milk. That's my dinner for the day. This will last me until the morning, I think. Um, my question to you is, if you were to pick one restaurant to eat for the rest of your life every single day, what restaurant would that be? Comment down below. You wanna know mine? Cheesecake Factory. One, they have a big menu, so many selections, and it's delicious. Can't beat that, can you? <laughs> Ah, hot Cheetos. It's doing the job, but you know, I need some protein or something. Mm. If you were to stay somewhere for 24 hours, where would it be? And why? You wanna know mine? Cheesecake Factory. Because I got a lot of food, and I can eat there for 24 hours, and I can sleep in the booth. Can't beat that, can you? <laughs> this is very exhausting. Maybe it's because I've been on that side for the longest time. It's time to go on this side. Oh. <sighs> Sleep, but before that, uh, yes, work those glutamus maximus. Yeah, Ooh. 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 that's how you do it. I gotta use the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's not good. Have this crazy dream, y'all. I was falling and I wouldn't stop falling. Thank you for ducking me in, by the way. I feel a little bit rested. Oh! What is that? I've been here for how many long hours? I can't speak. I just woke up 13 hours in the bathtub. Are you kidding me? Well, let's check on uh, how my arm is doing. This one's good. How about my other arm? Oh! doing okay. I'm a little bit wrinkly. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I don't want to tell you guys. First of all, it's 3 in the morning. Two, these bath bombs are really amazing. Go to Target and grab it. It's awesome. <laughs> and three, I'm super tired. I'll see you guys in the morning. I try to sleep. <laughs> Sorry, pillow. I'm pretty much done. I can't do this anymore. I feel weak. Oh, well, 
24 hours bathtub bath bomb uh, i would not suggest you try it but it's quite an experience uh make sure to get these bath bombs at target it's only there for a month so please get it i'm gonna go home and go to sleep for real probably the most uncomfortable nap i have ever had ever and look there's breakfast we got hot cheetos and cosmic brownies and milk i'll see you guys next time you guys are awesome so you i love What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Guava Juice! We're going to fill my bathtub with jelly beans. That's right, jelly beans! By the way, I've been playing a lot of Bean Boozled, and I feel like this is a good time to punish the jelly beans for punishing my mouth. I have here a whole bunch of jelly beans, as you can see, and uh, I'm just gonna fill it in my bathtub, and then uh, I'm gonna bathe with them. So let's do this thing. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa! Whoa! So loud! Oh my gosh! Did you know there are over 49 flavors of jelly bean? Not including the bean boozled yucky yuck. It's all here. Let's go through it. Blueberry, blueberry blue, bubble gum, butter pop. I'm, just, I'm not gonna go through it. We're gonna go through it. Woo! Uh, okay, I'm gonna just sit in there. Yeah, that's right. Did you know it takes about one to three weeks to make one jelly bean? That's why they make millions of it at one time. Hmm, fun fact. Did you know April 22nd and July 24th are National Jelly Bean Days? Do you really need two National Jelly Bean Days a year? Did you know today is National Guava Day? So whatever day you're watching, it's Guava Day. Did you know the first iteration of jelly beans were introduced during the Civil War? What better way to promote a product than to promote it during war? Wow, what a guy, right? What a guy! Did you know jelly beans are made out of jelly and beans? I didn't know that. Oh yeah, by the way, I just hit 10 million subscribers, so let's pretend like each one of these jelly beans are you guys and we're just gonna, you know, chill and chill together. Yeah! 10 million jelly beans in my bathtub. Can you believe it? Can you believe that? Did you know you can use a jelly bean for a hat? Perfect. Did you know Kobe Bryant's favorite food is not jelly beans? Dude, this is so much. Okay, here we go. Let's see more. Ah! Oh yeah. Take a look at the bathtub. It's looking nice. Really jelly bean. Seriously, this is what you get for torturing me. Bean boozles. Did you know the original spelling of jelly bean is actually G-E-L-L-I-B-E-E-N? Jelly bean! <laughs> Did you know in the Philippines they pronounce it as... Oi. All right, did you know if you eat this whole entire container, you gain about 1,800 calories? <laughs> so we're down to our final two bottles here. This is definitely good enough, so, uh, this is the bathtub filled with jelly beans! 10 million jelly beans! If you're not a subscriber yet, hit the subscribe button. Come on, man, where have you been? <laughs> bean. Wow, look at all these jelly beans! Jelly beans! I love jelly beans! I love jelly beans! <laughs> Yo, that was actually pretty cool. I love jelly beans! Jelly beans, please sponsor me. <laughs> Look at all these jelly beans. Like, you step on it and then you just kind of fall in. Wow, this is actually pretty fun. <laughs> I think one day I'm just gonna make a museum out of jelly beans. Like a jelly bean bath, jelly bean water fountain. I'll let Jelly Belly do that. This is called the Jelly Dive. Ready, swimmers on your marks, get set. Michael Phelps, you just jelly, bro. <laughs> All right, this is called the jelly belly flop. Here we go. It's funny because my belly isn't even. <laughs> this is belly good. You know, if you can't afford to watch TV, all you gotta do is take some jelly beans, put it in your eyeballs. Wow, that's a nice jelly vision. Stop. <laughs> Where does T Rex love to go? Jurassic Park! Yeah! You get it? Jelly Rassic Park? Jelly Rassic Park? Stop. <laughs> Ooh, 
Oh, oh! What's, uh, what's that song called? But, it, uh, I forgot the song name, but, uh, this Latina singer sang it. I think her name was Jelly for Lopez, also known as J-Lo. You're just jelly. Full of jelly. Wow! I call this the cradle. All you gotta do is sit here and go like this. Hey, what's your favorite donut? I love jelly donuts. That was so bad. My head deserves to be in the jello. I'm sorry, that was so bad. Where do they take bad jelly beans? They go to jail. <laughs> oh man! You know that was a good one. You know that was a good one. You gotta admit, that was really good. <laughs> Welcome to Jelly Party. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no more puns. Uh, comment down below if you have more jelly bean puns. I tried my best here. All right, here we go. This is called the Jelly Bean Cannonball. Three, two, one. Hunt number one. That was the worst cannonball. I call this one the Jelly Bean Kick. Jelly Bean Kick. Jelly Bean Kick. Round one. Fight. How many jelly beans can fit in my mouth? Here we go. Huh? One five. How many can you fit? Don't do that. You might choke. Seriously, don't try it. It's, it's really nice. Uh, I made a big mess, but you know, it's all worth it because without a messy life, you won't have the bessy life. <laughs> That. By the way, if you haven't seen my Skittles bath, I did something really similar instead of jelly beans and Skittles. Find it somewhere. Click over there or down there or over here or go back to the timestamp 332. Let me know what you see there. Ha! This is called a jelly robot. <laughs> All right, before I end the video, let me do one last big finale. I call this the Jelly Bean Firework. Three, two, one, firework! Oh man, what a mess. Okay, everyone, so we're gonna start cleaning up now. Let me know in the comments down below what you want me to do next with these jelly beans. Someone's calling me. I hate you, go away. Seriously though, let me know in the comments down below what you want me to do with these jelly beans. We're gonna repackage it, and we're gonna use them for another video. Ah! You might be responsible for the next video. I'll screenshot your comments, slap it in the video, and that'll be your video, ha! Ah! If you want some jelly beans, let me know. I have so much. I'll see you guys next time. Stay juicy. 10 million! Whoa! Whoa! Ah! What's up, YouTube? Today I'm going to do a bath challenge no one has ever done before. Wow! I like your new bathtub. Well, we're not at the office right now. We're at my actual house. So this is my house bathtub and we're going to perform a crazy bath challenge right now. Give this video a big thumbs up. Each thumbs up saves a puppy. So if you don't give it a thumbs up, a puppy dies. Today, I'm going to fill my bathtub with air. Pretty crazy. I know, I know. You fill your bathtub with so many crazy things. Why don't you just do something simple for once? There you have it. We're going to fill it with air. Yeah, really quick. Let's turn this on. There you go, it's on. Oh man, it's pouring down some air. Yo, all right, that's not good. For you guys who know the periodic table of elements, it's filling my thing with hydrogen and oxygen. If you mix it together, it's water, but it's just air. Yeah, look at it fill up. Oh my gosh. Yo, time lapse, time lapse. All right, I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. Um, in the span of five minutes, my bathtub is completely filled with air, as you can see. Look at that. Yo, no way. No way, this is crazy! You know how it goes, I'm gonna hop right in. Three, two, one. Yo!
No way! Look at this! That is insane! This is crazy! Really hope you're enjoying this right now because this is blowing my mind. Like, just the fact that the air's consistency is very translucent to a point where it's like awesome at the same time. Mathematical! Do you mind putting more air on me? Okay. Alright, go ahead. Whoa! That's crazy! Oh my gosh! That's great! One more time! Whoa! That is craziness! Wow! Absolutely insane! Embrace this right now! Just the consistency of it is just amazing! Look at that! Oh my goodness! I am so speechless! Let's roll some cinematics up in here! In three, two, one! Whoa! No way! Dude, look at this mess! We need to hire some cleaners for this because this is crazy. Michael Phelps, what you got on me, sir? This is called the air bath dive. Three, two, one! No way, that's crazy! Oh my goodness, look at this mess. Oh, look at that. That is insane. Ugh. Wow, this is so crazy, dude. I'm just speechless. Like, within the whole history of bath challenges, this is the most craziest. Just because one, the texture of it. Two, the mess. It's insanely messy. Totally the messiest thing ever. Look at that, it's even on the ceiling. Sorry. Oh, I need to hire some cleaners for this, seriously. How can this get any more airy, dude? Should I put more air in here or no? It might get too messy. Eh, you're right. Ah, there's so much air! Did you hear that? That is wind! That is wind! Oh my goodness! That is crazy air! No way! Look at this chemical reaction! No way! Whoa! It's a tornado! It's a tornado now! Oh my goodness! You guys see this? That is insane! Wow! I appreciate it, but that is too much air right now. We have way too much air here right now, so this calls for really extreme special measures. All right, guys, I got my protective layer in here, so I gotta make sure I don't get hurt in this video because this air can get dangerous. I'm jumping in the air zone in three, two, one. Yo, I'm literally floating right now. No way! <laughs> it's literally like drifting me left and right. This is crazy. Wow, remember to give this video a thumbs up because every time you don't give this video a thumbs up, my puppy dies. That's not good. You don't want that. <laughs> okay, let's see if I float. Let's see if I float. Guys, look, I'm floating! I'm floating! No way! I'm gonna see what's underneath. so intense right now, I don't even want to be here. Like, look at the mess. I don't want to exaggerate this, but look at the mess. It's so crazy. It's still overflowing. I don't know why it keeps overflowing. Oh my gosh. I think I gotta hire some people to clean this. Alright, I'm here with Oogie the dog. Um, PETA, do not get mad at me for doing this, but it's fun to do. You ready for the bath? Ready? Three, two, one. I'll go in slowly. Nice. How do you feel? You feel okay? Right? You feel okay? Yeah? Alright, I'm gonna let you go. You swim, okay? Three, two, one, go. How do you do? Are you feeling good? I'm gonna find some cleaners to help us clean this, so give me one second, guys. It's so dirty. Thank you. Okay, that's good. Thank you. And it's clean! Look at this! Yeah! So anyways, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, let's get this video to 100,000 likes if you want more. Yo, seriously, I think the lady is so confused. I was like, hi, there's a mess here. I was wondering if you can clean it. Thank you for watching, stay juicy. Whoa, so much Nutella! Oh no, what the heck is this? What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to fill my bathtub with Nutella. Or Nutella, however you want to pronounce it. Let's do this. Oh my gosh, this is so thick. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a really messy video. Oh. Here we are! 
here! This is the bathtub filled with Nutella. I seriously thought I bought enough, but obviously it's not filled up to like right here, for example. But it's okay. It's still a lot of Nutella. We have this bathtub filled with Nutella. What's happening? Jump right into it. You guys ready for this? Okay. <laughs> the thickness of this Nutella is just so thick. It's so hard to move around and maneuver it. Look at my feet. Jeez, that is some crazy feet. Look at that. Oh my. Here we go. I'm just gonna just start lathering my whole body with Nutella. So that way you guys know who loves Nutella. You guys like Nutella? Come over, come through. I have a lot. Oh yeah, I know what you're thinking. Oh, bro, you waste the food. I'll be donating a thousand dollars to the local food bank. Check the link in the description down below for proof of receipt. See, it's just all good. I'm not wasting food because I'm donating stuff. Look at that. Oh. All right, I'm just gonna. Oh my god. Obviously, it's just pulling down my entire shirt. Oh my goodness. Mm, I love Nutella. You know, I love it. Oh, oh, it's so cold, dude. Mm. I didn't even taste it yet. Come on, what's wrong with me? That's good. Wow. Uh, there you go. Uh, almost there, guys. It's in my eyeball. There's Nutella in my eyeball. Can you pick it up for me? Yo, no lie, seriously. This thing is just so, so, so heavy. It's just so hard to maneuver out of there. Did you know back in 1982, the pilgrims used Nutella for shampoo? Did you know that? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna need a haircut or something after this because this is just ridiculous. <sighs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I, I have Nutella all over my body. What's a guy supposed to do nowadays to get this Nutella out of his body? I don't know. Who knows what I'm supposed to do nowadays? This eye is completely shut off because I have so much Nutella in this eye. It's just painful, but I will get through this. I love Nutella. I love Nutella, Nutella. I love Nutella. I love Nutella, Nutella. I love Nutella. I love Nutella, Nutella. All right, guys. Uh, I, don't, I have no idea what's wrong with me. Uh, man, this is gonna be a really hard cleanup. Just because it's so thick, it's just I don't know what. Somewhat help. Let's just keep going. Let's enjoy this Nutella in my bathtub. It makes a loud noise. Check this out. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Whoa, so much Nutella. Oh my. Ooh. Ooh, ah! I can't get up. You know it would be crazy if like the cops came to my house for some reason and they busted into this room. They would be so confused. They would have to put me in their cop car and I, their cop car would be so hazelnutty. This video is just so nuts, you know? You ever heard of a uh, Nutella Kung Fu? You go like this and you go like, ah! Oh no! <laughs> oh my gosh. This is called the Nutella washing machine. <laughs> this is called the Nutella Cannonball. Here we go. Cannonball! It's just so thick. It's so hard to jump. I can't do a cannonball on this. This is called the Nutella Backstroke. Oh no! What the heck is this? Nutella's trying to kill me nowadays. Nutella, if you're watching this video, please sponsor me. Until then, I'll see you on next time. What did I just say? I don't know. Stay juicy. What's up? Today we're going to fill my bathtub with lots and lots of dry ice. Yeah, I've done this before, so this is uh, gonna be the extreme version where I dump even more dry ice into the bathtub. Yeah, I think I'll be okay. This is cool, right? straight to it. I have uh, 40 pounds of dry ice in my bathtub, so it's about to get smoky in three, two, one. This is the extreme dry ice bath challenge. Here we go. Whoa! Look at the bubbles. Look at them go. Let me pour some more. Whoa! Look at the bathtub. Wow! There's some more. Oh yeah. You can hear it go. Look at it. Whoa! Oh! Here we go. Let it go. Oh, look at that. Oh! 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 Bottom. Three, two, I'm so scared! I'm so scared! Dry ice will give you burns if you touch it the wrong way. It looks 
looks really cool. If you look at the whole room, it's filling up the bottom. It's filling up every single thing, filling up all the way there. Yeah, just a heads up. This is what it's gonna be like for the next 10 minutes. I think the whole water in here will just evaporate like crazy. But you know Elsa, you know what she says? I gotta let it go. Let it go! do it here in guava juke's channel if you're not a subscriber make sure to subscribe and you know what else it says do you want to build a snowman here we go ah! Ah! i can't breathe oh oh my god i'm just gonna go like this and the smoke's gonna go, go everywhere the snow glows right on the mountain it's right and the footprints on the sand the kingdom of isolation ah! it's keep thick. Ah! the scene don't let them in don't let ah! Let it go! Let it go! Ah! Okay, this dry ice is making it feel so funny. I farted. Did you guys notice that? <laughs> Let's explore where the dry ice from the bathtub has traveled. So follow me. It's like the morning of a war. You know, you just kind of crouch down and like hide from your enemies and then like, I'm Elsa! What you want? Let it go! Oh my gosh, check this out. Let it go! Let it go! La 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 So seriously, the whole um, dry ice traveled all around the room, which is pretty insane. Traveled around different rooms here. Alright guys, as you can see, it's uh, not as violent as before, but it still looks pretty, pretty amazing right there. If you blow air into it, it just makes this cool little vortex. <gasps> Look at that. <gasps> and then you want to make a tornado, you just go like this, and then upwards! <laughs> Oh no, the window's open. People probably think I'm crazy, screaming in this room. Ah! All right, y'all, I got the air zooka here. It just blasts air into its target. Let's blast some air. Boom, boom. You aim downwards, it goes upwards. Boom. Look at that. All right, here we go. Let's clear out the floor. Boom. So if you have an air zooka and it's some dry ice, put some dry ice smoke into your air zooka and then go out. It's gonna have little rings. Isn't it cool? I call this one the Elsa camouflage. Now you see me, now you don't. Ow, 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 oh, Okay, that tastes weird. That tastes like Sprite. It's kind of weird, but it's pretty cool still. <laughs> it's been about 45 minutes and uh, yeah, look at the bathtub now. There's like one little piece left. Ow! That was it. It's kind of weird because the bathtub is still warm. It's not as cold as I thought it would be, but it's still really pretty awesome. But anyways, if you're not a subscriber, make sure you're a subscriber. Hit that subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed today's extreme dry ice bath video. And it's the holidays. Might as well do something really cold. And uh, yeah. Wow, this was good. I can actually uh, go in here really nicely now. I guess I'll see you guys next time. Stay juicy. Oh, what? Yeah. Oh. What's up, YouTube? I'm here in my bathtub. If you're not a subscriber already, hit that subscribe button for more bath videos. All right, thanks for watching today's video. I'm just kidding. Today, I'm gonna fill my bathtub. Ugh. Give me one second, it's heavy. Ugh. With some gummy worms. I bought a lot of gummy worms. You guys suggested that I fill it with gummy worms. I went to the candy store and I bought a lot of gummy worms. So this is probably the most gummy worms you're gonna see in a bathtub. The gummy worms are a little bit sketchy because it came like this. Um, they boxed it up and then as soon as you open the box, it's just a blue plastic bag. It's not tied up, not covered or anything. It's just a blue bag. A lot of things can happen when it's shipping, flying all across the country to get to this one bathtub. I'm pretty sure it tastes okay. Oh, it tastes like a box. But here we go. Let's just drop these gummy worms here. Wow, look at that. Let me know in the comments below what else should I do to these gummy worms. Okay. I have never stepped in a whole bunch of gummy worms. Look at that. That is creepy. Imagine if they were alive. Oh, I should do a real earthworm bath where I get a whole bunch of earthworms and just put it in my bathtub. That would be creepy. If you guys want some gummy worms, let me know in the comments down below. Feel free to come over. It'll taste like gummy worms in my foot. Here we go, want some gummy worms? I'll give some for you! You want some gummy worms, Mr. Wall? Here you go, for you! Ceiling, you want some gummy worms? Oh, I got you, look! Hey, Philip, you want some gummy worms? Yeah. There you go, for you! 
Do you want some more? Sure. Here we go. Oh! oh, 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 oh. You got one! Gummy worms! Woo! Give me some gummy worms, sir. I'm so sorry guys, that was disgusting. I wanna test this real quick. The science behind the gummy worms, the amalgams and the glucose contained within the gummy worms creates this squishy, squishy syrup. Really hard to squish all the way. So I wanna see if I can squish it all the way with my weight, okay? So I weigh exactly 115 pounds and uh, I'm gonna see if I can squish it. Ready? Three, two, one. No, nope, it's not squishing. I'm trying to mold it, but it's not molding anything. My butt weighs exactly 210 pounds, so let's see what happens here. Cannonball! I'm just kidding with that. I'm not gonna hurt myself today. You know why? Because it's a gummy rain day. Falling from the. Ow, oh, that kinda hurt. You'll get a gummy worm. You'll get a gummy worm. You'll get a gummy worm. You'll get a gummy worms. You'll get a gummy worm. And you'll get a gummy worm. Everybody gets a gummy worms. If you're ever walking around and a really, really bad guy comes to you and tries to hurt you, get your gummy worm and be like, no bad guy, no, you are gross. And then, oh, didn't mean to turn on the water. And then the guy will be like, oh, that hurts. Well, you tried to attack me, so here's another one. Live service. All right, let me see if I can mold it into like a giant ball. Seriously, comment down below. What else do you want me to do with these gummy worms? Hi, welcome. Today I'm gonna do the chubby wormy challenge. I'm gonna take one piece of gummy worm, put it in my mouth, and say gummy wormy. I'm gonna keep doing it until I can't say gummy wormy anymore. Gummy wormy. 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 Gummy Oh, 
me to do in the next bath video uh yeah if you're not a subscriber make sure to subscribe because i come out with new videos every single day it's amazing you don't want to miss out <laughs> all right stay juicy everybody <laughs> hello today i'm gonna fill my bathtub with hot cocoa because it's that time of the year personal to get really sick so <coughs> So what better way to celebrate this holiday than to fill my bathtub with hot cocoa? Hot chocolate, let's do this! So yeah, it's gonna be simple. Um, the bathtub is really hot right now. Uh, it's really hard to stand, but I will get through this through perseverance and courage. For this day, there you go. It's, it's a really simple bath video. It's just cocoa powder and a whole bunch of hot water. Wow, lovely. You gotta mix it, Roy. You gotta mix it. Not yet. Pour some more cocoa powder. Nice. Hot chocolate. Cool. Last one. Happy holidays! Yeah. Now grab your giant fork here. It's better to use a fork because we have here. It's a better mixing thing. Oh, Coco. I just saw the movie Coco. It's good. It was a good movie. It made me cry. Oh, yes. Make sure you keep mixing it really thoroughly because if you don't, it does not work. Mix it like a whirlpool. Keep spinning around. Research says that if you are sick, a good way to become not sick is to bathe in hot chocolate. Chocolates have been completely dissolved in the boiling hot water. What you want to do is grab your toppings. Hot chocolate is good by itself, I know, but it's even better with toppings. So I got here some marshmallows. There you go, let's put some marshmallows on top. Woo! And here's some more marshmallows for you. Ooh! What's even better than marshmallows? Whipped cream. Whipped cream goes extremely well with hot chocolate. You guys know that. Mm. It's so good. Nice! And uh, if you're not satisfied with the amount of chocolates you have, just grab some more chocolate packets and just pour some down in here. Look at that. Or just pour the entire box. It's, it's the same thing, really. It's still chocolate. Go mix it all up. Mix it all up. All right, before I go in, I know I have the Santa hat, but I don't look like Santa. <laughs> I tried! Okay, let's go with this. Oh, dude. oh, this is so hot! Ah! Woo! Oh, this is really hot, dude. Like, I'm not even lying. Like, my feet were fine in it, but the rest of my body, I don't know about that. Let me grab all these marshmallows. Oh, and there you have it, the hot chocolate bath. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I wonder if it's good. It's still delicious. Yummy! <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I guess I gotta make myself a cup of hot chocolate here. Nice hot chocolate. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> it's so gross. It tastes bad, but you know it's still hot chocolate, and I'm kind of sick still too. It all works out. I feel a lot better already. My fever is gone. Uh, my flu is gone. Everything's gone. I'm happy. It's the holidays. What's good? <laughs> Oh, you guys want to know a cool prank? You have a friend with a swimming pool? Pour a whole bunch of chocolate powder in it. That way, you have a swimming pool of hot chocolate. Ah, ha, ha. Let's get this video to 100,000 likes if you want me to fill a pool with hot chocolate. Make sure to subscribe to the Guava Juicer Gang. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. I don't know what to do here. I'm just gonna just chill. This is what I do. I mean, I, this is probably like my 100th bath video. I wish you a happy holidays. I wish you a Oh, this is such a weird video. Hi everyone!
Guava Juice. Welcome to Name That Holiday Jingle. Comment down below, what do you think this holiday jingle is? Okay, ready? I'm gonna hum it underwater. <laughs> What song is that? That's right! Rudolph the Rain Knows Rain War! That's right! If you said Frosty the Snowman, it is Frosty the Snowman. <laughs> Alright, you guys ready for the next one? Here we go. That's right! It's Bodak Yellow by Cardi B! Alright guys, if there's ever a home intrusion and you need a perfect place to hide, I feel like this is the perfect place to hide. Allow me to demonstrate how to camouflage. Intruder! There's an intruder! Oh, okay, we got it. Oh, oh, oh. Did it work? You guys saw me or no? <gasps> you see? Perfectly camouflaged! Ha ha! Welcome to how many marshmallows can you put inside your mouth? Ready? Go! <gasps> Chubby bunny. Chubby bunny. What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to make some fried chicken bath bombs. That is right, you heard me right, fried chicken bath bombs. You see bath bombs nowadays contain, you know, really nice flavors like mint or cherry or eucalyptus fruit. But the thing is, some people don't want to smell like that. Some people just want to smell like fried chicken. So what better way to bathe in fried chicken than to make a fried chicken bath bomb? That way you smell like fried chicken every day. You're going to smell delicious the whole entire day. So let me show you how to make it, alright? Of course, we need some fried chicken. And then right here we have some sweet and spicy chicken rub, some baking sodas, citric acids, Epsom salts, a mixing bowl container, a mixing bowl container, a mixing bowl container, some water inside a mixing bowl container, some coconut oil with some mixing bowl container, tiny version, a spoon, and a mixing bowl container. So here's what we're gonna do, all right? You gotta follow this measuring ingredients precisely or else you're not gonna smell like fried chicken. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take some baking soda. We're going to use five cups of baking soda, okay? Here we go, here's two cups. Ooh, look at that. And here you go, here is five cups of baking soda. All right, next up we're gonna need some Epsom salt. So you wanna just stab it like this one. We need two and a half cups of Epsom salt. Here we go. Okay, this is about two and a half cups, so pour it into the mixing containers. Now grab your citric acid. We need two and a half cups of this as well. So put it inside your mixing container. There you go. Just let it sizzle out. Put it inside your mixing container. Nice. Use your hands to moisturize, exfoliate, and beautify all these solid ingredients together, okay? You want to make them combined. You want to combine all these ingredients thoroughly. You want to make them best friends. All these three solid ingredients make them best friends. So together they are baking citric salts. <laughs> All right, once they have been mixturized, you want to grab your chicken seasoning, okay? From here, you just want to pour it, okay? There you go. That should be good to go. And now mix it, okay? It's like the foreign alien has invaded the privacy of the other solids. Now just add a little bit more chicken <laughs> seasoning. Make sure you grain it up. You want to make it tiny little particles of it. More chicken seasoning. <laughs> oh, smell that? It smells like chicken. <laughs> Alright, now we have our solid ingredients done. You want to grab some liquid ingredients now. You need these liquids to stick everything together like glue. We need five teaspoons of H2O. One, two, three. You hear that sizzle? That's the chicken. <laughs> five. And now what you want to do is mix it. Make sure you you mix it well, make it a little bit liquidy, but not very liquidy. You want to make that stick. You want to make it really nice. So basically from here, you want to make it so you can mold it together like Play-Doh. Now grab some coconut oil. You want to put 15 teaspoons of this. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, mix it all up. Oh, you see that consistency? You can see how it's starting to mold just a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right, once you have lathered your fingers across this mixture, it should be good enough to mold like this. You can mold it pretty easily like a little bath bomb right here. So when you do put it into a body of water, it will do its bath bomb things like that. You see? You see that? Smells like chicken. <laughs> now grab your um, mixing containers. We have two hemispherical mixing containers. Don't fill it up all the way because we are gonna do some other stuff with it. Make sure you coat the perimeter, the outer shell. Now grab your fried chicken. This is the critical part of it. Put it right in the center, okay? So when these bath bomb dissolves, you're gonna see some fried chicken inside. <laughs> that is what I'm talking about right now. Like you really wanna try your best to smell like the fried chicken all right you want to cover the chicken up right here perfecto perfect that is how I like it look at the bath bomb it's still doing it and it's smelling like chicken press down so you get all the little gaps you want to make sure you glue up all the little gaps in here so it's really really tight and really really amazing like Barack Obama says what you do to one side you do to the other so let's get this one do the same process here coat the outside of it oh look at that you can see little chunks of chicken seasoning right there I can already tell this is going to be a really great bath bomb it's looking nice make sure you coat that outer shell because if you don't you're gonna have a little bit of chicken legs protruding out of this all right now it's time to grab your fried chicken here mm. 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 all right good put it in here look at that now just bury it into this right here make sure you have no chicken protruding out of this bath bomb because if you do that's not good now once you get your mixing containers filled with bath bombs chicken seasoning and fried chicken last thing to do is just to put it together like this press it down so the two hemispherical containers will just stick to one another so when you actually do take off the top half it's stuck to the bottom half there you go perfect press it down and now, wait eight hours until it dries. I'll see you guys in the bathtub. All right, hello everybody. It's been exactly eight hours, so the bath bomb should be completely dry. And uh, I'm dressed like a chicken, cause you know, fried chicken bath bomb, fried chicken guava juice. <laughs> Oh yes, there you go. It's a little bit cracked on top, but you know, it's still a bath bomb. It's still really solidified. The hard part is getting the bottom piece out. It smells like chicken! <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm gonna smell like a chicken. <laughs> um, a good way to do this is to actually crack the styrofoam. That's why we do it in a styrofoam to begin with, because it's really, really easy to crack. We have a fried chicken bath bomb. Check that out. The seasonings around it, you see the peppers, the good stuff. But the best thing about this is what's in the center of it. So let's get in the bathtub real quick. Get my chicken costume. <laughs> Here we go, let's do this. But I gotta do this in a really fashionable manner. Fashionable as in what? What are you talking about? What do chickens do? They lay eggs. Come on, 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 Seriously gonna smell like a chicken. Look at this chicken leg. Look at this chicken leg. That's a chicken. <laughs> Let's keep going. Dude, look at all the seasoning coming out. Like if you really, really want to smell like a chicken, this is the best way to do it. Seriously, look at that. And you can eat the chicken legs while you take a bath. That is so amazing. It's doing the bath bomb things, as you can see, but it's doing it as a fried chicken. Have you ever seen a fried chicken do bath bomb stuff? No, no, you have not. This is so cool. Look at it. I'm gonna re-emerge it. Look at that. Fried chicken everywhere. That is so cool. Tastes like fried chicken. I am a chicken eating a chicken. <laughs> but yeah, really simple, really easy. That is how you make fried chicken bath bomb. You have the chicken aroma, all the essential oils of the chicken going to your skin. Cause you have all that protein. We have all that aminos going into your skin. Look at that. We have a piece of chicken floating right now. Hey, what's up mister? Not bad. <laughs> it's a little bit soggy, but it's not bad. You ever play that game where you get a whole bunch of food in your mouth underwater? I'm gonna do that. Ah! 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 
That's all I gotta tell you. That is how you make fried chicken bath bomb bath bomb bath. I'm gonna walk to the store later and I'm gonna buy some chicken and they're gonna be like, oh, it smells like chicken. I'm like, yeah, that's me. I smell like chicken. That's kind of gross. <laughs> Alright everyone, thank you for watching today's chicken bath or fried chicken bath bomb video. If you want to try it yourself, do it. I seriously want to see someone try this out. Alright, let me know what you want me to put inside my bath bomb next. I'll see you guys later. Stay juicy. What's up, YouTube? Today I'm going to fill my bathtub with sprinkles. You guys really want me to do this, so I'm gonna do this today. Some sprinkles, sprinkles, that 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 the sprinkles, that 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 the sprinkles. And you guys know the best topping you can ever ever put in a birthday cake is sprinkles. Let's sprinkle this birthday cake up. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. I hope you guys like my birthday cake. Uh, before I do anything else with the cake, I'm gonna try it. Mm, tastes very colorful, guys. Mm. There's nothing left to do here but to pour these sprinkles on myself. So here we go. Oh yes, sprinkles! Oh dude, this is so colorful. Look at all these sprinkles. Dude! Oh man, I'm like becoming super happy because this is just so colorful. Like look at this. Look at that. Look how colorful and amazing this thing looks. That is awesome! Oh man! Imagine if the beach was like this instead of sand. The beach would be so beautiful. Seriously, you can eat the sand. Oh, I would go to that beach every day. My name is Guava Juice and today I'm going to do the sprinkle challenge. Yes! Sprinkles! It's raining sprinkles! Yo, that was pretty awesome. Whoa! <laughs> this is tight. That's pretty awesome, dude. I think out of all the bath challenges I've done, this is definitely the most happiest. And colorful, because look at this! This is so happy! It's sprinkling on me! It's sprinkling on me! Oh, I'm neglecting this side, so I gotta put more sprinkles on this side. Wow, dude, this is great. You wanna sprinkle me? Ah! <laughs> this is awesome! Happy sprinkle day, everybody! I got sprinkles on my left! I got sprinkles on my right! I really love sprinkles! They are very tight! Whoa! There's so many sprinkles here! Welcome to the sprinkle bath challenge! Look at this! Wow! Ha, ha, ha. So many sprinkles! <laughs> wow, this is amazing! Alright guys, this is the very last sprinkle gallon or whatever. So, enjoy it while you can. Check that out. Ooh, what do you guys think? Comment down below. Alright, I know what you guys are thinking. You're wasting all these sprinkles. A lot of people can eat these sprinkles. Well, as you guys know, I like donating. So, I'm gonna donate $1,000 to the local food bank. You can check the confirmation and proof of receipt down in the description below. Everyone is happy. It's a win-win. Yeah! <laughs> I always say this, if you ever have the opportunity, bathe in sprinkles or find a bathtub with sprinkles, come over! Sprinkle ricochet! That is sick! Happy birthday! Oh, who am I? Who am I? I'm Sprinkle Bay. <laughs> I don't know, I just feel hypnotized because there's so many colors, it's so saturated. Where's the cake? You don't see the cake? Do you guys see the cake now? Do you guys see the cake now? <laughs> Happy birthday! I got you a sprinkle cake! Dude, seriously, check out this cake. It's all pimped out and so colorful. I'm gonna try to stand up or try to get in a different position because I am pretty much stuck. Wow! Check it out! Look at all these sprinkles! No way! Look at this! Look at this! If anyone is watching that can hook me up with this, here's my idea. If anyone wants to help me fill a pool, a swimming pool with sprinkles, let me know. That's on my bucket list. Swim in a swimming pool filled with sprinkles. Cause this is freaking awesome! Oh! Hey! Ramano! Whew! This 
are making me tired. How are you guys doing today? Good? Because I'm doing magical! Yeah! Yeah! We're almost at 8 million subscribers. Yeah! Yeah! I love sprinkles! Do you love sprinkles? I love sprinkles. Here's some sprinkles! <laughs> do you love sprinkles? You do! Here's some sprinkles for you! <laughs> do you want sprinkles, Mr. Wall? Here's some sprinkles! Who else wants sprinkles? You want sprinkles? Yeah! Sprinkle explosion! Yeah! Alright guys, think about this real quick. Each one of these sprinkles represents one of you guys. And this is how many people are subscribed to me right now. You know how this goes. We have the sprinkle cannonball. Here we go. In three, two, one. Sprinkle cannonball! What? That was the softest landing I have ever done in a bathtub. Sprinkle cannonballs! Let's go! Whoa! Whoa! I'm eating sprinkles at the same time. <laughs> I still have so many sprinkles in my bathtub right now. That is great. Sprinkle kick. Sprinkle double kick. This is called the dog at the beach. <laughs> Yo, check out the mess though. I'm sorry for all this mess. There's mess back here. This whole room is just going to be filled with sprinkles today. I'm pretty sure there are sprinkles up here. You guys see it? It's like right here, all the way right here. It's crazy. All right, guys, let's just get this video to 50,000 trillion likes if we can. If we do, I'm going to change my name legally to Sprinkle. Sprinkle juice! <laughs> I want to do one more giant sprinkle explosion. Here we go. You guys ready for this? This is the finale sprinkle explosion. Ready? Thank you guys for watching. This is the giant sprinkle explosion. Three, two, one. It's raining. It's raining sprinkles. Wow. It's crazy. Woo. Wow. Imagine if it rained sprinkles in your regular day. You would be so happy. I would be so happy. Yo guys, look at the light. There are sprinkles inside the softbox light. All right guys, thank you all for watching. Comment down below, what's your name? Until then, I'm gonna throw the cake on the wall. <laughs> you want some sprinkles? <laughs> I am a mess. Thank you for watching, and uh, we got a lot of cleaning up to do. See you guys later. <laughs> Alright, I'm going in. I'll see you guys later. What's up, YouTube? Today I'm gonna fill my bathtub with ketchup. 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 Now that I think about it, I feel like it's kind of exclusive that I've never really given you guys the power to choose what goes in my bathtub for the next video. Like 100% what goes in it. And if you're wondering why ketchup, well, there's this game called Dragon City, and the dragons in the game eat tomatoes. And what better way to represent that than to fill my bathtub with ketchup! Tomato ketchup! Dragon City allows you to build your own city in the floating islands. You can fill it with farms, habitats, buildings, and of course, dragons! You can train your cute little baby dragons into really monstrous beasts to defend you in battle. You see, breeding is essential in Dragon City. You can combine dragons of fire, nature, war legends, and a lot of other elements to hatch rare hybrids and expand your collection. The game the game is always evolving with new dragons joining the game every week. You can unlock advanced features like the ancient world or the guardian dragons. You can fight against other dragon masters in the leagues or challenge yourself in the tournaments. So make sure you download the game in the link in the description below. Through the app, you can choose what you want me to do on my next bath challenge. Yes, you heard me right. I'm giving you the power to choose my next bath challenge exclusively through Dragon City. So link description, download the game. Both. All right, with that said, let's start this ketchup bath challenge. I'm just gonna go straight to it. Uh, I gotta make sure I don't get ketchup into my eyeballs because the ketchup, it contains a lot of salt and vinegar. And you know what salt does to your eyeballs? It's like going to the beach and swimming and opening your eyes. Your eyes will be like, ah! ah! That's what 
it's gonna be like. So I'm gonna try to avoid my eyeballs. Oh, this is a really cold ketchup, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. Whoa! <laughs> this is such a mess. <laughs> you see, I know some people that like really, really hate ketchup. Like the sight and the smell of it just makes them sick. Comment down below, do you like ketchup? Do you not like ketchup? I think it's okay. I mean, if it's there, I'll eat it with my fries or whatever, but it's not bad. Oh my god. Oh, my eyeballs! This is my eyes! Ah! That thing came out like crazy. Ah! That thing came out like crazy. Ah! Ah, dude, towel! My eyeballs! Oh, this towel has baby powder! Now my eyes are baby powdered and ketchup! I don't know. Ah! Okay, seriously, if you've never gotten ketchup in your eyeballs, it kinda hurts. It really hurts, actually. I've done it once. Oh, um, I opened it. Ketchup packet the wrong way. I squeezed it and this <laughs> it went straight to my eyeball. I'm just gonna do this with one eye closed. We got this, guys. Yeah! Okay, this is called the tomato ketchup shampoo. Did you know it's a formula in some shampoos out there? I'm not gonna tell you which shampoo has ketchup. I heard it's really good, especially if you want your hair to get thicker. It's all about the ketchups. Yeah, my eyes feel better now. Ah! Oh, look at all this ketchup. Oh, imagine getting all that in your eyeballs. That's the worst. Prepare for liftoff in three, two, one, go. <laughs> this is the ketchup dance. The ketchup dance. The ketchup dance. This is the ketchup dance. It's all on my pants. You haven't already. Leave a like in this video. Give it a big thumbs up. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe. You'll see some cool videos like this. Make sure to leave a comment. Let me know what your name is. And don't forget to vote in the app on what you want my next pet challenge to be. Oh, it's in my eyeballs again. Ah! I got my eyeballs! Ah! This is called the ketchup jumping jack. Okay. Oh dear. This is the ketchup dance. The ketchup dance. <laughs> the ketchup dance. Oh, rip. This is my third bathtub. My other bathtubs either got broken or the apartment complex kicked me out of it. I'm not gonna lie, this is a really messy bath challenge, but it's all good though. Oh, that's gross. I hope you're enjoying me uh, pouring this ketchup in the bathtub because it's a quite a mess in here. It's still my eyeball, so if you haven't noticed, this eye has been closed for the past five minutes, so it's all good. Ah! This is the last two, so uh, I just gotta do it. Oh, that's nasty. I can finally enjoy my bathtub now. Wow. Not bad. Ah! Oh my gosh. If you guys ever want some ketchup with your fries, let me know. Oh, there's still more in here. Okay, 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 uh, okay, Woo. Okay, I call this one the uh, ketchup rollover. Uh, oh. Oh. I feel like a dishwasher, or a, what do you call it? A, a washing machine. What sound does a washing machine make? A washing machine goes like, does a dryer make? A dryer goes like... And your clothes are ready. Alright, I'm going in. I'll see you guys later. This is a really slippery bathtub. Wow, I'm surprised I didn't get my eye that time. Whee! What sound does a toilet make when you flush it? Your toilet is done flushing. Dryer! <laughs> Hello, my name is Mr. Tomato. I am a really, really great artist. This art piece I'm gonna show you is called Tomato Soup. Voila, it looks the same.
here, uh, we have a lot of cleaning up to do for sure. Uh, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's messy video. Uh, I'm sorry if it's a little gross, but ketchup is ketchup. It's good. Be sure to check out the link below. Through the game, vote what bath challenge do you want me to do next? Exclusively on Dragon City. Uh, see you guys later. We got some cleaning up to do. If you're wondering why I am wet and soaked right now, you gotta watch the previous video. But today we're going to do the previous video, but we're gonna step it up just a little bit. I have some Orbeez over here. If you don't know what Orbeez are, these are water beads. They basically start off as a little salt and grain, and then you add water, and they become these plump, squishy balls, okay? So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Orbeez bath, my slime bath, and my bath bomb challenges, and we're gonna see what happens. So first things first, we need to make our slime. If you guys don't know how to make slime, what it is is you have glue and a borax, and that makes slime. So let's put some glue into these Orbeez real quick. Yeah, you guys have never seen this before, huh? Oh, ew. Blue, ew! The question is, will the bath bomb react to the slime Orbeez? Uh, that's a lot. Ooh! Oh, it's like diluted water slime. This looks pretty cool. Like, if you look around here, Orbeez are just like being sunk under by this glue. You know what to do? We gotta add some borax. So make sure we mix this well. Gotta put borax everywhere. Now, from this part on, all you gotta do is mix. Move your feet, wiggle your body. Ooh! All right, right now it's still a very bluish consistency. That means you gotta mix it a lot more. We have slime in the bottom. The very bottom is very slimy. Once you mix the solutions together for about 10 minutes, um, it should look like this. It depends how you like your slime. I like my slime a little bit liquidy, but it's still pretty slimy, look at that. Right now, this is called the Orby Slime. It's a little bit mushy, but it still does the job. Look at that. I have here a little Orby's Slime Ball. There. Oops. <laughs> it went right here. Oh, no. I don't want the water. It's gonna stick, right? Oh, whoa. I thought it was gonna stick a lot better, but it's cool. This is what it looks like. It kind of looks like a toaster strudel. Not a toaster strudel, but you know the white thing for your toaster strudel? Check out this consistency. Look at that. Oh. That is crazy looking. Look at all this slime, dude. This is straight slime. Have you seen Orby slime like this? I don't think you have. I made it from my bathtub. Ah Look at all this, it's so heavy. Like, it looks pretty cool. It's beautiful, like all these colors. I don't even know if the bath bombs are gonna do anything here, but worth the try, yeah? It's so tiring, just getting up and down on this bathtub. All right guys, hold on. I'm just preparing for the thumbnail. Gotta make sure I look nice. Three, two, one. Perfect, perfect, let's do another pose. Three, two, one. Ah! Okay, I think that was the same pose, but it's okay. Okay, thumbnails are good. You guys have all been waiting for what happens when you put a bath bomb inside slime and Orbeez, of course. What do you think will happen? Is it going to work? Is it not? Three, two, one, dropping. All right. I don't think it's working. That's interesting. All right, let's pour the rest in three, two, one. Ah! Definitely doing nothing. It's sinking though. Might as well just mix them all in, right? Ugh. If you guys answered that it will not do anything, you guys are correct. It's so hard to get up now. Oh my goodness. That is crazy. <laughs> bubbles, I see bubbles. You see bubbles? If you look a little bit closer, you can see random bubbles fizzing. Bubbles here, bubbles there. I think they do work if they go inside um, just an area that is a little bit more liquidy. Dang, look at all these bubbles. Oh, you see my foot? That's gross. This is a gross foot. There you go. Works over there. Let's Move the water a little bit here and over there. This is the Orbeez Slime Cannonball. Three, two, one. Don't hurt me. 
Okay, I'm scared. I'm scared. I feel like the bath bombs will just burst into my foot and then I'll sprain my ankle. Wow! Look at all that! Dude, this bath bomb or this bath challenge really looks cool. Just like the texture of everything and everything is just so colorful. Like all these colors, including the bath bombs over there. That is just beautiful. I think this is really beautiful. Kind of looks like cereal. Hey, you! Over there. Surprise! I don't know, I think it just takes time for it to activate because it's not as sticky as earlier. It's more like solid and like a bouncy ball. The more you leave slime alone, the more it will just activate and become its slime form. Look at that. Hey! Oh, look at that, look at that! It's doing its thing! It's doing more magic over there in the corner. That is pretty awesome. This video is very successful because one, we made Orby slime, but then we added another layer on top of that and added bath bomb. That is cool. What's your favorite bath bomb? Mine's blue, like my life. I'll see you guys later, okay? Rip hair. Ah, oh, my hair! Dude, check that out. I thought it would stick to my hair, but it's not. Look at that! It's not sticking to my feet anymore. I'm so confused. What happened to the slime? It's not slimy anymore. Maybe I can pick it up now or like roll it. <gasps> no, this is so cool. I can roll it. That is awesome. This is a cool slime. If you want to make awesome slime, put Orbeez in it and some bath bomb. It does some weird tech. It's engulfing my feet slowly. I'm going to try to run on top of it now. Ready? Nope. Still sinking. Bath bomb, go. That is so cool! If you're wondering what the secret ingredient for slime is, it's time. The more time you give it, the cooler it becomes. But don't give it too much time though, because it's gonna get moldy. We've had that happen before. What's up guys? I got my Arby's hat here. Oh no! You're not gonna believe this, but the bath bombs are activating right now. You can see bubbles right here. I can feel it on my legs. I can feel it everywhere. There you go, you can see it work. Look, look, that's working, that's working. Yo, this is so dope, this is so cool! into one solid form. In the end, the Orbeez ended up escaping the slime. Oh my goodness. Like, look at the slime now. It's just like all mushy. I don't know if it's because of the bath bomb. Um, maybe the citric acid from the bath bomb had an effect to the slime. But the Orbeez are back to normal now. It's not stuck to the slime. Dude, look at that. All these slime is all in one spot now. Dude, I think these bath bombs did something really. That is insane. And then you can put the bath bombs here. Wow, dude, the secret to everything really is time because that is just crazy well we have slime here and orbeez here and bath bombs all around that is amazing yo seriously check this out though check this out you can wiggle it you can wiggle it oh my goodness you can wiggle 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 i hope you enjoyed today's video i thought it was pretty awesome i didn't expect everything to act the way they did the separation of everything even the bath bombs are working really well now that is crazy the secret to everything this time. Make sure you give time to yourself, your friends, your family. My eyes hurt, so I'm gonna give it some time to heal. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Stay juicy. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Today, I'm gonna fill my bathtub with pickles. I was watching Rick and Morty the other day, and I saw Rick become a pickle. I'm like, oh, I gotta do a pickle bath. Pickle Rick! Check out the new channel, Guava Games. <laughs> All right, so here's a story about pickles. I'm not a big fan because in the sixth grade, I ate a jar of pickles and I ended up getting food poisoning for a whole week. They say it's the milk from the cafeteria. I say it's from the pickle jar. I'm going to meet my enemy and fill my bathtub with some pickles. So here we go. Oh, that's cold. All right, let's start with the legs and move my way back to my head. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh you're wasting food, Roy. Well, you know, I donated a thousand dollars to the local food bank. Check the link in the description below for the proof of the receipt. You see, I'm helping lives. Pickle Rick! Bleh, <laughs> nope. <laughs> Ew! Woo! Come out, pickles. Oh, look at that. Ew! Looks like poo poo, but it's not poo poo. It's pickle. <laughs> All right, so there's nothing left to do than to pour the other pickles inside this bathtub. Welcome to the pickle bath challenge. Ah, that's cold! Ah, that's cold! Oh my gosh, I'm gonna smell so pickly later. This one's for you, Rick. 
Uh, I heard that pickles are like good whenever a skunk sprays you. Pickles are a good solution to get the smell out for some reason. That's what I heard. I don't know if it's true or not. We'll find a skunk one day and then we'll take a pickle bath and see what happens. Some more pickles for my legs. Oh, these pickles. More pickles. Oh, that's cold. You guys get this from the refrigerator aisle? No. Oh, it's from the cabinets? Oh, that's cold. Pickle Rick. I'm Pickle Rick. It's Pickle Rick. Oh, I'm Pickle Rick. Pickle Rick. Oh, here's another fun fact. If you want your day to go really well and you want to be really productive, the best way to jumpstart your brain is to take a really cold shower in the mornings. Huh? Don't you hate it? Sometimes it's really hard to open a pickle jar. Give me your pickle jar face expression. Ah. <laughs> Woo! Oh, it's in my eyes. Ow. But yeah, since this is really cold, you probably can't tell because you're watching it behind, you know, a computer or your laptop or tablet or whatever, but it's freezing cold. Ah. Ah. Oh my god, that's cold! Ow! Ow! That's cold! That's so cold! Oh, it's in my eye. That kind of hurts. Oh, so this is my bathtub. This is uh, currently all the pickles I have right now. I still have a lot more though, but I just let you guys know. My eye is closed because uh, I got some pickle juice in my eye and it stinks so bad. Alright, I'm just gonna pour the rest now, so here we go. Pickle juice! My name is Guava Juice and this is the pickle jar challenge. <laughs> My eyeballs again are never stinging. <laughs> There's a pickle in my back. There's a pickle on my back. There's a pickle on my back. There's a pickle, 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 pickle on my back. There's a pickle on my butt. <laughs> Alright, guys, this is the last pickle jar. Here we go. Pouring it in. Yeah. Wowzers. Wow. Alright, y'all. Woo! Welcome! This is my pickle bath! Look at all those pickles! So many pickles! Guys, look at that! Oh my goodness! We got pickles! Have you seen so many pickles in a bathtub? Wow! Does anyone want some pickles? I have a whole bunch! Pickle Rick! Woo! Alright guys, I'm gonna just add some more water just to fill the bathtub even more. So, one second, y'all. Oh yeah, look at all these pickles, boy. Oh yeah. You guys want some pickles? Woo! It's a pickle party! <laughs> when I get my own house, I'm gonna have a really nice bathtub. <laughs> Dang, seriously, look at all these pickles though. We got pickles from the bottom, we got pickles on the other side from the top. Oh, look at this. Even if you swirl the bathtub around like this, you can see all the pickles going around and around in circles. Look at that. It's a pickle whirlpool. All right, I'm gonna dive right in. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. <gasps> Whoa! My eyes! Ah! Ah! My eyes! My eyes burn! Ah! Hello, Mr. Pickle! Hello, Mrs. Pickles! Oh no! Oh no! Mrs. Pickles! <laughs> if I got sprayed with a skunk, I, I feel like I smell delicious. Do I smell good? I smell good! I smell like a burger! <laughs> Whoa! Pickles! Oh no! The drain! I accidentally put the drain on! Close! Close! what I am. That's right! I'm a cucumber! <laughs> Guess what? My channel just reached 3 billion views! Yeah! Wait, what number was it? 3 billion views! <laughs> I just had 3 billion views! Yeah! Alright, everyone comment down below. Tell YouTube to fix YouTube. Because YouTube is not YouTube. This is what I think about YouTube right now. You see that? Oh, it got in the camera. But look at this. This is what I think about YouTube. YouTube, if you're watching, please help me out. <laughs> oh, something fell in the other room. I think it's because I hit the pickles on the wall so hard. Let's check it out. Oh, the mirror fell. Oh, it shattered. Make sure not to step on this because it's crazy. You see, YouTube, that's what you did. You broke my mirror. You broke my mirror, YouTube! Maybe I should clean the lens. <laughs> Yo, check out this pickle. It has like a little hair on top. Oh, yeah, that's cute. 
Ow, oh my eye! <laughs> okay, I deserve that. You know what I think about pickles? You guys gave me food poisoning on the sixth grade. This is my payback. This is called the Pickle Doom Cannonball! Let's go! my back on that ow maybe you guys don't deserve that anyways thank you all for watching today's pickle back video just want to give a shout out to pickle rick pickle rick <laughs> i'm pickle rick and uh, i guess i'll see you all next time don't forget to subscribe to the new gaming channel it's gonna be cool and uh see you guys next time stay juicy oh this is awesome what is up youtube today i am going to fill my bathtub with orbeez and bath bombs you see i've always wondered what will happen if you put a whole bunch of bath bombs inside a bathtub filled with a whole bunch of orbeez is the bath bomb gonna do anything that's it i'm just wondering if the bath bomb is gonna do anything so today we're going to do the bath bomb orbeez challenge or the orbeez bath bomb challenge whatever the title is i'll figure that out after the edits anyways if you don't know what orbeez are they start off as these small things and then you put it into water and they grow into like this it's kind of like a tadpole growing into a frog make sure you don't eat it though Ooh, these have been uh, in the bathtub for about a day if you've never held an Orby or played with Orbeez or whatever you should try it because they are really soothing like you hold it you squish it Yo, oh, this feels so good! I sank into the Orbeez world and now I'm just an Orbeez. Look at these Orbeez! Look at these Orbeez! First test I'm gonna do is I'm going to drain the remaining of the water in the bathtub and then put the bath bomb. I wanna see if the bath bomb does anything. And number two, I'm gonna add some water and I wanna see what the bath bomb does underneath all these Orbeez. It's gonna be pretty cool, I think. Watch it do nothing, I'm gonna be so mad. The water has been completely drained. It's just now just the Orbeez. We got here a bath bomb. Let's drop it and see what happens. This is the bath bomb experiment Orbeez challenge 3 a.m. Three, two, one. It's not doing anything! Drop! Come on, bath bomb! You can do better than that! Here we go! Three, two, one, drop! Alright, maybe I'll cover it up. Hello? So, it doesn't work if you just put it with just the Orbeez. There's just not enough water for the bath bomb to activate. Oh, yeah, I guess it is right there. But it's not activating fully where it's like... Oh, look! Okay, well, I think that's because there's already water in there. Three, two, one, go. Kind of see it fizzing and stuff right there. Do it again. Three, two, one. Bam. Well, I think if you put it deep enough, it'll start doing its like magical thing. All right. As you can see, this is the singular bath bomb right over here. It's doing its thing. Fortunately, I have like 30 more. So here we go. This is 30 bath bombs inside a bathtub filled with Orbeez. Three, two, one, go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, so that's definitely doing something. That's pretty awesome. Oh my goodness, it's still fizzing. Okay, do you guys think this will overflow? Comment down below. We're about to find out. This thing's still going, oh my goodness. It's going up there. Oh, that one is almost at the very top. I think it is going to overflow. This is like slowly climactic, cause like, it's going up really slowly. Like it's creeping on you. Like it's not like forceful, like brrr, overflow. It's like, all right, I, I think I'm going to overflow. Oh, this is so cool, oh my goodness. I have never seen a bath challenge become this bubbly. So I think the Orbeez have to do some kind of bubblation with the bath bombs. Okay, now it's overflowing. Oh, this is awesome! Wow! This is kind of cool, dude. This feels really cool because underneath it's still fizzing. As you can see, I'm gonna lift a bath bomb right here. It's still fizzing a lot. I don't know. I just feel the Orbeez and the fizzing underneath me. I'm gonna submerge. I'll see you guys later and I'll be in the upside down. Three, two, one. <gasps> I have Orbeez in my ear. I can't see! Where's the water? That's very blinding. That wasn't a good idea. I have things stuck in my ear. My eyes are blind. Anyways, that was pretty cool.
Oh man, that was very blinding. Just the intensity of 30 bath bombs all fizzing at the same time in your eyeballs. It's just kind of intense. Other than that, this is pretty awesome. Look at that. It's just so fizzy. Like if you ever like poured a uh, Coke bottle and then you pour it too fast, it just looks like fizz. Oh, whoa. Check out the Orbeez. A couple of them are breaking. Like this one is like breaking. I seriously didn't do anything. I guess the reaction with the bath bomb caused the Orbeez to shatter. Look at that. Wow. I have bath bomb in my eyeball. That's why this one is closed. It hurts. Ow! This one is cracked right here. If you see that, there's a crack. Wow. It's not squishy anymore. It's extremely hard now. Like candy. Like the ones that are shattered, they just became extremely tough. Regular Orbi, I'll squish it. It'll just get right out of my hand. It'll just jump right out of my hand if I squish it. A broken one, the tough one, squish it, it shatters. That is crazy! My eyeballs! Ow! This feels like straight like acid, like citric acid going to your eyeballs. But if you let the fizz just settle a little bit, this is what the Orbeez look like. I feel like they just got into war and they lost. You can see the Orbeez that have lost, like this yellow one right there. The water's like straight red. Oh. That is crazy. We got more bath bomb fluids. Technically, this is like soup. You know how it goes, guys. This is called the Orbeez bath bomb cannonball. Three, two, one. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna. This, that's good enough for now. Hey, it got in the wall a little bit. Ooh, what is this? Is this a worm? It's a worm. No, I'm just kidding. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you want this shirt, go to crabmade.com slash guava juice. I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. Stay juicy. What's juicy, everybody? As you guys know, I released the Guava Juice Box Holiday Box not too long ago. I know they're shipping right now, so if you guys get yours, tag me, and I will like it, and I will retweet it, whatever. You guys got it. I'll see you guys later. Enjoy the video. Explosion! Ow! What's up, YouTube? Today, I'm going to fill my bathtub with candy corn. Here in America, we celebrate Halloween, and candy corn is a really cool icon of Halloween. I think it's disgusting, to be honest, my personal opinion, but today we're gonna fill my bathtub with this iconic candy. Let's just start pouring these candy corns. Oh, yeah, that's so gross. Maybe I'll just give it a second chance. Let's see if I... Mm. <laughs> No, it tastes like popcorn with butter and pumpkin. I cannot. It just tastes so oily. Ah, yeah! Woohoo! Here's some more candy corn! Whoa! Whoa, it's in my shirt! Ow! Uh, it feels like a spider. Whoa! Here's some more! Woo! <laughs> it's just candy corn. Woo! Oh! Ah! Oh! All right, here's another one! Whoa! Ah! <laughs> All right, here is the last one. This is the 72nd <laughs> So here it is. Oh, yeah. There you have it. A bathtub filled with candy corn. <laughs> yeah, yummy. <laughs> as much as I hate candy corn, I have never imagined myself being in a bathtub filled with candy corn, which I hate. But it's all good. Look at all this candy corn. Oh, oh. Get my head. Warm up. What? Did you know candy corn is made out of popcorn? All you gotta do is put sugar in the popcorn and microwave it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> whoa! 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 Candy corn in my face. Ah. Oh, that kind of hurt. Here's some more candy corn. <laughs> not to diss on candy corn even more, but it's making my skin feel a little bit crinkly. It's usually not a good thing, but I feel very crinkly right now. <laughs> yeah, let me stop on this candy corn. Uh, uh. Uh. Happy Halloween! Ah, uh, if you want me to do a video of uh, just us cleaning up the thing, let me know. All right, I'm just gonna just. Oh, I'm angry. I hate candy corn. Ah! Come in, ha! All right, I call this one the candy corn kick. Double kick. I am making a mess right now. Candy corn, cannonball. Three, two, one. Whoa, that. Oh, whoa. That kind of hurt. I didn't realize candy corn. If it's mushed up all together, it kind of hurts. Ow. All right, guys, I'm gonna dive right in. I'll see you guys on the other side. <laughs> You only want to socialize 
Pretend that I'm a dog, okay? What do dogs do in the beach? They go like this. And then they dig! They dig! Oh, I hate candy corn. Happy Halloween, everybody. All right, let's see what happens when you add a little bit of water in here. Ah, there you go. Ah. Okay, what do you think is going to happen to the candy corn? Is it A, is it gonna sink? Or B, is it gonna float? Comment down below. All right, guys, if you guys answered sink, you are correct. The candy corn is currently sinking, making the bathtub all weirdly orangey and grossly shaped, but it's okay. It's okay because candy corn is the worst. Let me bathe in some really, really diluted, gross candy corn. Ugh, ugh. Just how I like it. Now, just use the candy corn to kind of like, you know, exfoliate your skin a little bit. Make sure you use it really well. Look at that. Smells like pumpkin. Horrific. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Ooh, spooky. Yeah, this is so gross. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This kind of feels good. I think any warm water or hot water just feels great. That's how I like it. This feels delicious. All right, here we go. This is called the mini cannonball of candy corn. Three, two, one. All right, I think that is it. Thank you all for watching today's video. If you want me to bathe in some more random things, I've been doing this for about a year and a half now. It's been great. I love it still. Let me know. Comment down below. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. What's up, YouTube? Before I start the video, I want to announce winners for the iPhone 8 giveaway. Here it is. The four winners are right here. You lucky four winners should have already gotten an email. And I want to thank everyone for participating. If you want me to do more giveaways, let me know in the comments down below. Was it worth it? Do you want more giveaways? What do you want me to give away? You want me to give away some laptops, some iPads? Let me know in the comments down below if you want another one. iPhone X. <laughs> Congrats to the winners. I'll probably see you in like two seconds. Here's the video. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Today I'm going to fill my bathtub with nachos and cheese. If you're wondering why I'm wet right now, it's because I just filmed a pickle bath. You can tell by the violence on the wall. Might as well do back-to-back -back bath videos. Hey, <laughs> yeah, yeah, what? Wow. Anyways, hit that bell if you haven't already. Make sure to subscribe to the new gaming channel. If you love my gaming stuff, go over there, Guava Games. If you want some merch, go to crowdway.com slash guava juice. And if you want some guava juice box, go to guavajuicebox.com. That's a lot of plugs. <laughs> so I have here a big can, lots of big cans of nacho cheese. And some chips. I know what you're saying. Overall, you're wasting food. This video, I'm gonna be donating a thousand dollars to the local food bank. Link is down in the description below if you want proof of the receipt. I'm telling you guys, I do it. Like, I want to save the world one day. That's my goal. But right now, I'm gonna do some bath videos. Yeah! Ooh, oh, that is a lot of chips. Mm. Oh, good. Here's another one. Woo! Here's another one. Woo! -hoo -hoo. And another one. Oh my god. Oh. 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 Here's another one. <laughs> I like how these chips are randomly flying out into my hand. <laughs> Woo! I'm not wasting food because I'm giving back. I'm giving back. All right, y'all, so we got chips down. Nothing left to do but to open this nacho cheese thing and pour it all over myself. This is really good. I'm just trying to eat here. Want to try some? Sure. Yeah, yeah, go for it. How's it taste? That's pretty good. It's good, yeah? I know you like this. It's good. It's delicious, right? Yeah. Tell the camera, it's delicious. It's delicious. It's really weird. I've never... Yeah, sure, yeah. Mm. Good! This video is not sponsored, by the way. I'm just saying, this is really good. All right, I got I got a bad video to do. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, there's only one thing left to do, but to pour this thing on me. Here we go. Oh! Oh my gosh, I have so many cheese. Oh, wow. All right, here's another one. This is called the nacho cheese on my face. <laughs> How do I look, guys? And it still tastes so good. Wow. Ooh. Put in my feet right here. Wow. Mm, this cheese is so good, man. Yeah, so good. Okay, put some in my feet. Oh, that's cold. Delicious. Let's get this video up to 50,000 likes if you love me. If not, then you guys hate me. I'm gonna quit YouTube. This is good, though. Wow, look at all this nacho cheese. Like, look at all this cheese in my hand. Cheese everywhere. Oh. Hey, do you want to try some now? Yeah. yeah, come, 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 come through, come through. Pick any part of the body or bathtub. Okay, how's that taste? Still really good. It's still really good, guys. It's 
still really good. All right, there's still a whole bunch of chips under here. Look at this. This is called the nacho cheese. This is the cheese that you get from the movies. It tastes similar, except this one tastes better. Kroger, you're doing a good job. <laughs> Real quick, so you guys can see the full effect of the bathtub. This is the bathtub in its current situation. So, if you ever have a party, I think it's best to fill your whole bathtub with nachos and cheese. Because look at this, this is. It's lovely. But make sure if you do fill your bathtub with nachos and cheese whenever you throw a party, make sure to mix it well with your feet like this. That way, all your guests can get the full effect, you know? You want it to taste good, you want it to mixturize well. Ooh, look at that. Pick one up and yeah. Mm. It still tastes really good. Wow. Look at this. You can mold the nachos and the cheese together to make a nacho cheese ball. Look at that. Four. <laughs> Oops. You can use this as a weapon as well. Hey, bad guy. And the bad guy just dies from nachos. <laughs> Oh, YouTube. I know what you're thinking. You're wasting food, but I told you I already donated a thousand dollars. So it's like 10,000 people will benefit from that. So it's, it's, it's all for a good cause, really. All right, I'm just making a mess now. I don't even know what I'm doing. Check this out. It's a nacho cheese, like slip and slide. Ooh. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, yeah it's good. Oh, I slipped because I slide. <laughs> Hi, my name is Guava Juice. Today I'm gonna show you the best makeup. It's by Rihanna. It's called the Nacho. We have a whole bunch of nachos and cheese, so you wanna moisturize your whole face first. And now moisturize your whole body like this. Oh yeah. And moisturize your other arm like this, your legs, and then you're ready to go out for a good night. <laughs> Swish! This move is a new move called the Nacho Dance. It goes like this. Yeah! Ooh. Yeah! <laughs> I'm making a mess. These messes take a while to clean after these bath videos. So let's get this video to 50,000 likes because we do a lot of cleaning and stuff. So, you know, it's hard. It's the hard life. But I couldn't have asked for anything better. Look at the bathtub now. It's like so gross and slimy. Oh, ew. Like the chips used to be so crunchy. Now it's just like all soggy and all yellow. But it does look good though. This is called the nacho art. So what you want to do? There you go. Put the eyes right there. I'm gonna make a smiley face. There you go. This is the emoji movie. Wow. And now you mess it up and then you go like this. And I'm a nacho fish. Now I'm a nacho walrus. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> What's happening? My name is Dexter. I sell nacho hats for a living. $10 a hat, let me know. Oh, oh, oh. Now I'm a nacho whale. Ooh. All right, I'm making a mess. Got a lot of cleaning to do. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Wow, it's clean. This place is really clean. Anyways, thank you all. Um, let's get this video to 50,000 likes just because subscribe to the new channel, Guava Games. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Stay juicy, y'all. Stay juicy. What's up, everyone? Check out these new shirts. If you want these new shirts, go to crowdmade.com slash guava dudes. It's gonna be available for only five days. So get it while you can, or else it's gonna be gone forever. Pumpkin guava shirt, get it. Enjoy the video. What's up, YouTube? Today, I am here in my bathtub, and we're going to fill this bathtub today with some baby powder. So let's, let's do this. <laughs> Ow! Oh, hey, oh, whoa, whoa. Ah! Oh, that's about so when I was little, I got in trouble once for uh, playing with baby powder. I ended up just using one baby powder, and I just went like this. I just went crazy with it. I figured it'll be a good nostalgia. It'll be a good throwback to do it again. <laughs> It's in my mouth. <coughs> Ooh, it's in my mouth. Okay, whoa. Oh my gosh. This room is gonna smell so good, but it's gonna be so messy. Look at that. Oh my gosh. When I was a kid, I was like, yeah, baby powder. Oh my god, baby powder is so fun. Oh, the smell is so smelly. I might need a mask after this, but I'm gonna fill my bathtub with this thing. It's gonna be so cool. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of baby powder in here, huh? Oh, my hair baby powder is good right here also. Oh my goodness. If you guys are wondering what happened to my hand, I got into a fight. No one won. We ended up just talking it away. Oh, hey, bro, I can't breathe. I, can't. I need a mask. All right, so my eyeballs are protected. My nose and my mouth are protected. There's nothing left to do than put some baby powder here. Hey! Hey! Woo! This 
smells so good though. It's a baby shower. <laughs> oh my gosh. The smell is so strong. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so fun, dude. If you have a chance to do this in your life, do it. Especially if you're young. Actually, don't do this. Your parents will get mad. My parents were mad at us. In the future, they kind of just laughed it off. Like, ah, oh, you remember that one time you uh, did the baby powder in the room? I'm like, yeah. Way too strong. I gotta figure out a way, another way to do this. I'm gonna suffocate from baby powder. Ugh, my lungs are like filled with baby powder right now. I need a little break. Hold on. All right, so just to make the process a lot quicker, I have here a box cutter. Cut it open and then just pour it out really easy. Hopefully, I have a bathtub filled with baby powder. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, this is a lot of baby powder. Woo! My team and I took the opportunity to cut every single baby powder up into little squares or whatever, making it easier to pour down. So this is the fun part where I pour all the baby powder on myself. So wish me luck. Hopefully I won't suffocate from all this baby powder. Make sure to hit that bell though. Seriously, it's good. This is called the baby powder bounce challenge. Here we go. Woo, woo, there's one. Here's another one. Woo. Here we go, here's another one. Baby powder is good for you because it makes your skin softer, it makes your butt smoother, but it's bad for your lungs. So I'm just trying not to inhale as much as I can here. I think it's bad for your lungs, I don't know. Because baby powder is just cornstarch and then really good flowers, I think. I don't know what they're made of. Ooh. My legs are just all just white, oh my goodness. Wow. Did you know baby powder was invented in 1848 by a man named Alexander Hewitt? It would be a good way since he had a baby. He was like, yo, my baby is always sweaty. My baby is always sweaty. How do I make him not sweat? So he combined some cornstarch, some flour, and some other flour, the two flours, F-L-O-U-R, and the regular flour, and the baby stopped sweating. Eventually the baby died because he inhaled too much of this. That's why they changed the formula, making it non-lethal. That's why it's good for babies now. I don't know, I just made that up. I thought it was a cool story though. Baby powder on my body, it feels body, it feels good. My lungs hurt. So much baby powder make my lungs hurt. Oh no. Hey yo, by the way, before this shirt gets completely Completely baby powdered on. Get this merch at crowdmade.com slash guava juice if you want more. Make sure you get some guava juice boxes at guavajuicebox.com. You like that plug? I like that baby powder. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Oh yeah! The farty baby powder makes my fart smell like good. Uh, oh my gosh! <laughs> so let's take a quick look on what's going down here. I am just straight up just baby powdered. I think it's time to do from here to there. <laughs> let's do it. Woo! Oh my gosh, oh my goodness. Make me feel like a baby. So this is how babies feel, I guess. Like, they just feel soft. They feel like they don't know what's going on. They're blind. They can't breathe. Feel like a baby. Good thumbnail picture or not? Yeah? Let's do it. Let's do it with thumbnail. All right, so y'all, this is how we do a thumbnail. We just pose. One, two, three, pose. And then do another pose. One, two, three. Oh! Oh! And then one, two, three, pose. And that is how we do the screenshot of the thumbnails. Back to the videos. <laughs> it's really hard to breathe in here. We filled up the bathtub. Not really filled it up, but we have a lot of baby powder in here. <laughs> Every time I try to breathe, all I breathe is baby powder. But here we go. Ah, here we go. This is the baby powder of oh, dive. Ah, I can't breathe. Ah. <coughs> ah, I can't breathe. <laughs> baby powder is really bad. I can't breathe, man. Oh, you okay? Baby powder really makes everything very messy, but it does smell really good though. It's just really hard to breathe in here. Oh my gosh. You know what I think about baby powder now? I hate you baby powder. This is how you mess up a room though. Like I can't breathe anymore. Oh, I can't breathe again. Oh my God. All right, let's just see what happens when we fill it up with water. I think I'm gonna end the video here, but not yet. I'm just gonna see what happens when I fill it up with water. This is the most difficult bath challenge I've ever done. Just one, it's hard to breathe. Two, it's baby powder. I don't know if it's good for your lungs. When you mix baby powder and water, you get this chunky thing. I don't know really. So the camera is filled with baby powder. Everyone's filled with baby powder. This whole room is messed up with baby powder. If you want behind the scenes of us cleaning, it. Go to the second channel, Guava Juice 2, and you'll see how we clean all this mess. Uh, it's not the funnest thing, but we get the job done, for real. But look at this! When you fill it with water, you get oobleck. Not really. I'm just gonna take a baby powder bath, I guess. There you go. Oh, my phone. My phone. Oh, snap! Just kidding. Check out the baby powder, dude. It's like coagulating, making... Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, I feel like you can make slime with this. Look at the baby powder now. This is what you put into babies. Oh my goodness. This is giving me another idea for a video. Oh my... Look at that. Look at the baby powder now. So it's more manageable now since um, it's a liquid form now. Yeah, dude, this is basically it. I'm sorry, y'all. The whole video is just me struggling to breathe, but it really is that bad. Look at that. It looks like a marshmallow. This is what happens when you... 
put baby powder into water. Oh, now it just feels like a white slime thing. Wow, look at that baby powder slime. Wow, okay. I'm gonna rename this whole video baby powder slime bath challenge. Like, look at that, that's slime. Oh, oh, we gotta make a new thumbnail for this. Hey, right, let's go, let's do a thumbnail again, come on. Thumbnail, thumbnail, thumbnail. Now I gotta act like I'm struggling. Oh, but I'm actually not struggling in that anymore at least. Ah! That's how you do thumbnails. All right, y'all, this is called the uh, Baby Powder Slime Super Cannonball. At this point, the whole room is messy. And three, two, one. Yeah, baby! Whoa! That is how you mess up a room. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> All right, we might need to hire some cleaners to clean this because uh, this is looking pretty... Pretty messy. All right, anyways, thank you all for watching today's video. Um, it was bad at first, but I put water in it. It's not as bad anymore. It's more manageable. Thank you all for watching. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Hit that bell and stay juicy all the time. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Today, I'm going to fill my bathtub with some spaghetti and some sauce and more spaghetti and some sauce and spaghetti and some sauce. <laughs> hey, Georgie, you like popcorn? <laughs> thank you all for watching today's video. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know what you're saying. Oh, you're gonna waste a whole bunch of spaghetti. Guess what? I'm not. I am going to not waste it, but I am also going to be donating a thousand dollars to the local food bank. Check out the description below for the confirmation of the receipt as proof. As you guys know, I don't lie. Hey you. Yes you. Do you want an iPhone 8? Just click the link in the description box below and you'll figure out how to win it. I will be announcing winners October 23rd. All right, guys, so let's just start pouring the spaghetti noodles into this boiling hot water. As you can see, it's filled up with water. All I gotta do is pour some spaghetti in there and just wait for it to boil. Here we go, spaghetti. Oh, -ho -ho! look at that. That is art. Here's another one. And some more. And some more. And some more spaghetti. And here's some more spaghetti. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of spaghetti. And some more spaghetti. Comment down below, do you love spaghetti? Cause I love spaghetti. Let me make you some spaghetti, Sally. Ugh. Hey, comment down below, is your name Beethoven? Hey, for real, hit that bell though. Yeah. And some more spaghetti. Did you know people back in the days used spaghetti as a toothbrush? Cause they can't afford horse hair? Did you know your toothbrush is made out of horse hair? I'm just kidding. There's some more spaghetti. Hey, what's better than spaghetti? Spaghetti. <laughs> hey, Georgie, you left the boat. <laughs> uh, you wanna go to circus? You know, cotton candy. And spaghetti. I honestly don't know if this is a lot of spaghetti, but here's some more spaghetti. Here's another one. What did the spaghetti say when it saw the pasta? Spaghetti. <laughs> what? That is all the spaghetti I have. I have more actually. I'm just gonna donate them to the local food bank here. And let's just wait for the spaghetti to boil and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right guys, so it's been about 15 minutes. Oh yes, that is what I am talking about. Mix it up really nicely. Oh, that is some nice noodles, some spaghetti noodles. And then the water's really hot, so I'm just trying to figure out a way to drain the water without giving myself like four degree burns, four, whatever, whatever you call it. Ow! Ah, ah, <laughs> That's hot! It is draining. I'll see you guys when this thing is completely drained. Welcome back everybody. The water has completely drained. I have here my giant fork still and it's time to get inside this spaghetti. By the way, this shirt's about to get messed up. So if you want this shirt, go to crowdmade.com slash guava juice. Ooh, that is still hot. Ow. Ooh. Oh, ow, oh, ow. Oh, there's still like hot water in the bottom. It's like burning my butt. Look at all this spaghetti though. Seriously. Mmm, mm, it tastes good though. Oh my gosh, this is probably the nastiest thing you guys have probably seen. But it's okay guys, doing this for the good. If you guys don't remember, I bathed in ramen before. Very interesting. I am the ramen monster! <laughs> that was a really hot video. Temperature hot. This is actually pretty therapeutic. The carbohydrate properties of the spaghetti is really making my skin feel really nice here. Oh my gosh! Alright guys, so I have here spaghetti tomato sauce. Let's go, let's get straight to the <laughs> What is my life nowadays? Oh my gosh, this is gross. And I know you guys want some more spaghetti sauce. Oh my gosh. Ooh, I gotta make sure uh, we're in the right places. There you go. What does this taste like? Mmm, it tastes like spaghetti, pretty good. Ooh, this is like what I wanted to do when I was a little kid. Like I wanted to play with my spaghetti, but my parents would not allow it. Now that I'm a bigger kid now, I can play with my spaghetti. Hold on, let me see what this thing tastes like. I'm actually really hungry, so. 
Mm. Tastes pretty good. There you go. Mix it around. Make sure you get all your spaghetti around. Ooh, I know what you're thinking. Hey, Roy, you don't got no spaghetti on your face. Okay, I got you, girl. <laughs> oh my god, this is the worst. What am I doing? Wow, I am like straight up the spaghetti monster. What's good, y'all? What's good? Dude, seriously, look at all this spaghetti. It's pretty cool. Did you know the person who invented spaghetti just wanted to eat spaghetti? I don't, I don't know any facts. I thought I could make one up on the spot, but I can. <laughs> all this spaghetti, there's empty spaghetti. You need more sauce, Mr. Spaghetti. I got you. There you go. You know how people eat spaghetti. You use a fork and then you gotta twist it and turn it until you get a big portion of spaghetti. <laughs> you eat it. <laughs> this is gross. Row, row, row your boat gently down spaghetti. Merrily, 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 merrily. I live like a yeti. Those lines though. Ha! I'm gonna get so much hate for this, but at the same time, I'm like donating. It balances out. I'm donating more than I'm using. You know what I'm saying? So if you're ever cold and you ever find yourself in the middle of the Antarctic and you see a bathtub filled with hot spaghetti for some reason, this is what you do. You just cover yourself up. <sighs> I don't know anymore. Roll some cinematics though. <laughs> like a spaghetti tentacle monster <laughs> just like engulfed me and now I can't move. That, that's kind of weird. <laughs> this is called the spaghetti cannonball. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Hey, come here, come here, come here. You want some spaghetti? I don't have much, but you can have some of mine. <laughs> this fork is so awesome though. Would you like some spaghetti? Yum, yum, yum. All right guys, so if you're ever being attacked by some bully or some random person, grab your spaghetti and then just throw it at their face like this. Oh, okay, don't do that. Violence is not the answer. Just be like, excuse me, you're bullying me. It's not right. I hope you will get better. That's all you gotta say. And then throw the spaghetti at their face. This is my spaghetti. You want some spaghetti? I will give you spaghetti. I'm not a Yeti. Let's go. Spaghetti dance. This is my spaghetti dance. This is for you. Thank you. I took some uh, some vocal lessons from Beyonce. Shout out to you, Beyonce. If you need me to shout out to your uh, kids, let me know. Beyonce, if you're watching this, please hit me up. I'm just gonna grab a whole bunch of spaghetti here. Yes. Oh my gosh. This is really heavy. Who would have known? See, look, I'm gonna drop it. It's gonna make a big noise. Here you go. Ah. That is insane. <sighs> Oh my gosh. Yo, Loki, this is pretty fun though. Like, I know this looks crazy and it looks like I'm wasting food, but I can say that I bathe in spaghetti. Who's done that, you know? It's my dream. Oh, yes. What better way to condition your hair? If you're bored and you need a wig, like instantly, just grab your spaghetti and put it in your hair and you have a spaghetti wig. Hey! You know why this is really therapeutic? It's because it sounds amazing. Come closer. Let's listen to this. Sounds amazing. This one's called the pounder. This is called the squisher. This one's called the crawler. That sounds so amazing. Who would have known spaghetti sounds so great? Here we go, dual fist. You guys like that? That sounds great, right? This is called the fork spaghetti. Dude, I'm gonna make a whole video of just ASMR spaghetti. Let me know. That sounds dope. All right, y'all. Thank you all for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed me um, jumping into a bathtub filled with spaghetti. It's pretty fun, to be honest. Um, if you have the opportunity, do it. As always, we gotta clean this up. It's the worst, but this is for you guys. So here we go. 100,000 likes for more bath videos. If not, I'm gonna throw away my bathtub. <gasps> what? Stay juicy, everybody. Bye. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Today, I'm gonna fill my bathtub with screaming chicken. Lots and lots of screaming chickens. Let's do this. Make sure to hit that bell icon. If not, screaming chickens will attack you. So let's start pouring some screaming chickens here. Here's some one. Here's another one. Here's two more. They're so funny. Like, look at this. All right, I actually have a whole bunch on the floor, so I'm just going to just dump it all here. They're so funny sounding. It's so awesome. They're like saying, wee! <laughs> oh no! This 
one's decapitated. No. All right, I gotta do some surgery. Scalpel. Don't worry, Mr. Chicken. You'll be fine. Trust me, I'm a professional chicken doctor. It's like, whoa, no, please. I got you. Don't worry. This is a new instrument I found. It's called the chicken flute. Back to normal. It's sunny. It's bright and sunny over there. Oh my gosh. It's a new day. Alright guys, so I filled my bathtub with the screaming chickens. What is funny about them is if you lay on them at the same time, they just go crazy and it just sounds extremely funny. See, watch. Three, two, one, and here we go. Ready? As soon as I get up, they are just going to scream all together. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> Chicken screaming flute. It's like screaming for help. That's kind of sad. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This one's called the screaming chicken cannonball. Here we go. Three, two, one. This one's called the palming screaming chickens. Ah! No, the chickens! The chickens! No! I did this earlier today. I was like, dude, I gotta show this on camera. So what you do is put water inside the chicken like this. And then the chicken is going to act like it is drowning. Pretend I'm a lifeguard and I find this chicken. I'm, oh my god, it's a chicken! It's dying! You gotta do some CPR. PR chicken uh, screaming challenge. One, two, three. Okay, do some compressions. Oh my gosh, it literally sounds like he's dying. I killed the chicken. Let's go, dubstep, go. Hey, find me at Coachella next year. I'll be, uh, this is my instrument of choice. Watch out, DJs out there. Inspiring artists here. DJ Guava with my screaming chickens. <laughs> I'm just chilling here with my chickens. How are you guys doing? Uh, ah, yeah, me too. Uh, yeah. Did you have a good day today, Mr. Chicken? Uh, I feel the same way. How about everyone else? You guys okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, you're feeling good. All right, what are we doing later today? Uh, yeah, I feel the same way. Well, anyways, thank you all for watching today's Screaming Chicken Bath Challenge. It's been really funny. Uh, one second. <laughs> challenges with these screaming chickens comment down below what I should do with them and uh, I guess until then let's get this video 200,000 likes or something and I'll do some more I'll give you guys some free iPhone 8 uh, what okay I gotta go stay juicy y'all hit the bell say bye chicken <coughs> bye bye <coughs> okay bye stay juicy
What's up YouTube? Today I'm gonna be doing the hide and seek Lego bath. Before I explain how everything works, I just wanna say this video is sponsored by BAM! Nickelodeon! For the release of Warner Brothers' new movie, The Lego Ninjago Movie. Let's do it! So a little bit about The Lego Ninjago Movie, it is fun for the whole family. It's a big animated movie with lots of action and lots of laughs. In my opinion, I think it's just so unique and so creative seeing all these martial arts moves being done with Lego bricks. That's just so awesome. Okay, so before I play hide and seek, I need to pour some Lego bricks into my bathtub. So let's pour some Lego bricks in my bathtub. Here we go. Woo! I've been invited to join the Wu Crew, okay? Before that even happens, I need to channel my inner ninja. <laughs> so you're wondering, how do you play this hide and seek Lego bath challenge, Roy? Well, it's really, really simple. Here I have seven characters from the Lego Ninjago movie. They're all disassembled. I have two minutes to try to assemble all of them. Once I have assembled all of them, I'm gonna throw them into this bathtub filled with Lego bricks and I'm gonna try to find them in two minutes. Can I do that? One, go. assembled everyone I'm just gonna toss them into this pile of Lego bricks and I'm just gonna try to find them okay everybody I'm just gonna call this the Lego Ninjago extreme bath challenge just cuz Lego I don't know Lego so this is where the hide and seek portion comes in let's find these Ninjago characters here we go Oh, you got that? Oh, I found one! I found one! Check it out. This is Master Wu, everybody. Master Wu. So Master Wu, he is the wise mentor and teaches all his students to channel their inner peace. Or is it inner peace? <laughs> As you guys know, he is Lloyd's uncle. He is also Garmadon's brother. So it's kind of like the good and bad uncle. It's kind of like, whoa, it's crazy, right? Students, a true ninja knows when to fight and when to blend in the shadows. Unbelievable. All right, let's find the next piece here. I found one. What's up, Garmadon? Say what's up. What's up? All right, so this is Lord Garmadon, everybody. He is also known as the worst guy ever. Apparently, as you can see, he has four arms and he can smell fear and people just flee and run away from him. He is also Lloyd, the main character's dad, which is kind of crazy because his dad is super evil. Like, how do you even live with that? That's kind of crazy, right? Garmadon is attacking the city. Mom, could we talk about dad? Was he always an evil warlord? He said he wanted to conquer the world. Oh my gosh, look at that! You guys see that? Something's moving! Something's arising from over there! What? Whoa! So this is Lloyd, everybody. He is the main character. He is the son of Garmadon, the worst guy ever. If it isn't obvious already, Lloyd is the leader of a secret ninja force protecting the city of Ninjago. So, Lloyd, you gotta fix stuff with your dad. I don't even know. How do you even deal with that? I guess you gotta watch the movie. You feel? All right, guys. Let's get Garmadon. Me. Green Ninja. Watch this. Oh. Anyone here? Kai? Naya? Cole? Jay? What's up, guy? He is the Fire Ninja. So this is Kai, everybody. I like Kai a lot because he's really loyal and protective when it comes to his friends like Lloyd and even his sister, Naya. He is outgoing, he's enthusiastic, and he's always ready to give hugs. That's why I love you a lot, bro. It's, you're just so chill. Is that right? <laughs> All right, let's go. Maybe we can find a sister, Naya. Here we go. Naya! Oh, I found her! Naya! Wow, that was so weird. This is Kai's sister. So her elemental power is water. Unlike Kai, she is more confident. She is more competitive. She is more motivated. And so the difference between the two is she is just... She wants things done. She's killing it! First, I like to have photos of all my heroes who inspire me. Next, you need a ninja mask to protect your secret identity. Nobody knows mine except for Kai, Cole, Jay, Zane, Lloyd, and you. Because we're buds. I've also got sushi for lunch. My lucky chopsticks. Oh, and here's something every ninja needs in her locker. Makeup. 
to camouflage for stealth missions. All this Lego searching is making me tired, man. Wow. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna take this moment to take a break and to find my inner ninja. To find the ninja within ya. Oh, it's the ninja within me, you're asking? I'm just gonna say kindness and teamwork. That's honestly two great traits right there for being a ninja. Comment down below, what do you think two great traits of being a ninja within ya is? Hmm? What's the ninja within you? Oh. Kindness and teamwork, you know how it goes. I need some help. Let's get some teamwork done. I summon my brother, Raymond. <laughs> Alright, so uh, there's two left. There's two of us. We can find each one. You ready? Yep. Go. We got this, guys. Teamwork, baby! Teamwork! I found Cole, guys. I found Cole. Oh, I found oh him. he found him. him! So he found Jay, and I found Cole! Jay? Cole! Ah! That was crazy! So a little about Cole. He is the Earth Ninja. He loves to move and groove. He is never anywhere without his music. Like, he likes listening to Master Wu play the flute. He just loves music. Nia is so boss. Jay, he's a little bit cautious, a little bit nervous about everything. So when he does go through the battlefield, he gets through because he is Jay. He is just so chill. Also, Jay, he comes from a really close family, so he really understands how Lloyd and his dad's relationship is. It's just it's so awkward. You got a message from Garmadon. You want to hear it? Yeah. yeah. You're a big, stupid, dumb, dumb with a dumb face and you smell like a butt. Thanks for the teamwork. I appreciate it. You're so kind. Am I kind? Be kind. Stay as a team. That's my inner ninja. <laughs> Alright everyone, so that is the end of the video. Make sure to check out the Lego Ninjago movie coming out September 22nd. Look at this dragon! This is, this is my favorite thing. This is awesome. Like, the mouth moves, everything. This is awesome looking. That's great. I just want to give a big thank you to Nickelodeon for making this video even possible. If you haven't seen the trailer yet for this movie, uh, here's a really quick clip right here. Are you ready to risk your life? For Ninjago. Yes, I am on it. Yes. Ah, yep. Maybe. <laughs> you ready for me to conquer Ninjago? Oh, I'll be waiting. Dad. If you want to see the rest of that clip or the whole trailer, I'll leave a link in the description below. All right, guys, what do you want me to fill my bathtub next? Comment down below, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Stay juicy. <laughs> I'm just kidding, this is awesome. Wow! What? What's up, YouTube? Today I'm gonna fill my bathtub with Takis. Lots and lots of Takis. Let's do this! I know what you're thinking. Oh, you're gonna waste all these Takis. Well, after the video, I'm gonna bag it right up and I'm just gonna save it for later. Plus, I'm gonna donate $2,000 to the local food bank. It all works out, right? Let's start pouring some Takis in. <laughs> There's another one. <laughs> Here's another bag. Here's one for my feet. Yeah! Here's another one! More Takis for you! Yo, the thing about these bags, it looks big, but it's only filled up to there. That's how they get you guys. Here's a party size. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Ah. By Takis, but you, you know, Takis, if you want to sponsor me, you know, when you're chilling. Hey! If you've never had a Takis, though, they're pretty good. They grew into me. Woo All right, for real, roll the cinematic. becomes addicting. It's like one of those addicting foods you just can't stop eating. First bite you take, you want to take 18 more. It's just crazy. You just gotta get the perfect thumbnail, so uh, here we go. Let me know when to pose. Nice. So, go. Thumbnail, A. Hey. Nice. Good. Good you. Alright, and that's how you do thumbnails, everyone. <laughs> 
All right, let's mess around with these Takis. Wow! Oh my goodness, look at all these Takis, bro. Wow! Here we go, this is gold. The Takis Cannonball. Three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> all right, this is called the Takis Dive. Three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> so I heard from a man not too long ago that if you dive into a bathtub filled with Takis, you will find something at the very bottom. Let's see if it's correct. <gasps> deep breath, deep breath. <gasps> ah! oh, oh, oh. Hello? I don't see anything! <laughs> This is so delicious. I am loving Takis. The more I eat it, oh my goodness. Okay, this is called the Takis Eating Challenge. You just gotta eat Takis without using your hands. Here we go. Mm. Mm. I know what you're thinking. That's disgusting. Well, not really. I'm enjoying it. I'm eating it. Nothing wrong with me. Just chilling here with my Takis. By the way, I showered before this video, so everything is clean. No worries. Plus, I'm giving back to the food bank, so it's like, it's a win-win. Everyone's having fun. The world's getting better. Takis is delicious. Oh my goodness. All right, I really want my Takis blanket back. Come back to me. Oh, there you go. Back. Woo. All right, good night, everybody. Oh, whoa. No, this is so good. Wow. Takis, I am talking so much good stuff about you right now. This is amazing. Takis, sponsor me. I call this one the Takis Explosion. Oh, oh my eyes, it's in my eye. It's delicious though. <laughs> it's raining Takis. It's raining, raining Takis. It's in my eye again. Oh, oh, oh man. Mm. Oh. Oh. You know me, I'm just chilling with some Takis. Um, I bathed in Takis, which is pretty awesome. You should try it for sure. But anyways, thank you all for watching. And uh, yeah, what else do you want me to put in my bathtub? I know it's been a while, so uh, let's start this bath challenge thing going on again. And remember, I'm not wasting food. Because I'm going to give food back. Don't worry about it. That's the whole purpose of this video, so. Anyways, thank you. Stay juicy. Bye. One. What's up, YouTube? Today I'm going to fill my bathtub with super jello. What's super jello? It's basically all gelatin. If you guys remember, I did a jello bath probably like a year plus ago. And the thing was, only the bottom of the bathtub was jello. What? Wow, look at this. Ah. You see, this time around, I will try to make the whole bathtub jello. Okay? Everything from the bottom to the top, jello. So, uh, let's do this. We're going to need some gelatin. Lots and lots and lots of these beautiful gelatin. Look at that. And some green food coloring. Also a giant fork. Once you got that, turn on your hot water and let the water fill up the bathtub like this. Now start pouring some gelatin into the mixture, into the other mixture, and then mix it using that thing. And the mixture, all the mixture dilutes and mixturizes through the bathtub. Now add the green food coloring to give this thing a little bit of color, and now you should be good to go. All right, everybody, it's been about one week, and you cannot believe how stinky this is. Like, just standing right here, this is what it looks like, by the way. It smells like an animal shelter, except everyone pooped at the same time. But it's so bad right now. I shouldn't have left this here for about a week. Uh, I don't know how much bacteria and nastiness is in here. You can't believe how stinky this thing is right now. Oh, it didn't solidify whatsoever. Look, it's like all watery still. Ugh. Fun fact, by the way, gelatin is made out of animal bones. So this is probably why it smells like animal shelters. It's bones. Bones are stinky. It just smells like a dead person right now. What better way to deal with a dead person than to go swim in this smelly, dead person smelly thing. All right, I'm not super excited about this. I'm probably gonna stink the whole entire week because of this video. Oh! You see this stuff on top? I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's like mold coming out. 
I can feel some jello on the bottom. Look at that! I found some jello on the bottom. Oh, I found a big chunk of jello just like the last video. I don't know what it takes for an entire bathtub to be filled with jello from the bottom to top. Oh! Oh! Oh, that was gross! That looked like a straight up gooey creature. Oh, I feel like this is an animal. I feel like animals live here, man. This is the, the stinkiest bath video I have ever done. I did not expect it to be this stinky. Oh my god, what is that? There's something in there! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, what is that? I'm just kidding, it's just jello, but just the fact that it's inside this water-filled thing, it's just- Oh my gosh! That looks like a blob of like craziness! Oh, this whole video is just straight up stinky! Oh, what is that? Oh, oh, it's touching me! It's touching me! It's like one of those things when you go swimming and you can't see what's in the bottom of the water. This is what it feels like. I don't know what's in the bottom. It's straight up stinky. All right, here we go. This is the super jello bath video. I don't know why they didn't work the way I wanted it. I think it's because the AC, you need lots of AC just to cool the jello down. If not, if you lay it in the room, it's just gonna stink up the whole house. I'm not exaggerating how stinky it is. That's why I'm so hesitant right now. This goes out to all my fans out there. All the guava juicers. Oh, this is so stinky, man. I hope I don't get sick because of this video. Oh, this is so stinky, man. You cannot imagine how stinky this thing is. Hey, look at this. All right, y'all. Here we go. I'm going in again once again. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. So gross. I feel like it's like starting to mold up. It's like the pre-mold phase. Like, it's so gross. This here. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. This is what it feels like to swim in the sewers. Stinky cannonball jello died! Woo! Oh, my face! This is my face! <laughs> that tastes so weird. Three, two, one. Oh! I don't know what to make of this video. It's still a jello bath. It's just, I was just expecting the whole entire bath to be filled with jello. Instead, it just made the whole thing extremely stinky. If you want me to do this challenge again, I'm gonna buy a whole bunch of air conditioners, let it sit in the room, and I'm gonna make sure this thing solidifies for sure. All right, here we go, cannonball for real. Three, two, one. Oh! Oh! Thank you all for watching. If you want some more bath videos, I know you guys miss it a lot. Comment down below. What do you want me to put my bathtub next? I'll see you guys next time. Stay juicy. What's up, YouTube? If you have not gotten your guava juice box DIY kit yet, get it now while supplies last. The boxes will ship soon, so you're gonna get it really soon. Hope you guys are excited. Go to guavajuicebox.com if you want one. Mwah. <laughs> Back to the video. He is fizzing like crazy. Oh no! What's up, YouTube? Welcome to my lovely bathtub. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a giant minion bath bomb. Play the DIY. We're gonna need some coconut oil, baking soda, Epsom salt, citric acid, and some food coloring to do this minion bath bomb. Pour some Epsom salt into the container, add some citric acid, now mix it to activate that chemical infusion. Add some baking soda to coagulate it and just top it off with some extras and mix it extremely well. You wanna massage that baby like you want that Kobe beef. Mm. Once you're done mixing, just grab your half spears, water, and some coconut oil, and then splash a little bit of water in some coconut oil Oil, and that will act as the glue to hold the ingredients together and make sure you mix it well like this And now from here on we have to make two different colors Okay, yellow and blue in one half you want to pour some yellow food coloring to create the minion skin color like that now What you want to do on the other side is repeat the process and instead use the blue food coloring to create the minions blue jeans and from here on out what you want to do once you get these colors to the right temperature and the right saturation is you want to put it back into the half spheres and put the half spheres together and from there on you want to put these half spheres somewhere to let it dry for a good eight hours and you should be good to go. Okay, after waiting eight hours, all you want to do now is just break it open. <coughs> Oh, look at that! So this is the top half, this is the eyeball, and then this is the head, it's yellow. Obviously, I gotta make the pupil, but uh, before we do that, let's just get the bottom half and just let us see how well the blue jeans are. So here we go. This one, you gotta be a little bit careful, because if I drop it and drop it in the bathtub, it did. Oh! <gasps> okay, maybe I'll do it right here. Wow, perfect, perfect! Wow! Look at that! Okay, so the blue in the bottom is perfect. The head is yellow, perfect. Now we just need some pupils. Let me show you how to do that real quick. What you wanna do is grab some black spray food coloring, and now just kinda just put it right here. Wow! Wow, look at that! Is this a minion? Is this a minion or what? Don't forget, minions also have some hair. They don't have too much hair, maybe like three strands of hair. 
One, two, three. Look at that! That's a dope minion! Let me put another one right here. Woohoohoohoohoo! And then I'll just make a mouth just cuz. Here we go. <laughs> Don't forget, they also have some goggles too, so here we go. And there you have it! We have yourself a giant minion bath bomb! <laughs> Woo! I am sweating right now, this water is so hot! But roll some cinematics for me, will ya? like a ball, you put it in the bath, and then it fizzes off. Oh my gosh, he is fizzing like crazy. Oh no! Look how fast this thing's fizzing. Whoa. Uh. Thank you for uh, sticking in and uh, just watching me take your bath here. This is great. I really enjoy your presence with me. Guys, I got nominated for a streamy. Isn't that crazy? Oh my gosh, guys, vote for me. Yellow and blue make green. And there you have it, guys. That is how you make a giant minion bath bomb. Comment down below if you want us to make a bath bomb the size of a bathtub. Will that work at all? It's probably gonna overflow the bathtub, but it's okay. I feel like we can do it. They're not fizzing as much as the other one is, but they are still doing their work. They're still fizzing though. Crowdmade.com slash guava juice. This is a new one. This is the guava juice box shirt piece. Oh! What's up, YouTube? Today I'm gonna fill my bathtub with one of the most requested things you guys want me to fill it with. Shaving cream! Lots and lots of shaving cream. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess there's like nothing else to do except just to fill it, so here we go! Let's do this! Whoa! So much shaving cream! So much shaving cream! <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna smell so good after this, it's gonna be amazing. Alright, fast forward! because I have so much shaving cream on my hair and my face and my legs. <laughs> Let me just stand up real quick so you guys can see how much shaving cream is on here. Look at that. This is all shaving cream. Look at the look at this bathtub. Look at that. That is a lot. That is a lot of shaving cream. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, work it, work it. Oh. Woo! This is called the shaving cream candy ball. Here we go. Three, two, one. Whoa. I hurt my butt on that one. Ow! But this is still awesome! Oh my gosh! All right, guys, I'm going under. I'm going under. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Whoa. What's up? <laughs> I don't, I mean, I'm not gonna eat it, but I'm just saying, after this challenge and after I take a shower, 
I'm gonna smell so fresh. Oh, shaving cream, spin. I am the shaving cream monster. Oh! Look at that, look at that. Here we go, right here. Three, two, one. <laughs> look how strong I am. It ripped through everything. Oh my gosh, let's do that again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> bathtub like this. You want to make sure you pour it evenly, that way the water will have this little thick consistency over time. To make this process go a little bit faster, grab your hand mixer and just mix it while the other person pours some guap gum. Here we go. black gooey goo is to add some black food coloring so here we go let's there you go it says slime okay mix it up you want to add some liquid starch. In this case, I have the flow. And while you do that, you want to constantly put it slowly while mixing it at the same time. So ready when you are. Three, two, one, go. All right, guys, so if everything is mixed in properly, the slime should look exactly like this. And the way it's texturized, it kind of looks like one of those Marvel superhero like dinosaurs giving birth to a monster um, birth waters. Here we go. It kind of looks like this, which is pretty, pretty awesome. It's transparent in a way where you can kind of see right through it, which kind of looks really cool. It's a different kind of slime, which is pretty awesome. Look at that. Ooh. If you didn't notice, I changed my clothes because I didn't want my other clothes to get dirty. Oh, look at this. Look how crazy this is. Look how crazy this looks! What kind of slime is this? That is awesome! It kind of looks like a monster, like a an ooh gooey gooey blobber or a monster. Ah! Woo! If you ever have the opportunity to make this slime, do it. Get some guar gum, liquid starch, and some water, some food coloring, and you get this kind of slime, which is pretty, pretty unique. Uh, I guess I gotta go in now. I'll see you guys in a bit. Whoa, no way! No! Whoa! No! No! It's taking me under! There's a bubble! Look, there's a bubble right here! There's a slime bubble right here. This feels so weird. It's like thick and heavy, but slimy at the same time. Look at that. Look at my head! Whoa! 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 This is so cool.
cool, look at it. Whoa! Whoa! It's just like a wall of like super slow. Whoa! Look at this. Wow! Oh, it kind of feels like an octopus ink, except it's giving birth at the same time. It's, it's this weird feeling. It's really fun to play with, but it's like extremely weird as well. This is so cool. Wow, I don't know what to say about this. Wow. I wonder what's underneath here. So here we go. Diving in. Three, two, one. <gasps> Oh, that was kind of cool. I'm gonna do it again. <gasps> Believe it or not, I feel like this is one of the cleaner slimes, even though slime's really messy. This thing kind of cleans off really easily. Usually when I put slime in my hair, it sticks to my hair. In this case, kind of slides right off. See? I don't even know if this is good for my skin, but this feels great. This feels amazing. Wow, look at this jiggle. Ooh, ooh. All right guys, so this is called the Gooey Black Slime Cannonball. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Whoa! That was the most goopy cannonball ever. Did it fall down? Anything spill out? Nothing spilled. What? Let me do that again. That was so cool. Three, two, one. What? That is so weird. What? It doesn't want to get out of the bathtub. Yeah, it really doesn't. This is weird. It kind of like pulls itself back slowly. I'm just so shook right now. Just how clean this is. All right, here we go. This is the diving slime. Michael Phelps, this goes out to you. Here we go. <gasps> the back breast stroke. This is so crazy. Just doing that by itself is just so crazy. Like this wall of slime is just insane. What? Let me see if I can make a slime ball. Here we go. Slime ball. <sighs> this is the most I could do. This is crazy. Here we go. Slime ball. That is crazy. Don't mess with the Batman. Don't mess with the Batman. Oh, hi. Welcome to Guava Juice. Bro, I'm just so, I, I keep saying this, but I am so amazed how gooey and goopy this is. Like. This is more like goopy slime than anything. It just kind of goops down. Look at that. This is honestly the cleanest mess I've ever done in my bathtub. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's clean, but it's not. It's really easy to clean. See, you look at, look at this, and then it's gone. This is crazy how crazy this thing works. All right, let me just uh, move around and see how this thing moves. See, look. See? Look at that, it's all goopy and crazy at the same time. Look at that. You can see the bottom of it. Check that out. That's how goopy this thing is. Wow! Isn't that crazy? Look at that! Look at that! This is the most craziest slime I've ever done in my bathtub. This is straight up fun. Um, I don't know if I suggest to do it. Even if you jump down, it doesn't even splash you. And then you get back up, and you're just clean! This is crazy! Oh. Oh. What's up? All right, well, 
anyways, thank you all for watching today's video. This slime was really cool. If you want me to do more of this kind of slime, comment down below. I'm out of breath. This thing took a lot of energy. All right, anyway, stay juicy. Gotta clean up, gotta shower. I'll see y'all next time. Bye bye, my guava juicers. What's up, my guava juicers? Today we're gonna do a dust bath. If you guys don't know what a dust bath is, it's this thing. Chinchillas use it all the time to clean themselves, to cleanse themselves of any insecurity and impurities. I wish I had a chinchilla right now. Hmm. Hold on, I'm gonna go get one real quick. Oh, well, look at this! I found the chinchilla! Wow! So if you guys don't know what a chinchilla is, it's a really, really fluffy rodent. If you haven't felt a chinchilla's fur, so extremely soft. They have the second thickest fur out of all animals, right behind the otter. The otter has the thickest fur. The only difference is chinchillas can't get wet. They can't sweat or else they'll die. That's why they take dust baths. Today, I am going to be just like this chinchilla and take a dust bath. You wanna demonstrate how to take a bath, Mr. Chintilla? Yeah? Okay, 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 here we go. So here we go. Wait. All right, so really quickly, this is what they use, chinchilla dust. And uh, you ready? Here we go. Keep an eye on this chinchilla and watch how it takes a bath. That, that's what I'm gonna do today. Here we go. You like that, right? You like that? Ooh, look at that. You like the dust? You like the dust? Look at it, it's gonna start rolling. It's gonna start rolling, hold on. Yo, that's all you? That's all you? Oh, look at that. He's about to go. Come on, take a bath. Take a bath. You're so cute. You want some more dust? I have so many dust. I bought you so many dust baths. Here we go. Go, take a bath. You got it. You got it. He's like, there's so many dust. I've never seen so many dust in my life. Take a bath. Go. It's all you. Yeah, that's right. This is like heaven for him because like, where can you find as much dust as right now? You want some more dust? Here you go. Here's some more. If chinchillas had a beach or a swimming pool, this would be their swimming pool. Straight dust. You're wondering why? What's going on? Uh oh, you're trying to get out? Just take a bath. It's safe. I promise it's really safe. You gotta take a bath. You can take a bath. Whoa! Cutest thing ever, man. Cutest thing ever. All right, so I don't think he's gonna take a bath in the bathtub, but we have a little tiny bathtub specifically for the chinchilla. So I'm just gonna get it real quick. Be right back. You stay here. chinchilla bathtub. It's kind of like a big little cave. Put a little bit of dust here. Once you put enough, all you gotta do is let the chinchilla enter the bath. You wanna go in here? You wanna go inside? You wanna go inside? Come on. Go inside. Come on. Come on. Come on, chinchilla. Not on top. I said inside. Oh no, the chinchilla's on the loose. Chinchilla's on the loose. Come on. No. Okay, now do your bath. <laughs> take a bath. No, take a bath. Take a bath. Uh, I don't think the chinchilla wants to take a bath right now, so here's a video of a couple of chinchillas on YouTube taking dust baths. All right, now that you've watched a couple of chinchillas taking a bath, let's fill this bathtub with dust and let me take a bath and see what the difference is. So here we go. Uh, you chill here, chill here for a bit. Oh, okay, all right. Here you go. So chinchillas really love to jump a lot. They are like ninjas, really. They can jump from the table down to the second floor, or they can jump from the ground to a 10-story building. They're like, look at that, like ninjas. Here you go, sit tight, sit tight. I got you, I got you. More bath, the better. Look at all this dust. Ooh, this is like a, it's kind of like a fog machine, except it's straight dust. Ooh. Here we go, we're gonna put some more dust in here. I'm gonna put this on because uh, I'm allergic to dust, so it's okay. I can do this. Here's another one. Here's another one. Here's another one! <laughs> and another one. And 
add another one. bottles of uh, chinchilla dust. Hopefully this chinchilla will take a bath. So here we go. You're free. You're free. Spin. Take a bath. You got it. You got this. You got this. Come on. You want to come up? Oh, okay. That's, that was nice. That was a cool magic trick. All right. Well, I'm going to take your spot and then I'll take a bath for you. Okay. Is that cool? Welcome to the chinchilla dust bath challenge. I'm your host, Guava Juice. So, uh, pretend I'm a chinchilla, okay? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to take a bath. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. kind of smells good. It kind of neutralizes and deodorizes funky smell. Yeah, look at the dust though. This is straight chinchilla dust. Where's the chinchilla? I took a bath and you didn't. Are you okay? You want to take a bath with me? Okay, we'll just take a bath together. Here we go. Ready? Ready? Here we go. I don't think the chinchilla wants to take a bath. to take a bath using dust is just to take a bath. You don't have to roll around like chinchilla zoo. Let's see what it does as a skin moisturizer and a soap. Here we go. Really quick, just grab a whole bunch and just pour it in your skin. Apparently, this dust comes from volcanoes. That means you're just gonna be straight fire once you're done with the bath. <laughs> yeah, that's what's good. It's lit. It's lit. What's, oh, look at that. Is a good shampoo? This is a nice shampoo, right? This is a nice shampoo, right? Ooh. 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 This is called the Dust Bath Cannonball. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh. 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 Ow. Oh. That kind of hurt. It's in my eye. The dust is in my eye. The dust is in my eye. Ow. Do you see the dust? Do you see the dust? There's like a whole bunch of. At least my eyeballs are clean, so that's a good thing, right? All right, everyone. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching today's chinchilla dust bath video. Special thanks to uh, what's the name? Uh, I am. <laughs> she, her, mama. Okay, I said chinchilla. Special thanks to uh, the chinchilla right here. Thank you for helping me. Oh, watch, watch. They don't like it when you blow on their faces. Like I think they do, but they'll see. Oh, that's nice. That's, that's a sleepy. Are you sleepy now? All right. Well, thank you all for watching today's video, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Stay juicy. Well, but you first. <laughs> okay, go. You're free. Take a bath now. Woo. Dang, that thing shattered. What's up, YouTube? Today I'm going to fill my bathtub 
with Ooblack. I know I've done this before. If you haven't seen it, you can probably click right over there. But what happened last time was I only coated the bottom part of it. It wasn't too mixturized and activated. But today I'm going to try to fill in as much as I can. As you can see here, I bought lots of cornstarch. Lots of cornstarch. If you don't know what Ooblack is, it's basically cornstarch and water. It's a solid and liquid at the same time. Let me just dump everything in the bathtub and I'll show you even clearer what it is. So, let's do this! ingredients together, your bathtub should look like this. This is pure oobleck. How is it oobleck? Well, if you punch it, it's gonna be solid, right? See? Look at that. Straight punch in it. But if you punch it gently and slowly, it will go right through. See? Just like liquid, it will just seep my hand through. You see that? It kind of looks like slime, low-key, look at that. Now my hand is completely submerged in the oobleck, look at that. Look at that, look at that, my hand's stuck! <laughs> so basically, oobleck is this. The more kinetic energy you add to it, it becomes a solid. But once you stop putting energy and motion into it, it just becomes straight liquid. It really does look like slime though, look at that. All right, let's put some energy in there. And it's solid again. Look at that. That is crazy. My question is, can I walk on Ooblek? We're about to find out. Here we go. I'm gonna take my first step, y'all. I'm gonna take my first step. Here we go. No way! Oh gosh, I gotta I just gotta keep moving. See the technique to this is you gotta keep moving if you don't wanna drown. So the floor is Ooblek, the floor is Ooblek. Oh, this is crazy. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna stand in one split. Here, I'm gonna stand now. And you can slowly see my feet sinking down into this abyss of oobleck. Oh my gosh! This is so crazy, I can jump. Let me see if I can jump all the way from up here. Three, two, one. Wow! I want to see if a sledgehammer can like completely destroy Ooblek. Three, two, one. No way! Even a sledgehammer can't penetrate it unless you set the sledgehammer down like this. And then the Ooblek will just take it over. The Ooblek is slowly taking the sledgehammer away from me. Sledgehammer versus Ooblek, the winner goes to the Ooblek. That is crazy. Okay, let me just try to get this out now. Oh, this is going. How about this? Ooblek versus giant fork. Here we go. Stab you right there. Not even the fork can withstand the Ooblek. Oh my gosh, I'm just like so amazed like how Oop like works. Like everyone's just wondering why this happens. If any scientists are out there, comment down below. Let me know the explanation of Oop like because Oop like is just straight up amazing. If you can just jump on it, not nothing happens, but then you just kind of just sink down. Just the science of this just doesn't make sense to me. It's crazy. There you go. And my feet are completely submerged underneath here. I'm not gonna lie, it's really hard to get out. It's like quicksand, you really gotta be... Uh, uh, that is crazy. Let me grab one of these giant things. See, this right here is what I'm standing on. Like straight up oobleck. And if you want it solid, just kind of crumple it around and then you can throw it like a ball. Is that crazy? And it's going back to liquid form. That is insane. Here, maybe I could scoop up a couple of oobleck chunks for you 
guys. There you go. Here's some. Here's some, y'all. Oh, uh. There's a big chunk right there. It's like going away though. Small chunk of oobleg versus giant fork. Here we go. Yeah. Solid. I guess it's the moment you guys have been waiting for. It's time to get into this oobleg. So uh, here we go. I guess I'm just gonna sit down and then just let it. I'm just gonna let it. I guess get sink me in like quicksand. This might take a while, y'all. This might take a little while. All right, guys. I've been sitting here for about 30 minutes now, and I don't think I am going to sink. This is probably the most I will sink down on here. Um, it's getting really uncomfortable, so uh, I have to get up. Ooh, we got a little bit more watery though. Like it, the consistency of the oobleck right now, it's like extremely similar to slime actually. Like you can see the slimy texture. It's just kind of cool. It's really cool actually. Uh, let's do some cinematics. Honestly, like quicksand, like you really, really gotta try your hardest to get up. All this blue like is weighing you down, just sucking you in. Wow, look at that! Look at that! That's where I sat down. All right, see, you see how this area is like a little bit watery? Can I step on it though? Let's find out. Oh, this one's more watery than usual. But it's usually like right here where I can start to sink, which is pretty awesome. Look at that. Straight up sinking. Wow. I guess let's do the Ooblet Cannonball. I guess. Might as well. Here we go. This is called the Ooblet Cannonball. Three, two, one. Nice! Gnarly, bro! But just the fact you can just start stepping on there is just so, so crazy. You gotta do a workout here if you want to. This is the Ooblet ball. I'm gonna throw it on the, the floor or the bathtub. Here we go. Dang, that thing shattered. All right, so really quick, I know some of, some of you guys, not all of you guys, were wondering, you were wondering what this thing tastes like. So I have here some Ooblet. It's just water and corn starch. So it's, it's pretty edible, so here we go. It's super dry. It honestly just tastes like cornstarch. Let's try it again. That was cool. Here, look, look, look. This is so weird. I'm gonna put it in my mouth as a solid. It'll come back as a liquid, which is weird. Here we go. This is called the Ooblick Apple, I guess. Here we go. The Ooblick Ball. Here we go. It's solid, as you can see. And in. The taste is fine, it's just so dry. Ugh. But I heard that Ooblek has some really great facial uh, cleansing properties. So let's try it really quick. This will get rid of your acne, I feel like. I wonder if it's a good shampoo. Is anything happening? Is it working? Huh, I guess not. I'm just so blown away. The, the whole solid liquid property of this thing is just straight up amazing. Straight up amazing. Maybe I can fall asleep in here. Here we go. I'll see you guys in the morning. I'm sinking. Look, I am sinking. Literally sinking. Slowly. Ah! My hand is stuck. 
Yo, my left hand is like stuck. Well, but it's so dangerous. People can die in this, I feel like. So be careful. Don't even do this at all. Anyways, um, I guess that's it. Thank you all for watching. If you want to do floor is lava with this thing, it's, I say, it's fun. Because this is some crazy stuff right here. Wow. What do you want me to put my bathtub next? Comment down below. And until then, see y'all next time. Stay juicy. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Today I'm gonna go to Lush and get every single bath bomb and put it into my bathtub. If you don't know what Lush is, it's like this, uh, this, this store that sells fragrances for your body. It's a body store, mostly bath bombs. They're known for their bath. Okay, let's just go. All right, guys. So we're here at Lush right here. I'm gonna just ask them for every single bath bomb. Smells good, yeah? So if you don't know what Lush is, they, they're really popular for their bath bombs. As you can see, there's a whole bunch, a whole bunch, a whole bunch. Look at this one. This is a freaking flamingo, man. They have the cute heart one. It's nice. This one's perfect for me because it says dad, because I'm Oogie's dad. This one's also for me. It says mom. <laughs> As you can see, there's a whole bunch of bath bombs, and I'm gonna ask someone if I could buy all of them. Excuse me? Yeah. Um, what's the best bath bomb here? Um, the best bath bomb would be Intergalactic. Intergalactic? Yeah, that one is a really cool one right here. It's like a space, a little space. Ooh. Like inside your tub, it has like super cool colors. Oh. And the water turns this color. Oh, it turns that color. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah, so the transcess call right here. Has anyone ever bought like one of these bombs? And they tried, but I don't think they have accomplished all of So if you're a boyfriend, then can I buy everything. every single bomb here? Definitely. You can buy two of each. I mean, if you want to talk to the bomb, you can totally do that all right, too. Alright, cool. You're, you're the bomb. Hey! So everything ended up costing like 450 bucks, which is not bad. Um, Lush, if you're watching this, sponsor me. But dude, the employees at Lush, perfect service. They are just so friendly and so kind. Thumbs up for that. So let's go. Let's go to my bathtub now. Let's go. All right, everybody. I am here with all their bath bombs, every single one of them, and some more. So let's just head to the bathtub and uh, let's see what happens. Let's go. All right, so here we are. We have a whole bunch of variations of bath bombs, as you can see. The lady from the store told me to put oils in my body first before pouring all these in. She said my skin color would change. So let's see if it's true or not. So let's start off by pouring their most popular bath bomb, the Galaxy Bath Bomb. And... Whoa! No way! Whoa! Look, it has some colors right there. All right, let's, let's start pouring some more. Here's uh, another one. And here's another one. Oh my gosh, so many colors coming out right now. Wait, I think this is a soap. <laughs> Alright, as you can see, the Galaxy Bath Bomb has created a really cool color, hipster, artsy color. Look at that, that is awesome. Whoa! No, that, that is so cool, dude. Lush killing the game with these bath bombs, because this is some really awesome stuff. Let's try this flamingo next. Here we go, Mr. Flamingo. Here we go. Next up, we have the heart-shaped bath bomb. It has little pretty flowers in it. So here we go. <laughs> and then here's another one. Dang, look at that. Whoa, what is that? Is that seaweed? What is this? I don't know what that is, but it has little cool things just wrinkling around here. That's, I think that's seaweed. That's pretty dope. All right, next up, we have the sunflower bath bomb. Here we go. Let's go. Whoa, look at it. They like expanded a lot. That is so cool. Wow. All right, this one is like a lava lamp. So here we go. Let's try this one. Whoa. Oh, but this is so cool. Like the color of my bathtub right now is pure happiness. Awesome. Next up, we have this uh, six-sided bath bomb. Here we go. Here we go. 
so many colors. These colors are so great. This is so colorful. I'm so happy right now. Just, ooh. This is my personal favorite. Bath bomb. Oh my gosh. This is the orange and yellow bath bomb. Ooh. Man, oh, I was oh, so many colors. Here's the cutesy flower daisy hat. Ah, bath bomb. Wow. So many colors right now. I am, I am, this is really awesome. This is the dad bath bomb. Let's check it out. Whoa. I think out of the bath bombs that I put down, the flower one was the coolest because it expanded pretty, pretty well. All right, so let's do everything. All right, let's see what happens. It's fizzing. Last time I put a whole bunch of bath bombs in my, my bathtub, the whole room overflowed. But I had 100 of them. No! No! Keep going, keep going. Oh God! But this is not bad. This is actually pretty relaxing. It looks like a lemon. This is the lemon bath bomb. Oh my gosh. Wow, now we're just filming me taking a regular bath. This is awesome. This is my first regular proper bath. This is so great. This is so relaxing, man. Like, I've never been so calm in a video before. Just because this feels so great. Like, I'm usually jumping up and down like, ah! These bath bombs are just really calming me down right now. Oh. Uh... All right, guys, so I think the lady was right about me changing colors of my skin. Cause check out my left hand right now. I'm gonna lift it up. No way. Okay, okay, really? Hold on. Okay, it's not that bad. I, th I, th I thought my whole skin would change colors. Okay, one second. Now let me see if my face will change colors. <gasps> Do I look different? No, okay. Oh, my eyes. This is the most beautifulest bathtub video I've ever done. Just cause it smells good, it looks good. It's very, very vivid and saturated and filled with color. Like, smell this. This smells like straight up good strawberries. It's not the bad strawberries you find at Walmart. It's like the good one. Oh my God. Lush, she killing the game. This giraffe is still alive. This giraffe is just chilling. This is my boy, Jeffrey the giraffe. What's up, Jeffrey? What up, dog? See, he's feeling good. I'm feeling good. This soap's feeling good. Oh, this is so good. See, the flamingo. If you're wondering what the bathtub water is colored, it's colored green. But you don't want to look at it on the inside. You just want to look at it at the outside because it's beautiful. Everyone's beautiful on the outside and ugly on the inside. <laughs> Alright guys, so uh, I think I got my rest, so it's time to be extremely excited. So here we go. This is me. I'm a mermaid. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm a mermaid. I'm a beautiful rainbow mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so gross now. It's like green. What happened to the beautifulness of it? It's gone. Gone forever. You want to know what a lush whale looks like? That's right. A lush whale. One sec. What a lush wheel. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. It kind of looks like grinded up spinach now. Like all the colors mixed together does not make it look beautiful at all. It looks like a green smoothie, like with spinach and avocados and whatever. All right, well, you know what this calls for. This is called the Lush Cannonball. In three, two, one. I am like so disappointed this thing is ugly now at least in between and underneath all the ugliness comes out Beautiness look at that Look at that. We still have some beauty in the bottom of this ugliness. Look at that. That's not bad See, We got all that so 
Oh, we still got the Jeffrey the Giraffe. This one's a strong one. I feel like he hasn't even dissolved yet. All right, well, anyways, I'm just gonna take another, uh, probably like an hour of just like sitting down, doing nothing in this bathtub. If you want me to do some more bath bomb videos, let's get this video to 70,000 likes, and then uh, I'll see you guys next time. Stay juicy, everybody. Stay juicy. Stay juicy. Roy, where are you? Ah. Ah. What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be filling my bathtub with fidget spinners. 1,283 fidget spinners. <laughs> So these fidget spinners are not ordinary fidget spinners. They are guava juice fidget spinners. Of course, they light up like that, and then you can spin it, and then they make this cool little effect. Look at that. Can you see that? Ooh! Due to popular demand, I filled my bathtub with fidget spinners. The trend is kind of like, you know, kind of this flying away right now, but it's still pretty cool because I have a whole bunch of guava juice fidget spinners. Look at this! Look at that! Wow! Look at all these fidget spinners. Wow. So, really quick, if you want one of these fidget spinners, go to guavajuicebox.com if you want one. And yes, you are going to be getting one of these fidget spinners that I took a bath in, which is pretty amazing. So, if you get one, you can be like, hey, you see this fidget spinner right here? This fidget spinner, specifically, guava juice took a bath in this. And then you can pull up the video. I was like, ah, that's my fidget spinner right there. That one. I also have my own um, action figure. This is the Roy Glowy and Gooey action figure. GuavaJuiceBox.com. Hey! There you go, Roy. Just chill right there real quick. I have never seen so many fidget spinners in the bathtub. Um, I am just going to just dive right into it. And I'm just going to have some fun. Here we go. Ugh. Oh. Oh, okay, this is kind of uncomfortable, but it's fun. <laughs> oh my goodness. Check that out. I'm spinning two fidget spinners at the same time. Hey, Roy, are you okay? Yes. These fidget spinners are not overwhelming you right now. No. You don't need saving or anything? No, you're good? Are you good? Help me. Help. Okay, I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming for you. Dude, honestly, this is very uncomfortable. This is a cool idea, having a bathtub full of fidget spinners, but it's very, very uncomfortable. <laughs> Make sure you get your guava juice fidget spinner, because this is pretty hot. Ooh. I'm just gonna bathe in these fidget spinners for a bit. Hold on. Ooh. Ooh. All right, good night, y'all. Fidget spinners. If you have not seen it, please watch her. I'll leave the link in the description below. But if you don't know how it goes, it goes like this. I love fidget spinners from my head to my toes. I even love them spinning right here on my nose. Got one on my left, another on my right. I'll be out here spinning from the morning to the night. Hold up for a minute and just watch me as I spin it. If you want a smoothie, then just holla and I'll blend it. Pay some greens, colored beans, butter, lettuce, spinach. Cup about a hundred of the fidgets that keep spinning. Custom fidget spinner, so you know that no one's got them. I toss one in the air and just catch it from the bottom. Got these fidget spinners and they spin it all around. If I pick one up, then you know it's going down. Hey! Today we're going to do Find My Roy Challenge. What happens? is I put this Roy action figure underneath there and the only way I can get them is with my mouth. So let's count down in three, two, one, go. Ah. Roy, where are you? Ah. 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 I got him! I got him! Yes! Whoever gets those fidget spinners down here, um, there's a little bit of my my sweat, so I'm sorry. A little piece of me will be in those fidget spinners, so get them while it's the last. <laughs> all right, guys, I don't want to do a full cannonball because I will just break all these, so I'm going to do a mini cannonball. So here we go. This is the guava juice fidget spinner cannonball. And three, four, eight, and go. I love fidget spinners! I love fidget spinners! 
Thank you everyone for watching today's video. It was great um, bathing myself in fidget spinners. I have way too many and you guys deserve some. So get yours. Let me know if you get one. Tag me on Twitter, Instagram. I'll make sure to like it, comment it, and yeah, shout out to Billy. I'll see y'all next time. Stay juicy. Suck YouTube, so my buddies at Bat19 hooked me up with some mad matter. Lots and lots of mad matter. So today, I'm going to fill my bathtub with mad matter. Shout out to Bat19, check them out. I'll put a link in the description below. And if you want to purchase some of these mad matters, I'll also put that in the description below. You can find it at the Bat19 store. It's so crazy. It's kind of like a mix of like sand and Play-Doh. Look at that. That is so cool. What? Look at that. I'm going to try to stretch it. And you can see the sand. Sand, just like dissolve and reshape and form and if you hold it in your hand like this It'll slowly fall down as gravity tries to capture it. You see it falling down. There it is But then if you squeeze it and dense it up, you can roll it into a ball really quick I'm gonna grab a giant chunk and I'm gonna show you how cool and crazy this thing is. Oh my gosh Isn't that cool? Oh, you see it? It looks so awesome. Wow. Whoa, look at that! You can stretch it. Forget fidget spinners. Mad matters where it's at right now. This is so addicting to this. There's nothing else to do except fill my bathtub with this, so let's do this. All right, so here we go. Here's box number one. Look at this. It's like a block, but it's not a block because you can tear it up, pull it. It's so, oh my gosh, that's addicting to watch. All right, hold on. Here we go. Box number one. Check this out. It's like hard as concrete. <laughs> but then if you just pull it gently, it pulls right out. This is so cool! Why is this so cool? Look at that! Here we go, his box number two. Oh my... Whoa! Look at this one! There's so much mad matter! Oh my gosh! It looks like a green giant Kit Kat. Oh wow, look at... That is so awesome. Whoa! Uh, I'm gonna turn this apart! Yeah, whoa! Yo! <laughs> This is the weirdest thing ever. Here's another one. Oh my god. This is one of the funnest bath videos I've done because this thing is just so fun to play with, man. Cut it right in the middle. Whoa. Box number four. Nah. I can wear it like a hat. How's my hat? Is it cool? Oh, my hair is all mattery. Man, this is mad, man. What's the matter? This is mad. Here we go. Here's box number five. Oh. Oh, this just feels so smooth. I just want to, I just want to, ooh, look at that. Whoa, gravity. <laughs> Box number six. Oh, I'm going to put this on my foot. Yeah, put some right here too. Nice. Sweet. Box number seven. Oh. There you go. Let's, let's see this. And, ooh, wow, look at it crumble. Let it, wow. Wow. All right, here we go. Last box. Here we go. Ugh. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, I'm just gonna let it like hug me. Uh, sweet. I'm just gonna let it settle. There you go. Ooh. If you want some mad matter, let me know in the comments down below. Or let Vat19 know. Go to their site and just get it. This is so awesome. Definitely worth it for sure. All right, uh, let me just fix it up a little bit. Let me just crumble it. All right, give me one sec. Okay, so after having all this mad matter settle through, it looks like this. This is cool, but it's, it's really heavy on the body. But at the same time, it's really peaceful. Like, I could sleep here if I wanted to. Too, but check this out like the best thing about this is you can play with it while you're bathing in it Is that cool here? I can I can shape it So let's pretend there's a shark in the bathtub, okay? So let's make some shark fins with all this mad matter. There you go. There's a shark in the water. See? Wow, see there's a shark here. There's a dolphin. You can be whatever you want, okay? I can make a sand castle right here in my belly if I wanted to. Let me just make a sand castle really quick I made a little snowman with this mad matter. I guess Shrek's house since everything's green like guava juice <laughs> Let's give this video a big thumbs up for Mad Matter because this is so awesome. Wow. It's so heavy though. I can't move. I can take it with me. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh no, a snowman. The snowman fell and died. No. There you go. His name is Mad Matter Snowman. That's awesome, dude. The thing about the snowman is you can disassemble it quickly. See? Check that out. It's disassembling. But at the same time, you can assemble it just as fast. See? <laughs> This is awesome. I'll put the snowman right here. All right, never mind. <laughs>
okay you see this pull it from this angle it makes a really cool like texture but then again you can just crumble it like this I'll be back to its solid state but then if you pull it apart like this very satisfying wow I made a mad matter cap oh wait it's falling here we go I'm gonna use all my force this is pretty heavy in my end come on come on let me push this away wow mad matter uh, what's the matter, man? <laughs> I've been under that for like a while. It's not even that messy at all, man. Check that out. Let's just call it the Mad Matter Cannonball. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. It is so dense. Look, it's like quicksand. I'm like slowly sinking in. You can see my feet sinking slowly. Wow, that is so cool. What? So I have a flat piece of mad matter. So let's see if my face will be imprinted if I put my face in here. Here we go. Oh, kind of. You can see the nose. It feels so good. That feels like a blanket. Why does this feel like a blanket? Wow. Oh man. Wow, yo, beauty gurus, if you're watching in this, just try some mad matter in your face. It kind of feels good. It's a good foundation. This is so cool. What the I'm doing a handstand! Oh, oh, help, help! That was scary! Oh my gosh, check that out. This is my head print. That is awesome. I can't stop playing with this. This is so fun! This is called the Mad Matter Backflip. Here we go. I can't do a backflip. I don't want to hurt myself. Alright, here we go. I'm just gonna jump on it. Let's see how far of a deep divot I can make. Wow, this is very dense. This is like sand play-doh, except it's not, it's mad matter. Look at that. So really quick, I just want you guys to see this because it looks visually appealing and it just feels good in my fingertips here. Look at all that mad matter doing its thing. Oh man, look at the ripples and all the things just conjuring out of it. And then once you push it, it's gonna be smooth, see? Smooth again. This is awesome. I love this so much. All right, so how well does this work as a ball? So here we go. I'm gonna throw this in the wall right there It's still a ball It's still a ball. Okay, what if I throw it like midway not hardened here we go It crumbled <laughs> What's up? Whoa, whoa. All right, anyways, thank you all for watching. Let's get this video to 100,000 likes for uh, Mad, oh man, look at that, Mad Matter. Special thanks to Vat19 for supplying me with all this. This is amazing, this is so much. If you ever have a chance in your life, take a bath in some Mad Matter, cause it's just fun. Probably gonna leave this here for like a month. Thank you all, and I'll see you guys next time. Stay juicy. Why is the water turning brown? Ah! <laughs> Wait, did you, did you pee? Some YouTube, today I'm gonna fill my bathtub with crocodiles. Let's do this. Uh. There you go. I got some crocs in my bath. Hey! <laughs> I have my buddy Jay here with me from Prehistoric Pets TV. And we got a caiman. Yeah! <laughs> and the other name is Snaggletooth. Now the reason why he's called Snaggletooth is because he's Teeth snag on things when they swim by. Oh, but he's really not oh mind. He's hanging out with the Crocs today. I got my Crocs and we have Mr. Snaggletooth. I mean, I'm totally fine with it because his mouth is uh, taped up. Look at his eyeballs though. He's staring at me. Wait, I have never touched anything crocodile looking before. He actually loves people. Oh, look at that. Whoa. All right, guys, I'm here with Snaggletooth and Crocs? <laughs> Why are you staring at me like that? <laughs> now he comes from South America, but look what I got here! We got a North American alligator! He comes from Florida and down south! Oh, 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 oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! It's underneath me! Okay, I, I think he's trying to swim, but he can't swim. That's TikTok, and he can swim wonderfully. Oh my gosh! He ready to get you. I'm holding an alligator, everybody! Look at that! If you've never seen an alligator close up before, here, look at it, check that out. Ooh! Oh, okay, okay, bye, bye, bye. All right, Jay, can you, wanna, can you tell me why he's going crazy right now? Well, he's not going crazy, but he's in a nice big pool, the water's the right temperature, 
He's never been in them with crocodiles before. I mean, crocs are kind of scary. <laughs> this is an American alligator. And this one's from South America. That's from said? South America, and that's wow. a dwarf caiman. They get about eight feet long. I know that doesn't sound very dwarf, but they, they're kind of short, stout, and uh, they're really cool. I mean, they wow. look like a dinosaur. I know. The eyeballs are just so mesmerizing. Look at that. Now look at my eyeballs. Whose is better? Comment down below. <laughs> this one's like... See? His tooth just hung on your shirt. It did. It's so short. <laughs> oh my gosh. Honestly, these are exceptional ones. They're really both very tame, but they really are an invasive species. So these would never be ever be let loose in California. You can't even own them without a permit. Can you imagine this guy at 1,500 pounds? I can't imagine. That, oh. That's scary. He got his name TikTok for a reason. Can I kiss? Can I kiss? <laughs> oh my gosh, I kissed him! I've never kissed the caiman before! This is the crocodile kissing challenge. <laughs> I did it! Oh my god! This is amazing! I've never kissed a crocodile before. Alligators don't like crocodiles, right? There's a four, they kind of almost overlap. They don't have a problem with each other at all. Wow. Matter of fact, there's there's snapping turtles that live amongst them. After we pull this guy out, maybe we'll bring something else in just for a kicker, like a surprise. Why is the water turning brown? Ah! Wait, did you, did you pee? Did you pee? Did you pee? Oh, it's warm with my pee pee. You peed on me. Oh. I don't oh, think wait. that's pee. Oh, wait, is it poop? outside there. No, they were been waiting all day to relax in the tub and do their thing. They thought it was a swimming pool. You guys want to swim with the crocs? <laughs> yeah, swim with the crocs. Yeah, you like that? Woo! Oh, oh. Comment down below. Would you swim with crocodiles, alligators, or caimans? Comment down below. When the bathtub challenge goes wrong. All right, to be serious, guys, um, TikTok actually pooped. You can see all these brown speckles. That is poop. That is not dirt. That is not my foot. Hey, don't be blaming my foot. <laughs> Come on, man. Come clean. I know. Come on. I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting you know. my poor animals on his, his no. nervousness. It's real poop, okay? We're not kidding, okay? I don't mind. I'll swim in poop for, for TikTok. All right. Job of the Hut here's agent said he can't go on that water. But you can hold him. <laughs> He's a big rubber frog. Oh, it's so slimy. Is, oh. He comes from Africa, if you can believe this. He can spend two years underground. Two years? Two years underground. Just chilling underground. And that's why he eats so much. He believes no child should go to bed without a full stomach. I don't know why he thinks that, but look how fat he is. Whoa. And by the way, you can see by his legs, he's not very good at jumping. <laughs> oh, that's squishy. He went to school in California. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! So he can jump. I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Today, Oogie and I will try to escape 
the bathroom. As you can see, this bathroom has a whole bunch of random objects and some of these, or maybe all of it, will be clues for us to get out of here. So, I have my, my camera here for my point of view and Raymond's right here to film uh, just his point of view of me struggling. And uh, Ugi's here as well, say what's up. Anyways, we have 60 minutes to escape and uh, 60 minutes starts now. Alright, here we go. So, first things first, you want to try to explore what you have. So, we have here a sledgehammer, burner, thingy, fire, let's be mermaids, we have soap. Oh, uh, here, we have a fidget spinner. We have a box. Usually with these things, there's usually a really important hint in here. I'm going to leave all this important stuff here. We have a backpack. This backpack has two locks in it. This lock has letters. This one has, uh, this is a key, key lock. So, one key lock. How do you feel? You think we'll escape? <sighs> let's keep exploring. We have... This thing, this is a water hose. Uh, anything. Oh, what the world? Why is it green? Why is this toilet green? No way. Uh, let's see, we have this. Anything inside. Why are there mo chicken McNuggets? The thing is, not all of these hints will lead to the goal. Some of them are just red herrings, meaning they'll just throw you off. So, I'm pretty sure that's a throw off. And there's a flamingo. There's a guy right there. Hey, can you help me out? Bro, can you help me? He's not willing to cooperate. You don't want to get out of here. I'm coming for you. First hint, first hint, first hint. Whoa, what is this? Okay, it's a recorder, it's a recorder, it's a recorder. Here we go. Let's use this. Maybe this is the first hint. How do you work this thing? All right, here we go. See, see, see? This thing doesn't have batteries. We need to find the batteries. So how are we going to find the batteries? We got to look for the batteries. Have you seen the batteries? Batteries, batteries, batteries. Oh, what, what is this? No, nothing. Batteries. So we found this thing right here. It had this Let's Be Mermaids and gloves. Maybe they all correlate. Let's Be Mermaids. Mermaids! Mermaids! Water! The batteries are in the toilet, but it's green and gross. Maybe that's why we have gloves. <sighs> that's gross. I don't think it's in here. Maybe it's right here. What is this? Why? Oh! Oh, look! Oh, look! We found the batteries! We found the batteries! Oh my gosh. I shouldn't have stuck my hand in there because we didn't really have to do it. Go. You feel okay? You think we'll escape? Let's do this. There you go. It's on. And uh, I guess we just play, right? Most people like to pass their time playing games while they poo. I like to pass my time making games while they poo. He's the master, he made this for me, and the key is to play. Oh! Oh! Remember when this thing, I told you this thing was a letter lock? Maybe the key is play. P L A Y. Is it gonna open? <gasps> it opened! It opened! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, okay. What is inside this bag? It's a walkie-talkie. It's a walkie-talkie. Does it have batteries? Does it turn on? Oh gosh. Hello? Nero, 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 Nero. Hello? Is this McDonald's? Can I order a pizza? Zero. 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 What? Zero. 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 Do we have number locks? Zero. 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 You know who's zero right now? This dog? This is not doing anything. You're doing zero work. Zero. 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 Can you say that again? Zero. Zero. You know what to do? You're just filming. Alright, alright, I'm by myself here, so zero. Oh, this one, hey look, it looks like a zero, right? Am I right? So zero, zero. This will open the toilet, it'll go into a random path behind the door. We need codes. We don't have codes, all we have is this key. This is the only thing we have is this like little keychain thing. You gotta help me out. Give me a kiss. Yeah, give me a kiss if you think we'll make it. Give me a kiss. Oh! Okay, we'll make it. Here we go. Oh, 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 look, 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 look. Fidget spinner. Zero, 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 zero. I'm sweating. Oh my gosh, I think we're gonna die because of like de dehydration, that's why. So, zero, 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 zero. You think I'm just overthinking this? Has this been here the whole time? What is this? Oh! I get it! I get it! Oh my gosh, okay. Alright, we gotta put zeros, I guess. That's what the guy said. Hey, uh, what's, what's the code again? Thank you. <laughs> okay, here you go. Uh, zero. <laughs> that, let's get that. Nice. 
We have another fidget spinner. Oogie, you want the fidget spinner? I think he's scared. Oogie doesn't like fidget spinners. <laughs> I'm sweating, look at my hand. Okay, so we have some keys. Oh, duh, right here. Duh, oh, I get it. Fidget spinner connects to the other fidget spinner. I can do this while sitting down because I'm getting tired. I'm getting tired, bud. So this one opens up this. Nice, I knew it. And now, oh, okay. We have more fidget spinners. This paper says eat. Eat what? No, that's not what it means. No, I'm pretty sure I have to eat these fidget spinners. Right, Mr. Flamingo? Dead Flamingo? Hey! Help me out! What? Oh my gosh, that guy, that guy never helps me out, man. He's always there grilling. I'm over here struggling. What's up, man? Do you have any words of advice for the camera? How to escape this bathroom? All right, cool, cool, cool. That's cool. I am sweating, losing some weight here. Okay, maybe I am supposed to eat this? Right? But there's nothing to eat. There's nothing to eat here though, that's that's the thing. Uh, am I supposed to eat ketchup? Uh, uh no. Anything happened? Any doors opened? Alright, maybe I am supposed to eat the fidget spinner, so let's let's go. Here we go. Anything happening? No? Okay, let's do another one. Here we go, here we go. Ow. How about now? Here we go. Whoa! What? Wait, oh, I get it! I get it! It says eat, since it's like colored black. I was supposed to eat the black fidget spinner. Oh, that's smart! Smart! Whoever designed this is so smart. Okay, going back up. This key, there's one key. Whew. All right, how much time is left? 30 minutes. 30 more minutes, okay, I've been, I've been wasting time here. Okay. Okay, you've been wasting time, man! Keys, keys, what else had keys? What? What else? What else had keys? Duh, this master lock had keys. Okay, all right, here we go. Let's open there. Easy, easy. In here, what's in here? Okay, all right, nice. It came with this picture right here. Best be, be friends. Oh, best friends. Oh, they kind of smudged out. Who's my best friend? Oogie is my best friend. There's nothing in the back. Cause there's usually something behind like, you know, like murder mysteries, like the murderers usually leave something behind picture frames. So, oh, see, Oogie, Oogie is my best friend. It's a, uh, I'm pretty sure that's Oogie. Is that you, Oogie? All right, so what does it mean? Oogie, what does it mean? Back, let me see your back. You have any clues? Have you been hiding some clues, Oogie? I don't know if he's been hiding clues. Collar, oh, what the heck? Look at mirror. What the? Did you notice there was a thing in the mirror the whole time? <laughs> what? Okay, what does it say? Door is unlocked the whole whole time. Why are you still here? No way. No way. Oogie, did you know about this? Oh, he tried telling me this whole entire time because he had the message on him? No way. <laughs> oh my goodness. It feels so good out here. You, I'm about to get you. Anyways, thank you all for watching today's Escape the Bathroom video. Special thanks to Oogie for helping me escape. Follow him on Instagram at Oogie Monster. You can find him. He's a really cool dog, right Oogie? If you want more escape room videos, comment down below and let me know what you want me to escape from next. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Stay juicy. What's up, YouTube? Today we're going to do the Monster Egg Bath Challenge. Why is it called Monster Egg Bath? Because it turns into so many colors. Let me show you. But before I do, let me talk about something real quick. Oh, that feels good. Oh. I just want to announce that I will be featured in a game called Monster Legends. So you guys are really familiar with my logo, right? Imagine that as a monster form called Guava Juice. You don't believe me? Check out this game footage. It's so sick. Look at that. Basically, I'm an egg and then I have three evolutions. And also my special attack involves me jumping and cannonballing into a bathtub full of slime and defeating all my enemies. <laughs> and basically Monster Legends is the craziest monster world you'll ever find, filled with all kinds of creatures that you have to collect and evolve for fights. In this case, you can evolve Guava Juice and you can use him to defeat every single enemy. So yeah, make sure you download the game. I'll put a link in the description below. And also vote for your favorite new look on my Guava Juice Monster. You can find that through an access link through the game. And the poll results will be announced in one week. So let's do this Monster Egg Bath Challenge. All right, so we have our first Monster Egg Bath Bomb right here. Allow me to demonstrate what I mean by it changes and makes a lot of colors. So I'm gonna drop it, watch this real quick. 
dropping it. Look at that. You see green, you see pink, you see yellow. It's gonna make these beautiful array of colors. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is beautiful. Kinda looks like crayons. Look at that, that's so pretty! Oh my gosh! All right, I'm gonna drop two more. Let's make this bathtub as colorful as possible. Here we go, one. Two. Yeah! Look at that! Look at this edge right here! Alright, here's another two. Wow! <laughs> oh my gosh, it kind of looks like bathtub full of like blue food coloring. Whoa! What's good? This is so sick. Yo, it kind of looks like an oil spill, but it's not. But it's like the most beautiful oil spill you have you would ever see in your life. Look at this! Alright, let's put another monster egg in here. Here we go. And boop! I don't know why it's so beautiful. It's very lovely. I love it. Let's just pour the rest of it in. Ready? Let's just hope this bathtub does not overflow, okay? Because, you know, uh, bathtubs overflow. Make sure the cords are out. Oh, jeez. All right, here we go. Please do not overflow. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here we go. It's rising. It's bubbling. Oh, it's just, there's a lot of fizzing going on underneath here. I don't know if you can see it. You definitely can't see it, but there's a lot of fizzing. Oh, it's making my body. My bottom hair, tied away with I think it takes a hundred of these bath bombs for it to overflow. So luckily, I, I, I thought about it. I was like, do I want my bathtub to overflow in this video? I was like, nah, not yet, not yet, not this video. Look how colorful I am, bro. Big thumbs up for the most colorful bathtub I have ever been in. This is amazing. <laughs> what's underneath here so here we go <gasps> I can't see that was actually the most refreshing thing I have done all month and this is called the uh, monster egg bath liquid challenge <laughs> Bro, seriously, if you ever have a chance in your life, just put a whole bunch of bath bombs into your bathtub, lay down here for like an hour, and your life will be a lot better. Seriously. If you're wondering how I contain all my energy sometimes, I take baths, because baths lessen and less stresses you. If that makes sense, it doesn't matter. I'm bathing now. Ah! <laughs> This is good. I just want to give a big shout out to everybody watching right now. I know you're just watching a man just taking a bath, but it's not an ordinary bath. It's a friendship bath because, you know, we're connecting right now. Just like the game, this is my special attack called the Cannonball. In this case, this is called the Monster Egg Bath Cannonball. Here we go. Whoa! Oh my goodness, I am so sorry. Oh man, this is definitely going to leak downstairs, so uh, let me clean it real quick. If you're wondering how I clean my messes during these bath videos, I use this thing. There you go. Anything liquid, I use this thing. Everything will be okay. Yeah! And that, everybody, is how I clean my bathtubs. Bro, this feels so good, bro. Bro, you should go in the bathroom. Bro, this is all so good. I'm talking to you. Comment down below. Let's get this video 100,000 likes. Oh, come, come over here. Come over here. See, if you look closely, you can see a little bit of sparkles. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but you can see it's sparkling just a little bit. You can see the glitter. Beautiful. <laughs> Alright, everyone, that is the end of the video. Big shout out to Masha Legends for putting me in the game. Once again, don't forget to download the game. I'll leave a link in the description below. And be sure to vote for your favorite new look for my monster with an access link through the game. Poll results will be announced in one week. You can change my monster's look to be a cowboy, Frankenstein, vampire, DJ Guava. And when they told me I was going to be in the game and they showed me my character, I was like, yo, that is amazing. It was awesome. I played the game and I was so eager to evolve Guava Juice because I just wanted to use the Jello Bath Challenge move which is the Tidal Wave movie you saw. It was amazing, it was great, I love it so much. So download the game, let me know what you guys think. I think it's hilarious and awesome at the same time. Hope you enjoyed watching today's video, and uh, if you want more bad challenges, let's get this video to 100,000 likes and I'll do a lot more. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Stay juicy. Oh, how do I look now? <laughs>
What's up, YouTube? Today, I'm gonna fill my bathtub with glitter. Lots and lots of glitter. Let's do this. <gasps> Alright, guys, so, uh, first things first. Safety first, I don't want any of this glitter thing to get into my eyeball. Here we go, let's start with the first glitter, which is the orange glitter, as you can see. Look, very nice. Here we go. <laughs> Alright, can I have some more, please? Thank you! <laughs> Alright, uh, let's, let's just... Start pouring! I poured the rest in here, so I'm just gonna dump it on myself. Welcome to the glitter bath challenge. Whoa! Whoa! Do it look fab? <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Roy, you can't drink glitter, it's bad for the environment. Well, Fortunately, this glitter is made out of seaweed, so it biodegrades over time. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, if you want to look fabulous for prom or fabulous for your first date, all you gotta do is fill your bathtub up with glitter and then just get right in here. All right, so I guess we can just get right to it and let's dive right in, guys. <gasps> Glitter is so itchy, everybody. So itchy. Wow. Oh, just make sure you don't get glitter in your eyes. I wore goggles to prevent glitter going to my eyes, but it's in my goggles, so safety first, everybody. And it's it's very annoying if you find glitter in your home It's just annoying to see it's not hard to clean, but it's like hard to clean up all of it Probably gonna be seeing like random glitter spots in this bathroom from now until forever to be honest Woo! I have my protective earplugs because last time what happened was something got in my ear Doritos <clears throat> and I went to the ER because they had to pull a Dorito out of my ear <laughs> That's not gonna happen again guys. Let's take a look at the water though. It's a uh, very glittery you guys can see there And then if I take a handful from the bottom to the top, it's filled with glitter Fabulous My eyes ah! Sometimes you can find patches of glitter around and you can use it as soap. See? How fabulous will you look if you just used all of this for soap, right? I know it's seaweed, but whatever. It's, it's still pretty good though. Oh, look at that. Woo! Mmm. Beauty gurus, what you got on this? You've never taken a bath in glitter before, have you? Ah! <laughs> Hey guys, Roy here. Today we're gonna do a makeup for your face. It's called the glitter face. All you gotta do is fill your bathtub with glitter, as you can see. And all you gotta do is take a handful and then just go like this. <coughs> Kawaii! <laughs> it's in my mouth! It's in my mouth! What's up? Check this out. How do I look now? <laughs> wow, give me a high five! Ooh, I got glitter in my mouth! <laughs> Here we go. I'm just gonna dive right in. Three, two, one. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's, it's in the camera. I got glitter in the camera. Alright, anyways, I'm just gonna end it here, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed today's glitter bath challenge. Sorry if it was kind of short, but I have bad news. If you want another bath video, let's get this video to 10 likes and uh, I guess we'll see you there. We'll see you later. Say you say everybody. <gasps> What's up YouTube? Today we're gonna see what happens when you put 100 bottles of bubble bath into a bathtub. Let's do this. So I have here my favorite, Mr. Bubble. This is my favorite when I was a kid. So let's see what happens. Here we go, let's start pouring. Oh yeah. Look at that, Mr. Bubble. Mr. Bubbles. Mm -hmm. Oh, my favorite thing about this is the smell. It just smells like childhood for me. There's two. There's three. There's four. And all you gotta do here, let's see what happens when I just Steer it all. Let's just mix it all up just a little bit. Add some extra bubbles here. Oh, black. Ooh, look, look at that. You can see some bubbles uh, foaming over there. All right, let's just keep pouring this down. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah.
Here's a smaller version of it, but it's still the same. Oh, whoa, I guess not. Look at that. Very clear rather than pink. What's the difference? Oh, this one's the extra gentle one. Oh, well. Uh, so far, we have put 20 of these bubble bath bottles, and uh, you can kind of see it. I was expecting a lot more bubbles, to be honest. Hey, check this out. The whole bathtub now is currently very pink. But I am very disappointed because I thought I was expecting more bubbles. Well, maybe if I keep going like this, I'll be more bubbles. All right, let's just keep pouring. Let's just keep pouring. I poured a total of 98. So these are the last two bottles. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> so cold. <laughs> it's so cold. Oh, it's in my eye. It's in my eye. Uh oh. That's not good. Uh oh, I should. Oh, crap. <laughs> That's my eye. Oh, I can't see. Oh, I can't see, really. Oh. I thought you were supposed to be safe. Oh, oh my eyes are. Pretty! Whoa! That is not good! I can't see it all! It says that Mr. Bubble is supposed to be safe for your eyes. For this case, since we poured 100 bottles, it's uh, it's very concentrated and <laughs> it's not supposed to go to your eyes. This is very underwhelming considering that I poured 100 bottles. I was expecting like bubbles to rise up to like this level. Okay, it's in my eye again. Oh! It's in my eye again! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. I was not expecting that to hurt that much. Wow. Last time you saw the bathtub, it was very pink. Is it more pink this time? Let's find out. Let me just scrape this thing away. Can you see my hand? Kind of. This whole bathtub is just filled with bubble bath. It's crazy. What the I think the best way to get a whole bunch of bubbles, keep shaking it. So here we go. Is that how you make bubbles nowadays? You just go like this. There you go. The bubbles are getting bigger right here. See? I used to do this a lot when I was little. I'd go like this and then put it right here like a beard. Oh, it's my eye again! It's in my eye! <laughs> oh. Alright, so yeah, be careful when you do these bubble bath things because as soon as it gets in your eye, it's gonna be very bad. So, here we go. This is, I guess we can, there's not really much we can do except play with the bubbles. Do you guys think this is a lot of bubbles or should there be more considering I put a hundred of these? Well, I can tell you this. It feels very good. It feels great. It feels amazing. So amazing that this happens. I used to do this a lot when I was little, okay? This one is called the washing machine. All you gotta do is go like this, and then... <laughs> Look at these bubbles! Look at these bubbles! It's so big, these bubbles! <laughs> That's great! This is so great! It's so slippery in this ba- It's so slippery! This bubble is huge right there. Another thing I like to do, grab a hold of these, make a hole like that, and then blow your own bubbles. Here we go. Oh. See? See? Isn't that cool? Ha ha ha! Ah! It's in my eyeballs again. Dang it. I call this one the bubble afro. Here we go. It's in my eye again! Dang it! <laughs> Why is it so painful? <laughs> oh, that feels good though. I'm so scared to dip my head underneath this bubble, whatever. I gotta do it for you guys. Bye! I'm so scared to open my eyes right now. <laughs> okay, before I end this video, I'm gonna have to do it. This is called the Bubble Bath Cannonball. Three, two, one! It's in my eye again! It's in my eye! 
All right, I'm just gonna end it with my eyes closed. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Um, if you want more uh, bath videos, let's get this video 50,000 likes. Until then, comment down below what's your favorite color. All right, until then, I'll see you guys next time. Stay juicy. Woo! Let it go. Oh, what's up, YouTube? Today I'm gonna do the extreme ice bath challenge where I fill my whole bathtub with ice. Why is it extreme, you're asking? My bathtub is gonna be frozen. I'm gonna be frozen. I can't go in dressing like this. L let me just, hold on. That's right, I gotta be Elsa for this video. Let it go, let it go. Roll some cinematics up in here. You know what I'm saying? Because Elsa is the ice queen. So I gotta rep represent Elsa. Shout out to you, Elsa girl. Let it go. All right, here we go. Ugh. By the end of this video, I will attempt to sing a whole frozen song with ice. Because I'm Elsa, what's up? <laughs> let it go, let it go. The stars are on in the mountains tonight. It's like, oh! Submerged in Antarctica. I'm gonna submerge my whole body now. I can't feel my legs. I can't feel my legs. Whoa. I honestly thought dressing like Elsa would like help this out a little bit because my mind will think like it's Elsa. It's not working like the way I planned it to work. It's freezing in there. Well, anyways, welcome to the extreme ice bath challenge. I'm your host, Elsa. Let it go! Oh, it's cold! Oh, 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 I'm legit frozen! Woo! Hold on, just give me like one second to recuperate my body. I'm not even lying here, it's freezing! Shout out to you, Olaf. What's up, my girl, Anna? You over there? Ah, I see you. <laughs> Sandwiches! Yeah, I was gonna say that too. <laughs> I should've just stayed in there because like my body's so used to the outside temperature now and getting back in there It's gonna be like twice as cold as I was in there earlier. So uh, Let's do this slow and steady. Here we go It hurts down here. It hurts down here. I'm not lying, it hurts. It's like frozen. Everything down here is probably an icicle. All right, y'all, I call this Elsa's Mighty Frozen Cannonball. Three, two, one. Oh, oh it's cold, it's cold. <laughs> it hurts again. The only way I can fix it is I gotta gallop like a horse. This is like my movement for like, all right, I think that's enough. You guys understand that this hurts a lot. Thank you everyone for watching today's extreme ice bath challenge featuring Elsa. Anyways, if you want more ice bath challenges or any bath challenges, 
Let's get this video to 100,000 likes. Uh, I guess until then, I'll see you guys next time. And don't forget, let it go. No, no, okay. What's up, YouTube? Before we start the video, I just want to say I have some new shirts available. This one's called the Secret Guaz. I know what you're saying. What does it say? All you gotta do is fold it up like this. And it says guava! Woohoo! Get it now while it still lasts. The dates are right here. May 12th to the 21st. Alright, back to the video. What? Oh my eyes! <laughs> Why did I open that? Ow! Oh. What's up, YouTube? Today I'm gonna fill my bathtub with soy sauce. Alright, let's do this. Okay, so we filled the entire bathtub with soy sauce. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be like the saltiest bath I have ever taken a bath in. Oh my gosh, here we go! <laughs> Ooh, I can feel the soy sauce just like moistening my skin. Ooh, it's, it's kind of cold a little bit. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta get the uh, endothermal temperature bioluminescence into my body. What? Ooh, it's cold! Why is it so cold? <sighs> oh, my phone! <laughs> Did I get you again? <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't even know what to feel. I don't even know what to say. Like at this point, I don't even know what I'm taking a bath in. Throw me in a bathtub and I'll just take a bath in it. Okay, so I just want to make sure that this does not get into my eyeballs because if it does get in my eyeballs, I'm gonna go blind. I don't want to go blind. Taking a bath in soy sauce is just like taking a bath in regular water. It's kind of weird. Whoa! Oh! Yes! <laughs> You salty, bro? You mad? You salty? Can I have some of your salt for my fries, bro? Oh my gosh, this feels really great. So I, I read this article, like the Dead Sea is the saltiest sea in the world, and it just makes you float. This is pretty salty, so let me see if I float. Nope, I'm too fat. <laughs> so I said I wasn't gonna dump my head because my eyes might go blind, but I'm, I'm just gonna do it anyways because it's like a tradition. So here we go. <gasps> oh my eyes! <laughs> Why did I open that? Ow! Oh! 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 My eyes! I need water! Water! Woo! I think I swallowed some. I am a whale! <laughs> It went up my nose, it was salty. It's my eyeballs. It's, uh, it's salty! So what's the number one food most eaten with soy sauce? That's right! Sushi! Look at that. There's some extra Hello Kitty soy sauce. Might as well pour this one in here too. Here we go, Miss Hello Kitty soy sauce. Ooh, ooh girl. Here we go, let's, let's, I guess let's try it out. Uh, here's the sushi. Let's dip it in the soy sauce. This is like the weirdest thing ever, man. I, that's, I, I have no no comments on this one. I'm just gonna marinate this in the soy sauce real quick. I'll eat that later. You know what I'm thinking? Cinematics. This is called the soy sauce cannonball. Here we go. <laughs> All right, let's dive right in here. Ah, oh, it's salty. What did I do? Oh, my eyes, my eyes, they hurt. Oh. All right, everyone, thank you for watching today's um soy sauce bath with sushi challenge for sure. What do you want me to put inside my bathtub next? Comment down below, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow or on the next bathtub video. Stay juicy, gang gang. What's up, YouTube? Today I'm gonna fill my bathtub with Legos. Lego. All right, so I have here a whole bunch of Legos on these boxes. So one by one, I'm just gonna pour it over my head, and then let me see what happens. First bag of Legos. Oh! <laughs> Oh, 
trying to get up. Ow! Ah! My back! <laughs> this is gonna hurt! Oh! Oh, if you've never stepped on a Lego before, it pretty much hurts, because these sharp edges kind of stab into you like a knife. Not really. Well, I had a Lego in my ear. Oh my gosh. Oh! Ow! Ow! It's so hard to move without everything hurting. Oh! Ah! Ah! challenge I've ever done because if you've never stepped on a Lego like I say it hurts a lot so ah whoo but I know what you're saying you have socks on uh, how can it hurt okay fine I'll, I'll take ow I'll take my socks off here we go ow ow ah! here we go ah, ah, ah even the sound of the Lego crunching into my foot hurts a lot alright ah ah Okay, whatever. All right, let's uh, let's start it off with a Lego cannonball. Here we go. This uh, this goes out to you, Sally, Johnny, Mike. What's your name? Comment down below. Here we go. Three, two, one. I can't do it. I can't do. It. Okay. Uh, roll cinematics first. Let's roll cinematics. The things you do for a good thumbnail, aka burying my face in here, it hurts so bad! Uh, so uh, yeah, this is how I do my thumbnails, just uh, have one shot here, and make 10 different faces. Happy, scared, angry, worried. <laughs> Honestly, that's, that's how I do all my thumbnails, just make crazy faces. Woo! My upper body is submerged inside these Legos. My lower body is just chilling like a fish. <laughs> okay, the thing is, all these Legos are hurting me right now. Okay, let me see if I can get up here. Okay, three, two, one. Ah! Every movement hurts my body. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Ah. Okay, we're good. Ow! Ow! Oh, let's flip my foot. This is called the Lego Dive. And action. Ah! 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 My foot! You don't see any scratches or anything, dude? It's not bleeding. Okay, good. We're good. We can do some more then. Welcome to the Lego Stomping Challenge, where you use your foot ah! and stomp Legos. <laughs> I want to see if I can take baby steps to walk from this side of the bathtub to that side of the bathtub. So, uh, here we go. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Ah! <laughs> oh! Okay, okay, I can't, I can't. Hold my foot. My foot okay? That's good. It's, oh! This one's called the, the Lego Cannonball, part two. Here we go. Three, two, one. Entire bathtub with Legos. It's not the most pleasant feeling in the world, but it's still pretty cool though. Okay, this is probably a really bad idea, but here we go. Let's do the Lego belly flop. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> it's not even a belly flop and it still hurts. Okay, alright, alright. I think I may need help up. Ah! Okay, belly flop. Here we go. And. Ah! <laughs> Okay, all right, that, that was too dangerous. Uh, uh. You see marks? Do you see marks in my belly? One more thing I wanted to do before I end the video. This is called the Lego Explosion. Whoa!
before I get hurt even more. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for bearing with me through this whole entire video, watching me suffer. Uh, I kind of hit my head a little bit on this this faucet thing. Ah! Hit my head. Well, if you want more um, about challenges, let's get this video to 59,000 likes. I'll do a lot more. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Stay juicy. Explosion! What's up, YouTube? Today, I'm going to fill my bathtub with... Popcorn. Let's do this! But first, we gotta make some popcorn. Here we go. If you don't know how to make popcorn, it's really easy. Just get your kernels, put it in here. Easy. And then here we have some like really thick butter. All you gotta do is just put some butter in here as well. Look at that. Oh yeah. And now, we wait. some earplugs because believe it or not I went to the emergency room the other time because I got a piece of Dorito stuck inside my ear so we gotta be careful all right so just let me take off my shoes real quick let me take out this shirt as always let's dive in and go <laughs> Did you know there are no health benefits to popcorn whatsoever? Because this is all carbs and butter. But it's so good though, oh my god! Thumbs up if you love popcorn. Like, you can't go to the movies or watch movies without popcorn. I love popcorn. Do you love popcorn? Oh my god! Uh, this is so delicious! Oh my god! Oh. Okay, so popcorn is really dense, so it's not as easy to break as compared to like Doritos, for example. So if I cannonball on it, it's not gonna do anything. Cannonball! This is called the popcorn cannonball! Three, two, one! I might need to go to the hospital again and get a butt transplant. <laughs> that just means my butt needs more, more thickness. Come on, butt! Why you gotta hurt like that? Ow! This is called the popcorn kick! Popcorn kick! Popcorn kick! <laughs> I know you guys think I'm crazy putting all these random things in, in bathtubs, but I'm not crazy. You, you really need to try it. You need to bask in your bathtub. Because bathtubs are meant to be filled with stuff. <laughs> Woo! Woo! This is called the popcorn explosion. <gasps> explosion! Let it rain! It's raining popcorn. If someone's getting married. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> popcorn salt. You want some popcorn salt? Mm. Popcorn kick! Does anybody want some popcorn wine? Because this is how you make wine instead of like grapes, you just use some popcorn! Popcorn! What's up y'all? If you want some popcorn, feel free to come over. We can watch like a whole season of like Harry Potter with this. Come over, let's watch it all. Alright guys, I'm going under. I'll see you guys in a bit. Good thing I got these earplugs because popcorn would have went inside my ear and I would have went to the ER again. Everybody wants popcorn fighting! Hoi ya! God, this popcorn was fast as lightning! Come and That's it for today's video. Thank you all for watching me enjoy my bathtub. I know, I know, I know. It's a lot of popcorn. Don't worry. We're gonna eat this. We're gonna watch a whole bunch of movies later, so. Thank you guys, if you want me to do more bath videos, let's get this video to 50, just 50 likes. That's not, okay, I'll see you guys next time. Gang, gang, stay juicy. Whoa! What's up, YouTube? Today, I'm gonna fill my bathtub with water. Let's do this. This is a rare element.
supplement. It took me a while to find it. I had to call a couple people to get dihydrogen monoxide, but I was able to obtain it. Just hop on in here, you know what I'm saying? Oh, what? This is so crazy. I've never seen so much water in a bathtub before. Wow. This is like honestly my first time taking a, a water bath challenge, so this is pretty cool. Oh, as you can see, it's like very, I guess like a liquidish feeling for my skin. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's my eye! It burns! <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't think water does that, does it? Wow, dude, this water really cleaned my Crocs. Wow, fresh! Kind of makes sense for Crocs and water, right? All right, let's, uh, let's roll some cinematics! <laughs> Challenges I've done. I'm surprised I never tried water. I don't know why. It's actually the best one out of all of them. Oh my goodness. Wow. Ah. Ah. Give me, give me like 30 minutes just to get away from life and just de stress. <laughs> let's have some fun with this water. So uh, let's just get straight to it. This is called the water cannon ball. Here we go. Three, two, one. Downstairs is leaking a lot. Let's check it out. Well, I guess I'll see you guys later. <gasps> Water is so dangerous, man. It went up my nose and then that went. Uh. Oh, that, that, that hurt. That kind of hurt there. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed today's water bath video. Um, April Fools! I knew that water is just regular water. I was like, hey, I haven't filled my bathtub with water yet. So I was like, ah, I'll just do it for April Fools. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. For sure, it's, a, it's super messy, but it'll be all right. If you want me to do another bathtub video, let's get this video to three likes. Comment down below, what do you want me to fill my bathtub with next? Okay, until then, I'll see you guys next time. Stay juicy. <gasps> mashed potato, makeup, put it there. What's up YouTube? Today I'm gonna fill my bathtub with mashed potatoes and gravy. <laughs> Let's do this. inside these mashed potato. That feels so weird. <laughs> so this is uh, mashed potatoes, you know, they make french fries with these. They also make a whole bunch of other stuff with potatoes. Oh, that is so gross. Oh, it feels so good though. It's so, oh my God. 
gosh, this legitimately feels pretty soothing, actually. Ooh, ooh, let's, let's just soothe it into my body. Ooh, mashed potatoes are a great way to exfoliate your skin. You know, if your skin is really bad, this is the best way to do it, because uh, it contains a whole bunch of minerals, vitamin B, vitamin C, potassium. I did not know you can make mashed potatoes by putting a whole bunch of powder and water together. I'm gonna put this in my face. Oh. It tastes good though. It's missing some some butter. I have here a bowl filled with butter, and uh, I'm just gonna put it inside the uh, the mashed potatoes. Actually, matter of fact, I'm just gonna put it myself. There you go. Which then kind of alleviates into the mashed potatoes, and I'm gonna get acne because this butter is in my oh my it's in my eye. Butter's in my eye. Oh, it's in my eye. Oh, oh, that's not good. Oh. Oh my gosh, my, my eyeball is going to get acne now. Thanks a lot, butter. You butter be sorry. Oh my gosh, look at this. I know what you're saying. Hell, you're wasting food. No, these mashed potatoes were actually expired. Oh, I didn't want to waste this. So I'm just like, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna put it in my bathtub. All right, well, you know um, what else this mashed potato is missing? That's right, gravy. Bring in the gravy. Here we go. This is gravy. You, you know what gravy is. It's what you put in turkey, whatever. But uh, in this case, I'm just going to pour it on myself. Wait, is it hot? Oh, uh -uh, that's hot. Ah, I won't put it inside my head because it might burn my head. So here we go. Uh, actually, I'm just going to do it. Why not? Here we go. Put some gravy in my head. Gravy in my head. I got gravy in my head. Okay, cool. We got some gravy with these mashed potatoes now. Oh my gosh, now I guess we just mix it all around. I, I don't even know. Does it taste good at least? Mm. Oh, that's pretty good. Tastes like expired mashed potatoes with gravy and butter. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm trying to get it up now. Ah. Wow, that's disgusting. Why am I doing this? All right, I'm gonna go in. I'll see you guys in a bit. really good. I got butter in my eye again. Ah! Towel! Towel! Ah! Ah! Cool. Thank you, Nurse Jansen. I appreciate it. Uh, it feels like a hot tub, except you're filled with mashed potatoes. <laughs> Here to save the day. <laughs> I'm just gonna continue to exfoliate my skin, my face. Don't forget the nose. Makeup gurus, what you got on me, man? This is the latest foundation nowadays. It's called mashed potatoes. <laughs> hey guys, this is the mashed potato makeup. Put it there. Okay, that's it. Bye guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's makeup nowadays. Oh, that's so dumb. Oh. Oh, I'm crazy, but this is fun. <laughs> Did you know you need to use milk in order to make mashed potatoes? So I have here some milk. I've always wanted to do this in my life, so I'm just gonna do it. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, that's so cold. Yeah, oh, that's cold. Oh, that's so cold. Yeah, that's good. By the way, those were expired milk, so I'm not technically wasting anything. If anything, I'm putting it into good use. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Bro. Yeah! That's how you make mashed potatoes with milk, bro. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Alright, everyone, thank you all for watching today's crazy mashed potato bath with gravy, butter, milk, whatever, etc., carrots, crayons. Thank you all for watching. If you want more on bath challenges, please comment down below. What do you want me to fill my bathtub next? Um, let's get this video to 100,000 likes. I'll do a lot more for you guys. And uh, yeah, thumbs up for uh, not wasting food because they were already expired anyway, so. That's not bad. Stay I'm gonna cry so hard right now. This is so amazing. What's up, YouTube? Today we're gonna fill my bathtub with puppies! Whoa! <laughs> Let's do this. Alright, so uh I guess bring in the puppies! Oh look at this. Ooh. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> I'm so happy puppies, I'm so happy. Steve, what you doing? What you doing? No humping, Steve! This one's Sophia. Hey, Sophia, how's it going? How you doing? Look at this one. Oh, this is so happy! Oh, this is pure happiness! I'm so happy right now. Oh, what's up? What's up, Adam? How you doing? There's so many dogs in here! I'm so happy! Come here. Oh, hey. Hey. Oh! There's nothing in the 
this world that will make you happier than a bathtub full of puppies. So if you ever have a chance in your life, fill your bathtub with a whole bunch of puppies and just chill with them. <laughs> what? What? What do you want? What? Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm just extremely happy right now because I don't know, like I love dogs a lot. That's like my favorite animal. And I'm just so overwhelmed, I wanna cry. I wanna cry so hard right now. This is so amazing. Oh my god, this one's Sophia. I don't know everyone's names by heart, but this is Sophia. This is Rue. This is Adam right here. Adam, say what's up. Say what's up. Hey, what's up, Adam? Hey, how you doing? How you guys doing over there? I'm Adam. Hi. <laughs> this is Rue. She likes kissing a lot. Like, a lot. See, look. I'll put her here, and she'll just non-stop lick me. Right? See, I told you. <laughs> This is Sophia, she likes jumping around a lot. She's like a ninja. See, look. I'm Sophia. Woo! <laughs> oh my gosh, they're all on top of me right now. Like, I can die happily now. I'm just so happy. Oh, look at this. Look at this guy. So, he's so cute. You guys are so cute. You guys know that? All these four dachshunds are covering this one little puppy here. Hey, what's up? Look at Gabby. This is Gabby. She's underneath all the dogs. Gabby, say hi. Where'd you go? Gabby, hey, what you doing underneath all the dogs? Hey, she's sleeping. How are you sleeping in this bathtub with all these dogs around you? Oh my god, see, I told you, she's a ninja. This is amazing, man. Wow. Nap time, guys? You guys want to take a nap? Okay, in the count of three, we're just going to close our eyes and take a nap, okay? One, two, three. I told you to take a nap. What are you doing? They're so cute. Let me guys show you my point of view real quick. This is what I'm seeing in front of me. It's just so cute. Why you like scratches? Look at his eyes. He's about to sleep. This guy's about to sleep. Adam, you about you gonna sleep? Are you sleeping? <laughs> oh, look at this one sleeping. This is sleeping. Oh, you just want to be the center of attention in the camera, huh? What? Whoa, what you want, Sophia? What you want? All right, guys. Uh, I have to use the bathroom real quick. So you guys are gonna be good here in the bathtub by yourselves. Okay, I'm gonna get up now. Gonna get up slowly. There's so many dogs over here. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a bit. I have to use the bathroom. Okay. Oh, hey guys. How was the bathtub? You guys missed me? It's a little bit crazy over here. Okay, here. Come, come, come to, come to me. I'm right here. I'm right here. Come on. Come on. This is madness, bruh. Oh my gosh. This is so... I just want to squeeze you so good. You guys are so cute. Give me kisses. <laughs> Say hi to the camera. Look, there's a camera. Say hi. Say hi. Look. They don't even know what's going on. They're all so confused. You guys want snacks? You guys want treats? All they want is treats. I don't have treats for you guys. I'm so sorry. What? You want a treat? Hey, girl. You want a treat? What, what was that? Uh-huh. Oh, she says she wants a treat. <laughs> all right, everyone, thank you all for watching today's uh, puppy bath video. If you want me to do more bath videos, let's get this video to 100,000 likes. I'll do more. If you want more puppy videos, let's get this video to seven likes. I'll do a lot more for you guys. Special thanks to Pups and Reps. Check them out on the link in the description below if you want some puppies or reptiles. Other than that, thank you all for watching and uh, stay juicy. Say bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> Say bye. Bye. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Today I'm gonna fill my bathtub with my favorite chips, Doritos. Let's do this! What is this? Ew! What? Whoa! So we opened this thing and there's this random black whatever this is. This is a tarantula. Oh, that is gross. Is that a frog? Oh my gosh. So as we were pouring the Doritos, this random black object came out of the bag. I don't even know what this is. What is this? Doritos, what is this? Why do you put this in your bag? I don't even know if this is like a, a frog or... Ew. 
Oh, oh, it's like oh, Doritos. Exposed, bro. Exposed. All right, let's keep pouring. Welcome to the Doritos Bath Challenge. Before I get in, I'm just gonna put these earplugs so no Doritos get into my ear and puncture my eardrum. All right, I guess we just uh, we just hop right in, right? Right? Is that how it works? Is that how it works? Okay. Now this is called the Doritos Cannonball. Here we go. <laughs> what is this? I've never seen so many Doritos in my life. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm just gonna cover myself in Doritos now, I guess. Ooh, ooh, this is so weird. Okay, let me try to get underneath all of this. Hold on. <laughs> Cheesy. <laughs> cheese, cheese. <laughs> if you ever need a blanket, this is Nacho Blanket. <laughs> I see you cheesing. <laughs> oh, this is so delicious. Hey, do you want some Doritos? Okay. Make Doritos wine. <laughs> just stomp on it like this, and then. All right, I'm diving in. I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> Doritos, if you're watching this, sponsor me because I love Doritos. I love Doritos so much. Oh my god, I love Doritos. <laughs> Help! I can't get up. This is called the Doritos Kick! Anyways, thank you all for watching today's bath video. It's a little messy like usual, but uh, if you want me to do more, let me know. What do you want me to put in my bathtub next? Till then, I'll see you guys next time. Stay juicy. Present to you the fluffy foam slime bath challenge. Woo! Oh my gosh, this is insane! Wow, crazy! All right, you know how it goes. I'm just gonna jump rough. Oh, this is cold. Oh my gosh! Ugh. Oh my god! What? It honestly looks like a Rice Krispie. It's like I'm swimming in a Rice Krispie. Oh my gosh. Dang, this thing is like so lethal. <laughs> nice. All right, let's slowly sit in. Oh, this is the weirdest feeling. Whoa, it's gonna overflow. It's gonna overflow. Oh, okay. All right, come here, come here. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my gosh! What the heck? I'm like completely submerged in this fluffy foam slime. Oh my gosh. Wow, look at this. Well, I know for a fact my clothes are done. They're ruined. But this is fun. Wow. I feel like I'm in another world in there. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me try to get up real quick. Whoa. 
Would you like some fluffy foam slime? You know what they say, it's not a slime bath if you're not fully submerged. So here we go. I'm diving in everyone. Oh, wait. Ah, help. Ah, ah, ah. What up y'all? <laughs> Slime monster! <laughs> I wouldn't suggest to do this, but it's I, I gotta tell you, it's pretty fun. One step for man, and another step for slime! Whoa. I've been watching you! I love you! I think of you! <laughs> oh my gosh, it fell down! Oh my god! I am so sorry, bathtub. All right, everybody, thank you all for watching today's slime video. I know you guys love my slime bath videos, but the only thing bad about it is the cleanup process. So uh, let's get this video to uh, 125,000 likes if you want more. Until then, we'll uh, clean up this whole place, and uh, we'll see you next time. Stay juicy. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Today, I'm going to fill my bathtub with hot chocolate. Let's do this. A bathtub filled with hot chocolate and marshmallows. What is a hot chocolate without marshmallows? If you've never tried marshmallows with your hot chocolate, try it. It's so good. All right, anyways, here we go. Uh, let's go in here. This is kind of weird. It looks like I'm just bathing in diarrhea. This is poop. I'm just kidding, it's not poop. It's just straight up. Oh, look at that. Oh, this looks like poop chunks. It's kind of gross, but I gotta keep in mind this is just hot chocolate. So, uh, yeah, let's just. Uh, oh. That was slipperier than I thought. <laughs> well, since I'm in here, already, <gasps> my phone, my phone. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is quite interesting. Marshmallow is good, though. Yeah, it is good. As always, I'm diving right in. I'll see you guys in like. Five seconds. <gasps> Yo, this hot chocolate tastes so bad. It's very unsweetened. So that's the main reason why I dumped it all here in the bathtub because no one likes unsweetened chocolate. Chocolate isn't anything if it's not sweet. <sighs> What's up? You know what else this hot chocolate bathtub needs? A little bit of whipped cream, so might as well just add some whipped cream. <laughs> oh gosh, here we go. Put it in my head, why not? Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the hot chocolate bathtub challenge! <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, there you go. Ah. Here's another one. Alrighty. I hope you like my whipped cream crown. <laughs> oh man, I love whipped cream. Whipped cream is so good. Yo, what is that? What is that? What is that? It's a giant Hershey syrup bottle! <laughs> <laughs> Down. Hot chocolate! Merely, 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 merely. Hot chocolate's really good. 
really good. This is called whipped cream art, everybody. Hi. <laughs> Smiley face. <laughs> this is called the hot chocolate cannonball. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> I'm so sorry, bathroom. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed today's hot chocolate bath challenge. What else do you want me to fill my bathtub with? Comment down below. Let's get this video to 61 likes if you want another bathtub video. Until then, I'll see y'all next time. Stay juicy. Hey, what's up, guys? You like my new afro? What's up, YouTube? Today, we are going to fill my bathtub with cotton candy. You guys want me to do this? I'm going to do it for you. Let's do this. All right, guys, let's turn this baby on and put some cotton candy floss into the cotton candy machine. Yeah. And here we go. Whoa, whoa, why is it doing that? And there you go. There's the flouse. Look at all that flouse. All right. What's it doing? What's, oh, oh, okay. All right, oh, 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 so why would? Oh, there you go. There you go, now it's going in circles. That's what I wanted to see. Oh my gosh. This is going in. All right, let me put this here. Whoop! It's going in. I don't want to waste anything, so. Mm. Look at that, that's so pretty! It's going around like so beautifully. Wow! That's very pretty. I'm gonna fast forward this a little bit, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, so far I have um, this part of the bathtub filled with cotton candy. I'm gonna take this out of the bathtub and fill this other half with like blue or something just to make the color really variety. Yes, let's do it. Alright, here we go. Blue one. Alright guys, and here you have it. A bathtub filled with cotton candy. Wow, this looks beautiful. This looks beautiful. Do you think it looks beautiful? Because I think... Oh, it tastes good too. It's beautiful and it tastes good. So, uh, yeah, let's hop in there. Let's put this cotton candy machine away. Yeah, I'm actually really excited to get in here. It's like, it's not crazy. It's not messy. It's just fluffy sugar. So, uh, let's, let's get in here. Wow! What the? <laughs> feels like a cotton candy blanket. Like, I can sleep in this. Like, I want to use this to sleep on. Wow, this is great. I feel so comfy, guys. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness, this feels so good. I can lift all of this up in one. There you go. And it's gone. The bathtub is not filled with it anymore. Psych! It's filled with it right <laughs> now! This is so sick! Okay, before I destruct it and ruin it, Let's roll the cinematics. Let's do this. Alright guys, I'm going under. So, uh, I'll see you on the other side. <gasps> I can't breathe down there. <gasps> this is so sick. Hey, hey, how about this? Since I can lift all of this up. Hey, what's up, guys? You like my new afro? You like my new afro? Do I look cool? Am I a clown? You a clown, bro. Hey, hey, what's up, girl? <laughs> hey, if you want to ever pick up, you know, a significant other, just roll up to her and say, what's up, girl? You should go out with me. I'm sweet. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. Look at all this fluffiness. It's so fluffy, look at this! It's so fluffy, is it good? Of course it's good, it's cotton candy! Oh my god! Oh! Woo! 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 This is the cotton candy 
cannonball. <laughs> it's not it's stuck in my feet now. Oh no, it's starting to deflate. Oh man, this is so sad. All right, I'm going in. Go. It's just so crazy how poofy it gets, and then once you like squish it, it turns really, really small like this. Man, that was fun while it lasted. But anyways, um, yeah, you want to see some magic? Check this out. This is how you make cotton candy disappear in like 10 seconds. Just turn on the water, and it'll be all gone in the blink of an eye. <laughs> wow, so insane. Put it down the drain, easy cleanup, and there you have it guys. All that work for the water to just destroy it in a blink of an eye. Anyways, if you want me to fill a room with cotton candy, let's get this video to 85,000 likes. I'll fill an entire room with cotton candy. Until then, stay juicy. Hey, you sweet though. You sweet. What's up, YouTube? Today I'm gonna fill my bathtub with giant Orbeez. Not regular Orbeez, but giant Orbeez. Let's do this. So these Orbeez take about two days to grow completely, so I'll see you guys in two days. Let's check it out.
this many Skittles inside of a bathtub before. This is like way too many Skittles for us. It's like if a unicorn pooped, it would look like this. Little rainbow pellets of poo poo. <laughs> Skittles? Cause I love Skittles. Mmm, Skittles. Taste the rainbow. I love Skittles! I love Skittles! Challenge. Um, I have a whole bunch of Skittles to eat now, and uh, if you want more bath challenges, let's get this video to 70,000 likes. I'll do a lot more. Until then, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Stay juicy! This is my first night kiss. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Today, we're gonna fill my bathtub with snakes. Just kidding. We're gonna fill it with giant snakes. Oh my god! That's everywhere. Look at that one. So I'm here with my buddy Jay from Prehistoric Pets TV and he's gonna be helping me out putting all these snakes in the bathtub and we're just gonna see what happens. Can you even survive? <laughs> I'm not gonna survive, let's do this. <laughs> Lava power, come on. Why is this so heavy? This is a real challenge. Whoa, you guys are getting heavier. <laughs> all right, so here I am in my infamous bathtub. Jay, just go do it. Here we go, here we go. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Not just a snake, it's a oh, big snake! I know! Come on, tell me one! <laughs> oh my gosh! Yo, grab it! This grab is the big one! <laughs> this is so heavy! You don't understand how heavy this is! That's one! That's one! Oh boy, you better gonna have to buy a bigger boat! I mean, tough! <laughs> oh man, so that's one of them. There's another big one. So far, it's extremely heavy. Hopefully, I will survive. Hopefully, this thing won't constrict me. Oh, there's another one! Whoa. This is so heavy! Oh. Jay, how much do uh, each of them weigh, do you know? Well, I would say that one there is over 250 pounds. 250? Yeah. How about, oh my gosh, so there's like a total of like 500, maybe? Probably 400. Oh, this is so heavy, bro! Imagine being hugged by a giant snake. That's how I feel right now, like literally. I'm being hugged. Oh my gosh, where did this come from? I didn't show you this one. No! I thought we had these two in the snakes in a plane and a boat in the tub! Oh my goodness, I seriously thought we had the two big ones and the two small ones from the intro. You didn't tell me about this one. Well, of course I didn't. It would be as fun. All right, guys, so uh, welcome to the, s the giant snake bath challenge. I'm here with my friends. Hey, oh my god! <laughs> Oh, did I tell you that every snake here was the first one ever made in the world? Oh for color, they're all reticulated pythons. They're pythons? <laughs> Don't worry, they just slowly constrict their prey. They're slowly? I can't move my leg, though. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm like trying to get into a comfortable position. I should have done that before the snakes came in the bath, so I'm like really uncomfortable right now. Well, you oh. just need a neck pillow. Come on, you can get comfortable. <laughs> Alright guys, so there are a total of five snakes, six snakes in me right now. This is the most snakes I've ever gotten. But the thing is, snakes can sense fear. Five? What do you mean five? <laughs> oh, those are the little baby ones. No, they're cuties. What's the little cuties? No. Is this the crown? This is, snake. <laughs> this is your snake hat. Oh gosh. He likes that. This one. <laughs> Alright, so there are a total of uh, 13, 14 snakes on me right now. It's feeling really uncomfortable, but I feel at the same time, I feel like this is very comfortable. Like I said, snakes can sense fear. So as long as you're fearless, they won't sense anything. <laughs> no, give me out, give me out, give me out! Thanks. I was gonna dehydrate it. <laughs> Alright Jay, so 
this one? What is this one? That's the other kind of snake we got. That's a ball python. And those come in hundreds of colors. These are all captive bred, never seen the wild a day in their life, and that's why they like people. Have you ever kissed a snake? Of course I've kissed a snake. I've never kissed a snake in my I'm, life. <laughs> this guy's really a newbie. <laughs> right now is my first time. Which one's the best kisser? Kissing a snake is not always recommended, but you know what? When you love something, sometimes you just gotta. Oh no, he's open, he's open. Uh, he turned his own he water. Turned, he got his own bathtub. He turned on the water. He heard it was the place to hang for water. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> Can I kiss a snake, really? He's like, oh, not that one. All right, guys, this is my first uh, ever snake kissing. Now, just a disclaimer, don't go kiss all your snakes. Some snakes could be sick, not healthy. These are all captive born, captive bred, dialed in. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, she doesn't want my kisses. <laughs> okay, she, she's, oh my gosh, she just swiped left on me. <laughs> <laughs> this is my first snake kiss. <laughs> okay, that was cool. Your lips are still there. <laughs> <laughs> like, look at this. Uh, this one's moving. Uh, uh, oh, 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 it's turning on. <laughs> oh, this one's on my foot. This one's on my foot. Oh, it's turning it on again. <laughs> no. They no. Stop turning on the water. They, I got them here promising them they would be able to do a, a, a hang out in a cool spot. to 76,451 likes on <laughs> too. And uh, special thanks to my buddy Jay once again. Check him out, Prehistoric Pets TV. All right, I'm out. Can you <laughs> help, help? No way. No, please. <laughs> you promised me oh, you would help. Nope, no, I didn't get paid enough. Come on. <laughs> Jay, please, come on. Dude. Okay, 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 right. cool, cool, cool. Stay Look at that, that's, ah, uh, ew. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? So my legs get really ashy, right? So what better way to get rid of ashy legs than to take a bath in lotion? So today I'm gonna fill my bathtub with lotion. Let's do this. All right everyone, a bathtub full of lotion. Uh, let's put my ashy legs in there and it should be completely cured. So. Uh, yeah, here we go. Might as well. Ooh, ooh, it's so slippery! Whoa! <laughs> All right, so um, there you go. Ashy legs are gone. There you go. All cured. All right. It's just so. I'm scared it might fall. So much lotion. I have never used so much lotion in my body at once before. Wow, this feels good. It's kind of like a little bit cold, but uh. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Whoa! I've never used so much lotion in my body before. Mm -hmm. Dude, my skin is going to be so soft in the next hour. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh they call me the lotion break dancer. You know why? Because I can break dance. Here we go. Putting my entire head in here. Ugh. Even my hair is gonna be so soft after this. What people don't understand is, um, they gotta take baths every now and then. Doesn't matter with what, as long as you're in a bathtub filled with something, it'll make your life a lot happier. Welcome to DIY Slip and Slide. All you wanna do is smother your whole body with lotion, and then just go and slide. Here we go. I give up. I'm just gonna make a lotion like angel. I got this. 
Back to my layer I go. Woo! All right, that was fun. You know what's even funner? If I can do that in the bathroom, I can do it in the living room. Here we go. <laughs> this is called the lotion break dance. And we're break dancing. All right, and we're off. <laughs> we got this. We got this. I don't know what. All right, here we go again. Let's do this. Okay, that, that wasn't as slippery as I thought. Oh man, I have a lot of cleaning to do, huh? Oh well. You wanna see what lotion looks like when you add a lot of water? I got you. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this, that's gross. Look at this. Look at that, that's, ah, ew. That's gross. Come on, lotion. This looks like cottage cheese. Oh my gosh, all right, might as well just use it, you know, might as well. So, uh, yeah, let me know what bath challenges you want me to do next. And uh, if we can get this video to 51 likes, I'll do another one. So until then, make sure you moisturize, make sure you put lotion, so yeah. Okay, stay juicy, bye. What's up? Today I'm going to fill my bathtub with macaroni and cheese. Lots of macaroni and cheese. Let's do this! Mac and cheese, so get your mac and cheese and unwrap it and start pouring it into this bathtub like that People use their money to buy cars or jewelry But I use my money to buy some macaroni and cheese and now get some cheese and pour it all over the macaroni And get some more cheese and pour it all over the macaroni again Ooh, look at that now turn on some hot water and start watering this macaroni and cheese in a way You don't really have to boil it. You just want to make it until it looks like this where all the macaroni is soft Okay, everybody, so this is a bathtub filled with mac and cheese. There are four things I like in this world, food-wise. Sriracha, Nutella, ice cream, and mac and cheese. So, might as well get, ooh, ooh, it's all warm, it's like all hot, wow. Whoa, look at all this, whoa. Okay, everyone, I'm just gonna dive right in. Are you guys ready? In three, two, one. <laughs> Wow! If you have time in your life, just bathe in something. Bathe in something that's not dangerous. It's, it feels great. You're, just, you're gonna be so satisfied. Oh my goodness. Ooh, look at that, all this cheese. Is it good for my skin? I don't know, but it feels good though. All right guys, mac and cheese helmet right here. Mac and cheese helmet, right here. Yo, what up? Safety is number one priority, son. Mac and cheese helmet, hey! <laughs> Oh, my eyes, my eyes are blurred by the mac and cheese. This is great, I have never felt so happy, man. Oh, mac and cheese for life. Mac and cheese for life. Oh, this is, this, this feels so good. Whoa, whoa. My name is Roy, and this is the macaroni and cheese cannonball. Here we go, splash zone in three, two, one. and cheese swing because I'm just gonna swing mac and cheese tidal wave <laughs> my bathroom's already a mess so might as well just mess up the whole bathtub right yeah you like mac and cheese you love mac and cheese do you like mac and cheese like you you might think I'm crazy because I'm just someone who's bathing in mac and cheese but you have to try it because if you don't try it, you don't understand how magical and majestic it feels. Oh gosh, this feels so good. Whoa! Mac and cheese tornado! Mac and cheese tornado! Hey, you wanna take a picture? All you gotta do is say cheese. <laughs> Belly flop, here we go. Three, two, one.
cheese it. If you're ever stressed out, here's one thing you can do. Just grab your foot and just start kicking. I don't know, I don't know, I don't even know if that works. It's just, it's just fun. Oh, yes. Look at that, wow. This is called the macaroni and cheese snowball. <laughs> oh, that made such an impact. Let's do another one. Oh, one more. Ah. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed today's bath challenge filled with macaroni and cheese. Let me know in the comments down below what you want me to fill my bathtub with next. If we can get this video to 80,000 likes, I'll fill my bathtub again. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fill my bathtub again. All right, until then, see you next time. Stay juicy. Whoa! What's up? Today I'm gonna fill my bathtub with 100 black bath bombs. All right, let's do it. So before we dump all 100 of the black bath bombs, I just want to see what it looks like when we drop just one black bath bomb. Is it going to turn black? Or is it going to turn green? Or pink? We're about to find out, so come watch this. Here we go. Ooh, and we are going to drop. Oh, look at that. That is so, oh my gosh, that is great. Wow. Wow. What? What? Look at that, it's purple. Wow. It's still fuzzy in my hand. Wow. Ah, that is cool. Oh, it's like it's like a squid just like inked on my hand. If you guys don't remember what happened last time, last time I dumped 1,000 bath bombs and that did not go well. <laughs> this time I'm doing a lot less and hopefully it won't get too crazy like last time. So, woo, let's do this. Okay, so 50 black bath bombs here, 50 black bath bombs here. Let's just go ahead and do it. Count down with me in three, two, one, and go. Does it do anything? Oh, it's fizzing. It's fizzing. Oh, it's, it's looking pink. Uh oh, it's still, uh oh. Oh, this feels good. Oh, this feels good. Please do not overflow like that. Oh my gosh, I think it's gonna overflow. Wait, wait, hold on. Oh no, don't do it. Don't do it again. No, no. Oh no, no. Oh man. Make sure the cords are out. Oh jeez. Oh my goodness, not again. Okay, all right, okay. Okay, we need some towels in here. All right, guys. Um, the same thing happened again this time, except it's it's pink now. I'm just like worried because you see here, if you see here, this thing was on the floor over there. Because honestly, if this thing fell in the water, it would have electrocuted me, my brother, and uh, there would be no more guava juice. So, anyways, even with a hundred bath bombs, still the same reaction. It, it overflowed. Oh! 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 Ah! Guys, guys, this thing just, if you guys didn't see what happened, this thing just fell inside the water. Woo! All right, everyone, um, I have a lot of cleanup to do. Um, look at that, look at this. I mean, I, I guess might as well just hop in here. It's like, oh my gosh. All right, let's just ignore the fact it flooded the whole room. Let's just take time now just to bask in this bath bomb. Wow, this is great. Wow. This is amazing, guys. Wow, look at this. It turned pink. What happened to black bath bomb, huh? It's, this is, this, see? That was deceiving. We all thought it was black, like this, but it turned out to be just pink. I can, I can literally stay here for like, for a while. This is legit pretty soothing. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> Bye, guys. <gasps> Ooh. What up? Let's check out the water. What's the water look like? Water, I can't even see the water because all it's doing is foaming. Oh, the water is black. The water is black, check that out. Oh my gosh! Check out the water, I'm just gonna splash it into the wall. What? Black water, guys, it's black water. Wait, the foam is fizzing out. Check how much water is left in the bathtub. The rest of it, it's out there, it's right here. 
Wow. Wow, look at this, look at this. It's turned straight black. Yo, watch this. I'm pretty sure when I stand up, a whole bunch of black water is gonna drip down. Here we go. Oh, look at that! Look at this! Oh man, look, oh man. Look at my hands. My hands are purple now. How's my face, is it purple? Okay, that's good. All right, everyone, um, thank you all for watching today's um, 100 black bath bombs video. The same outcome as my last bath bomb video. <laughs> Overflowed, um, totally not a good idea. But this one looks a lot cooler though. It's like it looks pretty black. It's like a, it's like, it's like a giant squid just pooped in my bathtub. Now it's just like black. Whoa! All right, everyone. Um, yeah, if you want more bath bomb videos, let's get this video to like a hundred thousand likes. I'll do more. <gasps> Look at my toes. My toes are painted. Oh. Oh man, this is great. Alright everyone, I'll see you next time. Stay juicy. It's snowing so good! What's up? Today I'm gonna fill my bathtub with snow. Fake snow. Let's do this! Okay, real simple. All I have here is artificial snow. How it works is every two half cups, you add one gallon of water and it creates two gallons of fake snow. So yeah, that's what it does. And let's just fast forward this and yeah, enjoy. All right, everybody, it's almost Christmas. It's the holidays. What better time to jump in a bath full of snow than right now? So here we go. Okay, here we go guys. Whoa, this is this is kind of cool, man. Wow! Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Guys, check this out. This is called the blizzard. Here we go. Oh, it's in my eye. It's in my eye. Ah! Get it out! Someone get it out! Ah! You see, I live here in Los Angeles, and it never snows here in Los Angeles, so I might as well make it snow in my bathroom, you know what I'm saying? Alright everyone, going in head first, here we go! Here we go, fake snow cannonball. Here we go. Oh. Ah, my butt! Ow! Ow! It's my eyes. It's my eyes. My butt hurts. My my mouth. That provides no cushion whatsoever. There is no cushion to that. Oh yes, this feels great. This feels amazing. This feels so cool. Wow. If I were a dog, I would go into this fake snow and go like this. So you guys know this is what I am bathing in. I don't know, the consistency of it is just weird, but it's like awesome at the same time. Oh, look at all this snow! Merry Christmas, everybody! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! I've always wanted to do a snow angel inside my bathroom, so here we go. Let's decorate the floor. Tis the seasons to be jolly, right? Tis the seasons! Tis the seasons! Snow angel time! Woo! Woo! -hoo -hoo. This is the worst snow angel ever. Yeah, kind of. I can see more of my butt. You see my butt? This is where my butt was. Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to do some makeup tutorial for Christmas. All you wanna do is just get some of the snow, put it into your face like this. You wanna make it stick into your eyebrows and your hair. There you go. Bye guys. Hey guys, I'm back. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do some hair tutorial makeup for your hair. All you wanna do is get some snow and then just put it in your hair like this. All right guys, I'm Elsa. See you next week, bye. All right guys, welcome to Extreme Sledding with Roy. Here we go, we're gonna slide down this mountain bathtub. Here we go guys, going sledding. And go. <laughs> that kind of hurt. Check.
It's snowing! It's snowing so good! It's snowing so much! My name is Roy, and today I am going to be doing the snow bucket challenge. Here we go! Woo! Ah, it's so cold! Whoa! I'm just kidding, it's not cold because of space snow. Woo! Okay, I'm just very, very curious. What happens if we just add a whole bunch of water into this snow mix? Here we go. What's it gonna Oh, look! Looks like a an icy. What the? Look at that! Kind of looks like a slushy or whatever. Look at that! Wow! All right. So nothing unusual. Ew! It's brown. Why is it brown? Ew! Ew! Did someone poop? Someone pooped here! You see, with the regular powdered snow, you cannot make a snowball because it's, one, it's just very powdery. See? But if you just add a little bit of water to it, it's gonna just bunch up. Not, it's not the best snowball, but it works. See? Alright everyone, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys have a very Merry Holidays, <laughs> Happy Christmas, and uh, yeah, take care of yourself, say hi to your family, tell them I said hello, and I'll see you guys next Christmas. I'll see you, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright, stay juicy! Woo! What's up? Today I'm gonna fill my bathtub with Nutella slime. Let's do this! Check this out, Nutella slime. All right, so I guess there's not much left to do other than me going in here. So let's uh, let's take a first step in here. Ooh! Oh, look at all that! Wow! Look at all the slime! Wow! Ooh! It's like ooh! It's so cold! It's so cold! Wow! <laughs> it's like very like I I I, I don't know how to explain it. It's like mushy and stick look at that look at my feet whoa look at all that slime there's nothing in this world i love more than nutella oh my goodness look at all oh, this is like a dream come true oh whoa whoa okay rest in peace clothes because you're about to get really really sticky here we go oh oh that is cold Oh, my butt is so cold. Oh, oh, whoa. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Ooh, this is like a Nutella, like lotion. Ooh. Ooh, Nutella. Ooh. I'm loving this. I love Nutella. I love Nutella. I love Nutella. I love Nutella. Whoa. Mm, I love Nutella so much. Yo, legit, low-key, this really feels good, like, this feels very therapeutic right now, like. Alright, everybody, I know what you're thinking. How come your head's not submerged in the Nutella? Oh, well, now it is. Now it is. I don't even know if it's good for my hair, but, you know, I love Nutella so much, I don't really care about my hair. I don't, <laughs> this is, this is, oh, man. Mmm. I love Nutella. I hope my hair is okay after this because there's like glue and stuff. Nutella Cannonball in three, two, one. That didn't really do anything. That really didn't do anything. Oh, this is great. This is so great. Oh. <laughs> Woohoo! I'm loving this right now. You want to see a Nutella Snow Angel? Check this out. That's what's up. I mean, my bathtub's already a little bit dirty, so it wouldn't hurt to like mess it up a lot more, right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so much Nutella. I love Nutella. I'm gonna run into this wall. Look at that. I'm painting my wall Nutella colored. Welcome to Nutella art lessons. Today, I'm gonna make a masterpiece. I call it Nutella Smiles. <laughs> I love Nutella. 
I love you, tell you, tell I love you, tell I love you, tell you, tell I love you, tell I love you, tell you, tell I hope you enjoyed today's Nutella slime bath challenge, which kind of just turned out to be a Nutella. Oh, I guess it's a little bit slimy. Look at that. It's, it's, it's still slimy. Thank you all for that. And uh, if you want another bath video, let's get this video to 50 likes. <laughs> Until then, I'll see you next time. Stay juicy, everybody. What's up? Today I'm gonna fill my bathtub with the number one most requested thing you want me to fill it with. Guava juice! Guava juice! Lots of lots of guava juice! Welcome to my guava juice castle. You see here my guava juice throne? I'm gonna sit on it because I'm the guava juice king. Let's do it! An hour later, we have a bathtub full of guava juice. So this thing is uh, filled with nectar, so that means it's gonna get really, really sticky in like two seconds. One, two. Oh man, that is freezing cold. What? <laughs> it's guava juice bathing in guava juice. Oh my, guava juice. By the way, if you haven't gotten your guava juice box yet, go to guavajuicebox.com to get one. All right, let's hop into this bathtub. All right, for the moment of truth, let's hop in. In three, ah, it's so cold, oh my goodness. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, that is so cold. That is freezing. Oh, oh that is so cold. Oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna fully submerge because the only way to get used to cold water is to fully submerge in the cold water. Ah! Oh, oh, oh! Oh my eyes! It's in my eyes! Ah! Oh, no, that there, that burns! Oh! Oh, my eyes burn! Ow! Oh! Oh! Okay, if my eyes get red in the next five minutes, you know why. Oh, I should have opened my eyes. But anyways, this is the uh, bathtub full of guava juice. Ah, thank you, Hawaiian Sun Guava Nectar. Sponsor me if you're watching the video. Ah, that's great. This is the number one thing you guys requested for our bathtub video, so here you have it, guava juice. Mmm. Mmm. The moment you've been waiting for, the guava juice cannonball in three, two, one! Once again, if you don't have this guava juice box, guavajuicebox.com. If you want another bath video, let's get this video to uh, six likes. I'll get you guys another bath video. But until then, thank you all for watching. Thank you for supporting me. We just hit three million like recently, so thank you so much for it. Have a great day and stay juicy. Whoa! What's up? Today I'm gonna fill my bathtub with silly stream slime. Let's do this! We're gonna need a couple things. Some silly strings, some baking soda. We're gonna need lots of clear glue. And some contact solution. First, you wanna start off by coating the bathtub with baking soda. Lots of baking soda. And now it's time to pour the clear glue all over this bathtub. 
we had a total of 12 gallons of clear glue. Look at all that clear glue. Mmm. Okay, now here's the fun part. The silly string. So let's get ready and silly string it up. Whoa, look at that. Fast forward. Wow. Check that out. Silly string art right here. I'm not even an artist, but this is cool. Too cool. Now for the secret ingredient, contact solution. This removes the sticky property of the glue, which makes it slimier. So once you have that in, you just want to keep mixing it until all the ingredients have properly been mixed like this. These. Welcome to the Silly String Slime Bath Challenge. All right, let's get to it. Ready? All right, so as always, let's get it. Ooh, oh, ooh, it's cold. Ooh, it is cold. Wow, look at the, wow. Whoa, look at this, seriously, whoa. Look at the consistent, whoa, my goodness. This is so cool. Yo, look at all this Silly String Slime. Oh, this is so Wow! So if you're thinking about Halloween and having a great costume, all you gotta do is get a whole bunch of silly string and just put it in your head like a wig. What up? If people ask what you are, you just be like, yo, I'm silly string man. Like, look at look at this. Like, it looks so sick. Like, I don't know. For some reason, I kind of want to eat it. Like, I know I can't eat it, but it looks like it's so edible. Like, think about cotton candy mixed together. It kind of looks like cotton candy, right? I think it's time. I'm gonna dive right in. So here we go. Three, two, one. It's so cold here. It's like freezing. Why is it so cold? Look at all this silly string. Wow. This is great. Whoa. 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 Oh, my phone, my phone. Yo, get my phone. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is great. Ugh, it's just so, it's so slimy, man. Whoa! 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 Look at all, it's so slimy and stringy at the same time. Look at my legs, I'm gonna look at my legs. Look, look how cool it looks, okay, ready? Three, two, one. Yo! Out of all the bat challenges I did, this one looks the coolest, because it's just so colorful. It's just so amazing, wow. This is the coolest. Man, this is so fun to play with, man. Silly string slime ball. <laughs> Yo! Check that out, wow! Alright everyone, I hope you enjoyed um, today's bass challenge video with silly string and slime. This is great. I kind of feel lightheaded because um, the smell is kind of weird, but you know, it's fun. All right, but anyways, let's get this video to 100,000 likes if you want me to do another bath challenge. Until then, stay juicy. <laughs> What's up? Today I'm gonna fill my bathtub with snakes. <laughs> Why am I doing this? <laughs> So I'm joined here with my friends Brian and Jay, and they're gonna make sure I don't die because they're snake experts. No promises. <laughs> <laughs> Check their channels out. This is Brian, Snake Bites TV, or his blog channel, Brian Barcheck. And this is Jay, check him out, Prehistoric Pets TV. <laughs> you guys ready? Hey, let's do this. You're about to get the uh, Here we go. Let's do this. Go ahead, Jay, you're yeah, out. Okay. Oh, yeah, don't worry, <laughs> hasn't been anybody all day. <laughs> oh gosh! Oh man! Oh Jesus! What? Oh my! Okay. All right, I think I'm all right. <laughs> okay, here we go. Last oh. one. Uh, you guys, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be okay, right? Oh yeah, you'll be fine. Oh God! Oh, hey, you know what? I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Guys, don't do that to me. <laughs> what kind of snakes are these? These are, there's actually a variety of boas right here. Boas? These yep. are varieties of boas right here in my bathtub. I don't know. <laughs> you did good for a person that's not around snakes. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I'm just trying to pretend they're like giant Twizzlers. No! <laughs> <laughs> nice boa scarf. Oh, gosh. Hey. Just, 
As long as they don't flick their tongue real fast, Ugh. you're okay. All right, we're good, we're good. Bernie Spears, what you got on this, huh? Oh, this one's on my foot. I'm just scared they'll go in like my, my like my pants. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! All right, is that it? Uh, oh, we got. I can't. I think we got. Hang on one second. I think we have one, one more thing for you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'll be right back. Oh, gosh. Oh, 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 I feel his tongue like just doing that thing. You know that thing? It goes like it's right on my legs. It's doing, oh, it tickles. Oh, oh. Hey, hey, buddies. Oh hey, by the way, Roy, uh, what? what about these guys? What are, this is huge! This is, oh my god! Oh. Hey, this one hasn't been, this one's brand new, I just got him last night, I hope he's mellow. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many snakes! Uh, th these ones are huge, this one is constricting my arm! Oh! Oh! These are heavy! So Roy, what do you think, man? Snake lumber now? I mean, so far, yeah, I'm fine because they haven't bit me yet, so I'm good. <laughs> yeah, guys, don't try this at home. Don't go to the pet store and get a whole bunch of snakes because you saw me doing this. I'm doing this because I have my snake experts helping me make sure I don't die. <laughs> oh, this is my pants! <laughs> yeah, we're good. This one's going in my pants. Oh! You see it? Oh! Oh, don't go in there! <laughs> Is that a one-way street? Believe it or not, there's actually places that charge a hundred dollars for snake massages, just like Roy is getting. So you get a good deal here, buddy. How much is this one? This one, we're gonna do it for you free. All right, cause just uh, today. What? I'm, I'm, what? Lo I'm loving this right now. I'm, I'm having a great time here. Look at this snake. It's looking pretty happy over there. The end of the video. Hey, wait, no, 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 there's no, one no, more. No, not even no, close. No. There's always more. Why snakes. is there more snakes? You guys have too many snakes. Stop. Oh, this one. It's good. That is a constrictor. It is a constrictor. <laughs> it's constricting me. I'm dying. Oh. oh. I'm alive. <laughs> is this okay? Because this is really getting tight in my neck. Hey, hang on. Oh, Sorry. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're fine. Yeah. Just gotta get this tweet We're good. Out. It's really tough. What do you call me in a bathtub full of snakes? Hysterical. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Thank you guys for watching today's bath video. If you want another bath video, let's get this video to 100,000 likes. I'll do another one. And let me try to get up. No. Good. Oh, it's so heavy. Am I good? Am I good? Oh, this, this guy is so heavy! Oh, might need a little help here, guys. <laughs> wow. All right, I'm out. I, I'm alive. I'm alive, guys. You'll see me tomorrow in the next video. <laughs> Special thanks once again. Brian, Jay, check them out. Link is in the description below. Please check them out. There wouldn't be a bath challenge filled with snakes if they weren't here, so. Until then, see you next time. Stay juicy. Okay, get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Today I'm gonna fill my bathtub with fluffy slime. It's like regular slime, but it's fluffy slime. Fluffy slime. Whoa. Whoa. Fluffy slime. Let's do this. Here's how to make fluffy slime. You need a lot of glue, a lot of shaving cream, like a lot of shaving cream, lots of shaving cream food coloring, and lots of the secret ingredient right here. Can you guess what it is? That is correct. It is contact solution. Once you have all the ingredients, just pour the glue into the bathtub and enjoy the show. I picked yellow food coloring because I have never done anything yellow in my bathtub yet, so yeah. Wow, look at that. Food coloring art. Wow, so hip, so artsy. Once it's yellow, you wanna start pouring the shaving cream into the bathtub. This is what gives the slime its fluffiness. It's gonna be soft, kinda like a cloud, so it's basically slime clouds. If you're wondering what the contact solution does to the slime, it makes it thick, it makes it less sticky, and it combines both the shaving cream and the slime perfectly. Let's start mixing. So, um, right now I'm trying to mix it with my hand. It's really, really heavy. But so far it looks like a, an egg yolk, like a chicken gave like 
birth to like a thousand chickens right here, and then kind of like someone sat on the eggs. <laughs> now it's right here. Chickens! Yeah, let's mix this slime. All right, so um, I decided I thought it would be easier if I got into the bathtub and did it myself. Whew. This is the uh, the most tiring bath video I've done. But I gotta, I gotta make it really yellow. I gotta make it really yellow. All right, after mixing this for a continuous 15 minutes, this is what I have. Welcome to the fluffy slime bath challenge. Let's get in. Check out my feet. Look at my feet. Here we go. I'm gonna get it out of the bath. Ooh, ooh, the consistency of it, dude. It's just so fluffy. Wow, wow. Look at this. Look how long this thing is. Wow. This is so fun. Wow. Look at me. I'm gonna run at it. I'm running. I'm running. Wow. Look at my feet. Whoa. Look at that. Whoa, whoa. Look at that. It just comes right out. Look at that. You might think it's sticky, but check out my feet. It's back to normal. Now it's gone. Now it's back to normal. Not gonna lie, this thing is extremely heavy. So let's. I'll, I'll, let me demonstrate how heavy this is. All right, here we go. Ah, look at that. Look, look at this. This is like the coolest little thing ever, dude. Wow, it's still going. It's still going. Yo, Kanye West, what you got on my new swag, bruh? Man, this is great. It's probably not good for you, like your clothes, but. All right, now it's stuck in my shirt. I shouldn't have put that in my shirt. Oh gosh, this is like one of my favorite shirts. What am I gonna do with it now? Rest in peace shirt. Look at this. What's it taste like? Oh, for the moment of truth, let's take a bath. Three, two, one. <laughs> it's so, <laughs> this is so fun, dude. Out of all the slimes, this is the funnest slime. It's wow. Oh, look at that, check this out, check this out. If I slap it, it makes a handprint, see? Look at that! All right, everybody, I'm gonna take a nap. I'll see you guys later in my slime blanket. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Whoa, that was so cool, a bubble came out of nowhere. To tell you guys the truth, this is not bad. This is not bad. How do I even get out? Uh, uh. Ah, it's so hard! Uh, 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 uh. It's, it's like really like flinging me back! <laughs> yo! 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 <laughs> I'm alive! I'm alive! Peekaboo, I see you! <laughs> yo, you can like use this as a weapon. Check this out. Some slime balls here. Look at that! That is great. I can play basketball with this too. See? Buckets. <laughs> All right. What's underneath the slime? We're about to find out in three, two, one. Ah. Uh, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh crap. I might need a haircut after this. Oh. Okay. All right. Oh. Wow, this is great, man. This is great. Hey, it's a bubble. Let me pop it. Oh, it pops. Bruh. This is gonna suck. How am I gonna get this out of my... Is it still in my hair? I should have done that. I'm gonna need a haircut after this. Oh my gosh! No! Oh my dear. I guess this will this will have to work. Alright everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, can we get this video to 75,000 likes? If you do, we're gonna do another slime video. <laughs> Alright, let's do this! Thanks for watching, stay juicy! Timber! Yes! What's up? Today I'm gonna fill my bathtub with cheese balls. Let's do this! Here's the thing, I've always wanted to do this ever since I was a little boy. Get a whole bunch of cheese balls and dump it on my head. So I have here at least 
20 cheese balls. Today I am going to do the cheese ball bath challenge. Here we go. Yo, that was so, oh my gosh. You have no idea how cool that, oh my gosh, that's great. I'm gonna do all of it. Yes! This is so dope! I'm so happy right now. Oh my god, this is great. You guys are amazing. Here's another one! Here's another one! <laughs> if you've never had cheese balls before, you're missing out because this thing is so delicious. Yeah! Mm. Oh my god! Alright, here we go. Here's another one. Oh my god. And another one! <laughs> and another one! <laughs> another one! Another one! And another one! <laughs> Alright, doing two at once! Two at once! Yes! Yeah! And do the Harlem shake. needs a bath full of money when you have a bath full of cheese balls? <laughs> Pour it on me. <laughs> That's the weirdest feeling ever. Alright, last but not least, the last one. Say cheese! Look at all these cheese balls! Wow! Look at my clothes! They're all cheesy! Alright, you know what this calls for. A cheesy cannonball. Three, two, one! That looks so soft! Wow! You know how people make wine using grapes? They like stop and grapes or like tomatoes. I can make cheese juice if you want some. Oh! This is like a cheesy bed. Oh! Let me make a cheese pillow real quick. I love this! Mmm. I'm set for the whole week on dinner. Mmm. Hey guys, if you want some cheese balls, you're welcome to come over because like I have a lot. Alright, Olympic diving 101 with Roy. Three, two, one. Down the cheese! Ballsy, 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 ballsy cheese! I wanna do another cannonball just cause that was just so fun. What? That was the most softest landing I've ever had. This is great. Like, look at my legs. Look at that. Moisturizing at its finest. What's underneath all this cheese balls? Here we go. Three, two, one. Just more cheese balls. Woo! <laughs> Yo, this is so sick. Wow. This is great. This is so fire. Wow. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed watching me jump into this bathtub full of cheese balls. If you want me to do another bath video, let's get this video to 70,000 likes. I'll do another one for you. Comment down below. What should I fill my bathtub next? All right. Until then, stay juicy. One. What's up? Today I'm gonna fill my bathtub with one of the most requested things you guys want me to put in here. Milk and cereal. Let's do this. Simple as it is, just get a whole bunch of milk and pour it into the bathtub. I know what you're thinking. Hey Roy, why are you wasting all this milk? Well, I'm not wasting it because I'm putting it into good use right now because without milk, there wouldn't be this video. And for the cereal, I picked Cinnamon Toast Crunch because this is my favorite cereal. Comment down below, what's your favorite cereal? I know what you're thinking again. Roy, why are you wasting all this cereal? I'm not, trust me. I'm gonna explain later on what I do to it. But for now, just enjoy this video. Alrighty, this is the cereal bath challenge. So, let's take a dip. Oh, this is the weirdest feeling, dude. I have never bathed in milk in my life. So, let's do this. Ooh, it's a little cold, a little bit cold. All right. 
Ooh, this is a lot better than the Sriracha Bath Challenge because it's not spicy this time. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Link's right here. But anyways, this is a, uh, this actually feels really satisfying. Oh, it's so cold. Why oh, is it so cold? All right, all right, well, I have my spoon here. Um, yeah, I know what you're thinking. Man, this is, that's gross. I don't want to waste food, so let's try it out. Mmm! Mmm! It's actually not bad, dude. Mmm! Mmm! I don't know if bathing in milk is good for your skin, but I, I think it is because milk contains calcium, and calcium means happiness. So, all right, everyone, I'm going in. In three, two, one. Milk is very thick, dude. This is, um, I don't know. This is, I'm, I'm having mixed feelings about this. Out of all the bath challenges, I feel like I belong here. I think I'm gonna leave this here for like a day and just eat it over a day. <laughs> I don't wanna waste this. Like, this is good, like, cinnamon toast crunch. Look at that. Raw, raw, raw your boat. Gently down the cereal. Merely, nearly, nearly, nearly. Cinnamon toast crunch is good. It's not to me. Alright, I'm diving in. In three, two, one. Feeling like all the milk is stuck in my ear. Man, I don't know, man. This is. I can honestly stay here for for a while. This is not bad. I don't mind staying in this bath. Oh, my phone! My phone! Oh, oh, look, oh, bro. I got him! Got him! <laughs> I got him! Uh, that would have sucked. <laughs> What I'm gonna do with all this, I think I'm gonna put it like in a garbage bag and then I'm probably gonna donate it to like a local farm or something so they can use it as like fertilizer because I don't want this to go to waste to be honest. I feel so bad. All right, everyone, that marks the end of today's bath challenge. Um, yeah, what do you want me to do next? Please comment below and yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next bath challenge. Seven likes if you want me to um, eat this. Okay. It's so good! What's up? Today I'm gonna fill my bathtub with Sriracha! All right, let's start by putting the Sriracha into the bathtub. Check this out. This is called Sriracha art. Isn't that so cool? So here's a fun fact that happened during this process. The fumes that came out of the Sriracha bottles made my eyes water, made me sneeze, made me cough. It was just so bad. And if you were wondering how many Sriracha bottles it took me to fill the bathtub, it took me 112. And even then, it only filled it halfway. So I just added water just to fill the bathtub all the way. And there you go, it's time to hop in this bad boy. All right, so we have here, um, <coughs> oh, oh gosh, the, <coughs> no lie, the, <coughs> the fumes are just so strong. Anyways, safety first, I got goggles on, so the um, sriracha won't get in my eye. But uh, yeah, let's take a dip. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Cause uh, all the sriracha, since sriracha is like a pasty thing, it's all on the bottom. So let's go in here. Oh, it's so slippery down here. And uh, see all this sriracha, dude? This is all in here, so. Uh, here we go. go to the, oh, the fumes are so strong. Ooh, the water is so high. Woo! It's so fumy. Woo! All right. You okay, cameraman? <laughs> Woo, look at all this sriracha. I advise you not to try this. I don't know why you would put so much sriracha in your bathtub, but. The fumes are it's, it's, it's <laughs> even the cameraman's like the coffee but ooh, this is what it feels like to bathe in sriracha. Um, I don't know what um, what this benefits. I don't know if it's a good moisturizer. Um, it's probably like a really hot moisturizer. If you guys didn't notice, this is a new bathtub. So ooh oh 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 down there is getting hot and spicy. Oh ooh ooh <coughs> that is not good. Ooh. I feel it's spicy here. Oh gosh. Ooh, that's bur it burns. Oh. Ew. Oh. 
Woo! That was, ooh! This is, this is really, ooh, like my whole body, <laughs> sorry, my whole body is just like, spicy. Ooh! Like, look at this bathtub, seriously. Like, who does this? Oh, I gotta take a break though, cause like, my, uh, my privates are like, really spicy right now. Ooh, gosh! Oh, it hurts! Ooh! Ah, oh, I don't know what to do! What do I do? How do I fix this? How do I fix this? Ah! Oh, it's getting worse, I mean, <laughs> I was planning on uh, taking my whole head down here, but I don't think that's the smartest thing to do. Dude, what are you uh, doing? Dude, it hurts. It really does hurt down here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Alright guys, I, I would go further on this, but I'm just really hurting. It hurts down there. Oh gosh. Oh, thank you all for watching. I'm hurting right now. And uh, yeah, what bath top challenge you want me to do next? Let me know. Bye. Stay juicy. Whew. Hey guys, so um, it's 10 minutes up past. I just took a shower. My whole body is burning, especially down here. It's like super sensitive. Like I have to walk a certain way in order for like nothing to hurt. Uh, don't don't try this at home for sure. Like it's, it's not good. It's not good. Thanks for watching. This is for you guys. 100,000 likes because uh, my private parts <laughs> paid for my hospital bill. <laughs> All right, bye. One! What's up? Today I'm gonna fill my bathtub with Diet Coke and Mentos. Let's do this. All right, let's fill this bathtub with some Diet Coke, shall we? Mmm, look at that. Look at all that sugar. All right, all done. All right, so how I'm doing this is I have tape and I taped a whole bunch of Mentos into the tape. And I'm just gonna stick it in my body and I'm gonna go in the bathtub and see what happens. Put on the mentos on my body. Put the mentos. <laughs> All right, there you go. Filled the bath up with Diet Coke. For you guys who don't know what happens when you put mentos inside Diet Coke, let me demonstrate. Uh, this is not sponsored by Coke. So I have two mentos, I'm gonna put it here. Check, look what happens. It just fizzes like that. It just explodes like this, look at that. Look how crazy that fizzes. So imagine me wearing this Mentos suit, going into there, what's gonna happen? We're about to find out. All right, let's do this. Let's take a step in. Ooh, it's so cold in here. All right, for the moment, oh look at that, it's already fizzing, and I don't even have Mentos. Look at that, that's insane. All right, for the moment of truth, everyone count down in five, four, three, two, one. Um. <laughs> oh, that wasn't bad. That's not bad. I thought it was gonna explode. Where's the explosion? Oh, this feels good. It's, it's tingling my body right now. Dude, this actually feels really good. I'm not gonna lie, I could stay here for like an hour. This is really awesome. Coke is great. Coke, sponsor me, please. I am very disappointed in this. Like, I thought the whole bathtub would explode like a volcano. Like, <laughs> But it's not doing it. Look at this. Look at that. Coca Cola. Come on, dude. You know what? I'm not gonna waste this. I'm gonna try this. That tastes pretty good, actually. Wow. <laughs> what is underneath this Coke? Here we go. Woo! Woo! There's a lot of sugar down there. Well, since it didn't work out the way we wanted to go, this is for you. Thank you all for watching today's bathtub video. Unfortunately, this is the last time I will be able to use this bathtub because I'm currently moving in like three days. So say goodbye to this bathtub. I'm gonna move on to another bathtub. So I'm gonna miss you. All right, guys. See y'all later. What's up? Today I'm gonna fill my bathtub with 30 pounds of dry ice. Okay, before I start, I just wanna say this is very dangerous. This is very stupid. 
but I really want to know and I want to see what happens when I dump all of this here. So let's do it. Did you know dry ice is around negative 110 degrees Fahrenheit? That's why you don't mess with this thing. All right, Whew. countdown. Three, two, one. And we're on the Oh my. I'm too, I'm, oh. I'm kind of scared to go in here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know, this is so cool. I mean, whoa, this is so cool, dude. Look at the whole room, like look at this. Wow, what in the world? Okay, let's make a tornado. Let's see if we can make a tornado. Oh, oh, this is very strong. This reaction is very strong. Okay, this is not bad. Can you see me? Hey, woo! Woo, this is a very strong chemical reaction. I don't know if it's even safe to inhale all this smoke. I'm gonna step up. Woo, open the door, dude. This is, whoa, look at this. It's going inside my room. It's kind of like, um, Kind of like Halloween, whenever you go to a haunted house. If you want a good haunted house, just uh, pour a whole bunch of dry ice into your bathtub, just like this. Woo! Oh my goodness, I need a, I need a fan or something. Ugh. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at this. Whoa! Whoa, it's a reaction! Oh, no, I can't see, oh, I can't see, I can't see! Oh, dear, bro, <laughs> what did I do to my bathroom? I can't even see the room, can you see anything? Wow, it's still, it's still boiling, oh! I gotta get out. All right, let's uh, let's wait like five minutes and we'll go back in there. All right. All right, it's been uh, like ten minutes. Let's see if uh, the reaction is still strong. Yep, yep, it is pretty much still doing its thing here. Oh, there you go. You can kind of see it uh, cleared up just a little bit. All right, as you can see, um, there's a layer on top. It kind of acts like a waterfall going down, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, this is a really cool little experiment here. It's totally not bad. I don't I don't feel any coldness. Um, a lot of the water has evaporated already. And uh, this is honestly pretty cool. I don't know if it's safe to inhale the fumes, but tornado, tornado. So yeah, don't try this at home. All it does is uh, evaporates and it's gassy. I can't breathe, let's go. Oh, I can't breathe. Oh. I really hope that's safe to inhale. Oh, okay, let's come back in uh, another 10 minutes. All right, another 10 minutes have passed. Let's check out the reaction. Ah, not bad. You can still kind of see smoke coming through here. All right, it's, it's, it's smoggy, whoa. Whoa. What happened here? It got a little bit more foggy. There's still a waterfall going down here. The water level is like half. It's like half from where it started. Let's go back in like 30 minutes. It's been 30 minutes. I'm pretty sure the reaction has settled. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at this, all clean. It's like nothing even happened. Wow, this is such an easy cleanup, wow. <laughs> well, thank you everyone for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the dry ice visual eye effect as much as I did. And yeah, let me know what you want me to put in my bathtub next time. Cannonball! Hi, today I'm gonna fill my bathtub with ramen. Alright, so I have a total of 144 packs of ramen, so turn on your hot water and start putting all this ramen here. Fast forward! I know what you're thinking. Hey, why are you wasting food? I'm not wasting food because you know why I am going to eat this all week. Anyways, this is what it looks like when it's done. And then when it's done, just get the chicken flavored broth and smother it all over just like this. And the key to having a good ramen is to just mix it all up with a giant key just like that. Ooh la la! Alright, check this out! So if you're wondering where the ramen comes from whenever you go to a ramen restaurant, this is how they make it for sure. Alright, let's step in. Ugh. Ooh, it's still really hot still. Ooh, it's really hot! Ugh. I think it needs to cool down a little bit, it's really hot. Ooh! Woo! It's like if you go to like a hot tub, that's how it feels right now. Ooh, ooh, look at this, look at this. Look how much ramen is in my feet. Oh, that's so hot. Ah, ah, that's so hot. Ah, ah. All right, here we go. I'm going in. in. Three, two, one. Oh, it's so hot. Oh my gosh. Hey everyone, welcome to my ramen hot tub. Mm. Would you like some ramen? It's 
actually not bad. <laughs> oh my goodness, I have never had this much ramen on my head before. There is just so much ramen. I don't, I don't, I don't know what to say. <laughs> row, row, row your boat gently down ramen. Merely, 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 merely. This hot tub's really hot. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. Dad, there's just so much ramen in here. I am the ramen monster. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? Would you like some ramen? There you go. This is all for you. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> it's time to explore what's underneath this pool of ramen. <gasps> it's just more ramen. My name is Roy and I'm trying out for the Rio Olympics 2016. Here we go. This is the international diving team. watching another of my bathtub videos you guys seem to enjoy it comment below what you want me to put in the bathtub next and yeah I'll see you next time uh, don't worry guys I'm not gonna waste this I'm gonna put this in a big trash bag and save it for the week hi today I'm gonna fill my bathtub with jelly bath let's do this okay so if you don't know what a jelly bath is it's this thing. It turns water into goo. And it turns goo back to water instantly. So let's fill the whole bathtub with this and see what happens. Whoa. Whoa, what is this? All right, here we go. Mm. Oh, look, it's pink. Ooh, look at this. Mm. Whoa, look at that. Whoa. So far, it smells like it really smells like dirty socks. Whoa, what is this? All right, let's add some more. Let's see what happens here. It really does smell like dirty socks. All right, let's go add some more. Here's some more. I'm not sure how much I'm supposed to put, but I'm just putting as much as I can. Here's some more. Oh, I'm, I'm starting to feel a little bit thick right here in my feet. Whoa, whoa. Okay, all right. I don't know if you see this, but it's getting a lot thicker. You see that? You see that? It looks a little bit thicker. As you can see, five minutes have passed and it's starting to look really gooey. Look at this, look at this. You see all this goo? It's really starting to look really nice. Look. Whoa. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, this is starting to get really, really heavy and I don't know what to do. Oh, it's so heavy. This is some heavy material. It's really slippery too, so. <sighs> Go ahead! Oh! <laughs> okay, it's getting thicker every second. Like, it's really, really, really hard to get it out now! Whew. Wow, this is very. <laughs> This is very. <laughs> okay, to be honest, I don't really know what this substance is. Look at this. Look how thick it is right now. Looks like a strawberry smoothie or something. Look, look at that. Look at that. You see this? It doesn't taste like a strawberry smoothie. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is the substance that I am swimming on. Uh, it really does look like goo. It's a pink goo, which is pretty interesting. All right, I'm gonna see what's under here. It 
It's very thick down there. I can fly. So the amazing thing about Jelly Bath is they give you this substance that changes this whole goo-like substance back into water. So let's see if it's right. Let's pour it all on here. All right, so I poured all of the substance down here. I think all I gotta do now is just mix it and it'll turn back to water. Come on, turn back into water, Mr. Goo. I think it's working! Wow! Oh, come here, come here, come here, look, look, look at this. So, you see how thick it was? Now it's like, turning back into liquid. Isn't that crazy? Can you believe how liquid it is? Like, look at this! It's like, back to like, water! That is insane! So, all I gotta do is put it down the drain. I know you're asking. What are you doing to the environment, Roy? It says here, environmentally safe. So, that's all I gotta do. Put it down the drain. Ugh. Wow, it's like water again. Look at that! Look how watery it is again. Wow. All right, thank you for watching today's jelly bath challenge. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next bath challenge. Bye. <laughs> What's up? Today I'm gonna fill my bathtub with 1,000 bath bombs. 600 right here. 400 right here. Not 100, not 500, 1,000. Let's do this. All right, so I have my two brothers with me because there's no way I can carry all this by myself into the bathtub. So, go for it, guys. Why not? Oh! Go, 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 get that one. Ah! <laughs> Yeah, um... Give me a towel! <laughs> yeah, this is not what I expected. Uh, there's still... Okay, just keep going. Alright. Uh... Okay, alright, let's um... Hmm... Huh, this is not good. Alright, let me get out of here. See... Ugh... Alright. This was a... A very bad idea, but... You can see that the reaction is very strong. It's still going, it's still um, f fizzing, still foaming. Um, yeah, it smells nice, so never put 1,000 bath bombs in your bathtub or it will flood your whole bathroom. Like, look at this bathroom. We're actually like standing, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know look, I can just swim in my own bathtub. <laughs> okay, the question is, how am I gonna clean this? Yeah, look, look at this, it looks like a freaking smoothie. Oh, it's like good <laughs> Oh no! This is my boat, keeps me safe from the... <laughs> There's still a lot of bath bombs left. Alright, let's check out what's underneath here. With my handy dandy goggles. Oh, okay. Bath bombs. I'm here with my two brothers. Um, how do you feel about this situation? It's fizzy. How about you, sir? It smells good. Check this out. I don't think none of the bath bombs have fully dissolved because there are so many in here. All right, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this experiment. Never put 1,000 bath bombs in your bathtub because this is what's gonna happen. Whew. All right, catch you later. So you guys are wondering what happens after. This is what happens. Cleaning. Cleaning. <laughs> towels, lots of towels. <laughs> lots of towels. What? What's up? Today I'm gonna fill my bathtub with jello. Lots of jello. <laughs> okay, we're gonna need jello. 
lots of jello. Then just turn on your hot water, let the bathtub fill, and just fill your bathtub with some jello. Now you need a giant whisk and whisk it all up. Make sure it dissolves and dilutes and it should be all good. Now just sit back, relax, and enjoy this fast forwarding. Once you've used all the jello packets, it should look exactly like this. All right, now let's wait 10 hours for it to cool down. So it's been 10 hours since I left the jello in there, so let's check it out. Oh my god! What is that? What? Oh! There's jello pieces in here! Doesn't taste good, but there's jello in here! It's so cold! Why is it so cold? It actually worked! Look at all this jello! Look at all this jello! Wow! This is. The Jello Bath Challenge. Oh, it's so cold. Why is it so cold? What the heck? Oh, here we go. Try them all. It's so cold. Why is it so freezing? Yes. Look at all this Jello. Look at all this Jello. What's up? How? This is this is like the weirdest feeling. Like I feel like this is good for your skin. Because I heard Jello has some good vitamins and minerals. So if you're looking for soft, smooth skin, this is the perfect solution. Look at all this. This is so cold. Why oh, is it so cold? Wow, I can't believe this solidified. Row, row, row your boat gently down the Jello. Okay, everyone, I'm going under. I'll see you on the other side. Here we go. I'm gonna dive. Three, two, one. Jello! I am the Jello monster. Yeah. This is the Jello cannonball. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh my gosh! How am I gonna clean this? Oh my god! Whoa, 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 whoa! The bottom layer of this bathtub has a thin layer of Jello. I feel it. What? What? Wow, look at this. Look what I found in the bottom. Ha! <laughs> Thank you for watching this Jello bath challenge. Ah. Uh, the question is, how am I gonna clean this? <laughs> All right, see you later. Row, row, row your pop gently down the <laughs> What's up? Today I'm gonna fill my bathtub with oobleck. In order to make oobleck, we're gonna need some cornstarch. In this case, we're gonna need a lot because we have a bathtub. I have food coloring, lots of food coloring to make it look appealing. Now it's time to pour all the cornstarch into the bathtub. Once you're done with that, get your food coloring and start pouring that on top of the cornstarch. Now just add some water and then grab your giant whisk and just mix it all up and dilute all this cornstarch. When it's mixed, just wait 30 minutes. Okay, so I didn't fill the bathtub all the way through because I didn't have enough cornstarch to fill the bathtub, but it's been 30 minutes. Let's check on it. <laughs> Yo! What the heck? Whoa. Whoa, right through it. So all the cornstarch is in the bottom. So if you don't know what oobleck is, or oobleck, it's basically cornstarch added with water. Because you're not sure if it's solid or liquid. Okay, so let me demonstrate what oobleck is. Basically, you get your cornstarch, put it in a container like this, and since the cornstarch is a thickening agent, meaning they use this in gravy or any liquid that wants to be thickened. Check this out. Put a little bit of water here, mix it a little bit. You're gonna end up with this jello-like slimy gluey mixture, okay? So check this out, I wanna, I wanna show you something. So people don't know if oobleck is solid or liquid. You put your hand in there, it's gonna sink, okay? And it's really hard to get out. Oh, gross. 
and then you smack it with anything, it's just gonna bounce right out. Ready? See? See? It's pretty much very solid on the outer layers. But if you keep your hand down there, it's gonna sink instantly. But if you add a lot of force, it's gonna act like a solid. It's gonna bounce right out, see? See? But if I just do it slowly, my hand's just gonna sink. Isn't that crazy? Ah, I don't understand the science of this. Let's see if this racket can do the trick. Nothing, nothing, barely anything right here. But if you just leave it on like that, everything just goes right to it. Isn't that crazy? Let's do the other side. Look at this, nothing, right? Add some force. Barely anything. Leave it on there. It's gonna suck the whole thing in. Wow. All right, let's put this under here. Look at that. Ooh. 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 Ooh, that looks pretty. All right, as always, let's take a dip. Oh yeah. Uh, so I added too much water, so the only the bottom layer is full of oobleck. Other than that, this is basically like a regular bathtub. Oh uh, yeah. This is the oobleck bath challenge. This is pretty. This is pretty warm. Ah. Uh, oh no. You see, it's really hard to get the oobleck because it keeps dissolving every time I touch it. So I gotta act really, really quickly. Oobleck! I got all this, I got all this oobleck! Ah! I taste it in my mouth. Raw, 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 your boat! Drag me down the springs! Ah! Dude, it's so hard to get up, dude. Even though it's a little liquidy, the oobleck is really pulling me down! Ah! Oh gosh, this is the heaviest liquid I've ever been in. Ugh. It's in my eye. It's in my eye. I don't know if my eye is a solid or liquid anymore. I don't know what to do, it's in my eye, it hurts. Oh, don't do this at home or at Walmart or at the grocery store, don't do this ever. My name is Roy. I'm gonna try out for the 2016 Olympics. This is the national diving competition. Uh, was that good? This is round number two of the national diving competition. Here we go. This is called the cannonball. <laughs> that hurt. This thing, I forgot this thing was in here. It kind of like went up my butt. It hurt. This is the backstroke. Thanks for watching. Sorry it's not as intense or just crazily water filled like my other bath challenge, but I hope you enjoyed this experiment. I'm kind of sad the whole bathtub wasn't, wasn't like super blecky or whatever, but hope you enjoyed. Don't try this at home or anywhere else, and I'll see you next time. Hey, what's up? Today, we're gonna fill this bathtub with green slime. Let's do this! Okay, we're gonna need some borax. A lot of borax. Food coloring. Lots of food coloring. Glue. 51 gallons of glue. And a giant fork to mix it with. Now we're gonna have to pour all the glue into the bathtub. This process took me one hour to dump 51 gallons of glue in here. But anyways, after that, you gotta put your food coloring. Oh, hello. Look at how cool this looks like. Dude. This is beginning to starting to look like slime. Once it's light green like this, just add some water to dilute the glue and add some borax to make the glue a little more slime-like. Look at all this borax. Wow. Just mix it up and it should look a little bit more stickier, slimier like this. And there you have it. 
This is what you get when you put 52 gallons of glue, some food coloring, and some borax. You get slime! Oh yeah! Whoa, this feels so... Whoa, look at all this slime! Whoa! I'm like a, um, a swamp monster. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I'm going in. Oh, it is so cold. <sighs> this is the slime bath challenge. Oh, it's so sticky. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh look at that engulfing me. Wow. Is this healthy for your skin? Oh, look at all this slime. Oh my goodness. This is insane. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. This bathtub is really green. This is like the weirdest bubble bath of my life. <laughs> this is awesome. All right, going under. Three, two, one. I'm going down so slow because it's so dense here. <laughs> okay, I'm going down. <gasps> I feel like a swamp monster! Yeah! Whoa, this is like the weirdest bubble bath I've ever had in my life. Oh, I can't see. I don't want to open my eyes because it's slime. Yeah. Yay! A few moments later. All right, it's been two hours since I put this in. I've been trying to clean everything up, but every time I clean it up, check what happens. It's slowly becoming more solidified. Like, you see the slime? It's actually becoming slime now, and it actually falls down my hand. See, there's like no slime in my hand. I'm gonna test this one more time. This is basically all slime now. Like, look, look at that. Look at this, this is insane. Just the amount of slime in here now. Wow, look at this. The insane amount of slime coming from the bottom. It's like a chair now, see? Wow, this is like the true version of the slime bath challenge right here. Ugh. Ah, how do I look? Do I look like Shrek's brother? Yo, what up? You like my new hair, dude? Hi. Let it go. Let it go. Oh, this is amazing. All I can say is, um, don't try this at home because I don't. I have no idea how I'm gonna clean this, but I will eventually. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you like me doing all these weird things, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time. Woo! What? What's up? Today I'm gonna see what happens if I fill my whole bathtub with 30 packs of these water beads. Let's do this. So it's been eight hours, so let's check up on the water beads. Oh my god! What is this? What is this? No way! Wow, it actually filled up the whole bathtub! Oh my gosh! Whoa! It's so cold! Oh my god! Three, two, one. Like the best.
best bubble bath in my life. Spider-Man? I can explain, Spider-Man. Thank you for watching the video everyone! If you really like this video, please give this a thumbs up. Check out Spider-Man's channel in the description below. And we'll see you next time. Bye! Sup <laughs> 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 YouTube, welcome to Guava Juice. Today I'm doing the Extreme Ice Bath Challenge. How is it extreme you're asking? I'll show you. <laughs> First off, I want to give a big shout out to my boy Vanoss. We go way back. Here are some things I'm going to put in the bathtub. Ice cream sandwich, vanilla ice cream, chocolate ice cream, strawberry ice cream, Gatorade Frost, Frozen the movie, Happy Feet, Happy Feet 2, Ice Age, More Ice Age, Sparkling Ice Water, Arizona Iced Tea, Starbucks Iced Coffee, Dentine Ice, My boy Olaf, Ice Breakers Ice Cubes, and last but not least, the ice. All right, now that we have the whole bathtub filled with cold water, it's time for me to get myself in there. Oh my God, it's cold. Oh yes. Ooh. Okay, this is the hardest part. This part. Ah. 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 Okay, hold on, hold on. It's like my my private parts they're like freezing right now. Okay. Before I put the ice, I have to put in everything else. So, here we go. We have the sparkling ice. Ooh, that's cold. Ooh, Arizona iced tea. Ooh. Ice cream sandwich. <laughs> iced coffee. Ugh. Ugh. We have the ice cubes. We have a scoop of chocolate ice cream. We have a scoop of vanilla ice cream. Ah, that's so cold. We have a scoop of strawberry ice cream. Mm. We have dentine ice. We have Gatorade Frost. We have Frozen, Happy Feet, Happy Feet 2, Ice Age, Ice Age, and last but not least, my boy, Olaf. What's up, Olaf? And then I have my cousin, Marlin, who's gonna be in charge of pouring the ice. <laughs> put it right here, put it right here. Make me cold, make me colder. Oh, oh, oh my god! That's oh, the first oh, oh my god, it's cold! Oh, oh, oh! Mm, what's this taste like? Oh, it tastes weird! I've done this before, but not to this extent. On oh, my body, on my body. What? <laughs> Let's go! Oh, oh. It feels like needles now. It really feels like needles. Like needles like, yo. We haven't even gone through half of it yet. Oh my god! Ah! It's getting cold! <laughs> oh! Too bad! Oh! It's so cold! <laughs> oh! Okay, now I have to see how long I can stay in this bath. You can, you can tell it's cold because you see my nip nips, they're like. <laughs> okay, this is probably the dumb, 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 dumbest idea, but I'm gonna go down. That's <laughs> my poop. Look at this. Look, Roy pooped in here. Look. Oh, it's so cold. Look. Stop, I'm trying to focus. What is that? I'm trying to focus. What, is that? To focus. what is that? Tell me what this is, guys. <laughs> what is that? You know what they say, right? You only live once, right? 
That's an old saying. I don't want ice cubes. Oh, stop! <laughs> okay, I'm going in. I'm going in the poo poo. <laughs> Don't worry guys, there are no DVDs in here by the way. And don't worry guys, for you guys who think this, this, this food's gonna go to waste, I'm gonna drink it after this, okay? So it's, it's, all, it's all gonna go in my belly. Don't worry, see look. It's good, right? <coughs> like, it's, it's like, it's so cold, like, it, it stings. It feels like pins and needles, just like. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't. Oh, I can't. Oh. Trauma. It's so cold. It's so cold. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you for watching the video, guys. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this pleasantly weird slash you different video. <laughs> and special thanks to my boy Vanos for doing the ALS ice bucket challenge. This is where I kind of got the idea from. Except I incorporated the ice bath challenge. Okay, I'm done! I'm done! Where's my towel? Marlin! Cousin! Oh! Oh!